Good luck, may it not take several hours before progress happens. Yeah, we'll see. Well, technically every step we take is progress right now, so we've got that working for us, which is nice. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we get into. Because, yeah, the, the, I'm, I'm still baffled by those last two boss fights and how they were actually reasonable. Um, we've got a bunch of almost that I'm not trading in because the exchange rate here is actually garbage. It's just as garbage as it was in Tumba, so... At some point, we will probably backtrack to uh, Dorado to turn in our gold, or rather, our Almas. But let me uh, start the timer up, and we'll see what's going on here. Uh, I don't even remember which... We, we came in from the left, didn't we? Yeah, because that's where the dude was like, Nobody in town is talking to me. Was there another... There is another... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There is another exit on the right side of town, too. So where does that put me relative to the left side of town? Oh, jeez! Whatever that thing was. Also, I have to... I have to mention... I called the... Whoa, wait, that guy just dropped a hundred Almas. That's kind of a big deal. Um, but these guys might be worse than the birds. Uh, but hey, Mike. I just had a thought and I just forgot it. Uh, those are interesting. These are gonna be like the zombies, right? What? What is happening? Have I got a glitch just like as soon as I... Is that somebody's legs? That's my legs. No, it's not. It's the wrong color. Those guys take a lot of damage. Yeah, I have to use the, uh... I have to use that attack for them. Yeah, I think those legs are just stuck. I don't know what those are. They're just in the background now. The last time there was just random disembodied legs, they killed me, so, you know, I'm a little worried about this. But yeah, enemies are dropping a lot of ominous almost now. Oh, now the legs are gone. Okay. Is there anything special about here? I can actually, like, duck in there, which is interesting. Well, I can't get back up there now, that stinks. I kind of don't want to take that, but I kind of can't avoid it. Whoa, wait, how did I... Okay, there's some weird stuff going on in this area. Oh, right, there's the wind currents, that's what it is. Okay, so, so the, the legs we saw was one of those guys. Uh, somehow... Wait, this is the left side, isn't it? Yeah, we just... <laughs> I somehow went full circle, so there's that. Yeah, thanks for the good luck. We'll see, we'll see how long it takes to get lost. Can I hit this guy? I can hit this guy. I can't go back up there. So, okay. This section's gonna be even more confusing than usual because we've got invisible air currents. Uh, well, that was not great. There goes a hundred... Well, I've lost a hundred shield points since I started out here. I would like that key. Of course, there's no wind current here to help me. Ow! I don't know how he ended up behind me. Uh... I think there's wind currents on both sides here. I wonder... I wonder if there's gonna be an item so we can actually see the darn wind currents. Okay, I can still go that way, but I'm basically stuck here. What's in here? I believe I already saw this door. Yeah, this is where I had come down with that other platform earlier. Have I been here?
they just eventually charge entirely through you. Oh, well. Uh... Now I'm back up here again. Yep, everything... <laughs> so, what's interesting about this is, like, when I had come in, I... Like, this is where we came from, originally, and I just went over here and there was a town. It seems like if I had tried to go to the left, I wouldn't have gotten very far because of the air current. So, like, they very much designed this that you would, so that you would see the town first. We got gold. Probably cashed that in. This was the way I went before, wasn't it? And there's not really anywhere else I can go. Is this guy gonna fall down? He sure is. I was, I was hoping I would get to, uh... I gotta remember the backhand strategy. Learned that with the, uh, the warping ladies in the previous area. There's unfortunately not a whole lot I feel like I can do here, though. Am I enjoying this game? Um, at times yes, at times no. This game definitely does a lot to waste players' time. Uh, in fact, half of last night's stream was pretty much a waste of time. But we ended up getting through that previous area last night, so... Uh, right. Can't go that way. Wait. Uh, uh, this is where you get stuck, right? That I can't go left or right? Yeah. Can I jump over that? Nope. The interesting thing is, like, in a way, it's it's more this is more restrictive of like where you can and can't go. They can jump. Okay. Did I come through this before? Oh, I want to go that way. I can't go that way. And that dude can't go anywhere. Uh, now we're right back here again, right? Yeah. Alright, that's a bit of a risky strat, because they can do that. Um, I should go back and, like, turn stuff in in the previous area anyway, so I'm gonna set up to do that. Alright, uh, this should... yeah, this drops me right back down to where the, t the previous town is. So it's actually really fast to go to the previous town. Uh, it'll take longer to get back again. Alright, so let's exchange stuff here, because the exchange rate is better. Uh, I need to r repair my shield, so we'll deposit after that. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I had already, like, not repaired my shield before I started tonight. Um, it was already a hundred down. So, it really needed repairs. I might as well save here. Uh, let's see if we have a level up. I, I doubt it. I don't know what those enemies are worth, though, because, like, experience in this game is invisible, so... Nope. Now we need to put stuff in here. And we actually have money again. Which I will probably use to buy magic in the next town, because they have more stuff available there. Uh, which way do I have to go back? I have to go this way to go back, don't I? So we do have to do some annoying jumps to get back again, unfortunately. That 
That's not even one of the annoying ones. I just jumped the gun on that. This way. We haven't seen falling, uh, you know, ceiling blocks in the new area yet, so that one, that one bit is nice. Now I just gotta time this again. Ah, that would have worked, except I didn't duck. Here's the ceiling again. Oh, uh, a little worried about that guy? Oh, well. He's really not moving, huh? There was a potion there. I might have... I, I found that once before, and then I completely forgot about it. I told myself I was going to save that for the boss, for when I was actually ready to fight the boss, and then I never used it. Oh, right. This is this part. At some point, I probably should rest at an end, just because I'll get my magic back. I suppose I should have thought about that when I was in the previous town. Oh, well. Alright, so I'll go save here again. Okay, I guess we'll go out the right side again. That's pretty rude, that, like, right away there's just something coming for you. I think I started saying before, and I never finished the sentence, that, uh, that town, presumably, given that everything else has had a Spanish name, that town is actually pronounced Yama, which, I'm pretty sure Yama is a conjugated form of the verb of, like, being named, like, me llamo, whatever is, like, my name is. Uh, okay, so this is a problem because I need to unequip the, uh, the thing that makes me not take heat damage in order to go up that slope. Which I think, I think it'll be fine because we don't seem to take heat damage too quickly. Alright, let's do that. Okay. See ya. Um, those guys are like the, uh, the ogre-type things in, in one of the first areas. Well, we found a key. So that's important. Whoa, okay. Where am I now? That's what I thought, I'm back here. Should I save just because I got the key? I mean, why not? We're here. Also, okay, that is the right entrance. Better off saving rather than having to messing up and then having to remember where I did that. It's a very long trek back to the right. I didn't mean to do that. I just instinctively jumped to get over that dude. I mean, it is kind of cool that you can get, like, a free 100 Almas when you come in. Alright, where am I here? 
Okay, those guys you can hit in the legs. Well, this seems like a problem. How was that hitting me? Like, I, I would have expected that to hit my shield. Alright, so we can't do anything from here. The thing to note about these maps, if you haven't seen this before, is all of the maps wrap both vertically and horizontally, which uh, is really good for making the game confusing. I guess we're doing this again. I guess I'll follow that guy down this time, because, like, I went up here last time, right, and that was just where the key was? Yeah. So let's see what's down here. Oh, uh, never mind, we don't get to see what's down there. And now we're on the other side again. Can I actually get back to... Oh, jeez. Okay. I think the reason he's hitting me is because I'm, like, I'm attacking, so my shield isn't actually up. Okay. Uh, where am I now? Oh, this, okay, that's this place. The thing I'm curious about is, like, can I actually get back to the other side? Um... I just want to try getting into any of those other doors, but I don't think I can. Take that. I didn't actually take any real damage from that. Now, I'm fairly certain I went in here before. You know, there was a dude who mentioned that, like, to mention paying attention to the color of the door that you entered from, because the door you'll exit from is the same color, so, like, that might be referring to this door. Going in this way seems like a raw deal. Because they don't you're not allowed to do anything from there. Oh yeah, the other thing <laughs> So I was talking about what correr means last night, and I found out later that correr is also the verb to fire, but we I mean fire in in the sense of terminating employment. <laughs> And I don't know whether that's supposed to be a pun, or whether the developers didn't look up words very carefully when they came up with words for these things. I, I'm, I'm honestly wondering how many of these doors are decoys. Like, are we actually going to end up in those doors ever? I'm also wondering how small Carrer is. Well, I'm basically dead, so there's that. Uh, I'm gonna stay here and hang out, because I'm probably safe here. And you can recover health while you're hanging on ropes and chains and stuff. Of course you can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Is this where I came from? Yeah, it is. And, yeah, both of these, like, this is probably the door we're going to be exiting through. It's literally the same color as that one. Wait, we have a key, don't we? I can go through that. I thought... Okay, I'm confu- Alright, first of all, I'm fucking dead. Um, but second of all, I could have sworn a door was still telling me I couldn't open it before. Like, I was just going past that one thinking that I was still unable to open it, but... No, actually, I can totally open it. Were there any other locked doors that I've managed to actually, like, get in front of? Or was that the only one? Because we can definitely go through that one. This is down here. Besides that guy. 
So this was right where the key was. Oh, right, and we can't actually go that way. Uh, will this... Oh, wait, no, this is going backwards. I don't really want to do that right now. Is this where it was? Yeah, this is where it was. Okay. Well, let's see what's in here. Besides those guys. Uh, well, we've... <laughs> We've got a new type of spikes, apparently. Alright, so here's a question. Can I switch back to these? I, I totally can. I don't know how much damage those, those spikes will actually do on their own. Uh, I thought maybe I could do that all in one fell swoop, but apparently not. There's another platform on the right. Those platforms aren't even moving. Oh, well, this seems like a problem. I'm just gonna not go that way. Ow. I think I'm gonna have to go that way, though. Well, actually, no. He might have just resolved that problem. Also, apparently you don't have to crouch under that. Uh, what? I take it those fall when you step on them. Uh, yeah, would you get out of there, please? Thank you. Okay, now they're on the same plane, so that helps. I should probably use magic against these guys. Well, that didn't work. Also, I'm glad that the shield doesn't get affected by these guys' attacks at all. Interesting. I'm guessing nothing is going to work on these guys. Oh, that did. Alright. That's not hitting him, though. Alright, that'll work. I... I want that? Okay, that's fine. Oh, we got another set of, uh, ropes like this. We had one like- we had one like that in Timba. Hey, welcome back, human. Yeah, the music continues to be good. There is that to say about it. Okay, so I haven't been through there yet. There's also another slope over here we could potentially climb up. Is that guy going to come after me or not? Uh, I'm not quite there yet. There we go. How did that one get me? I should have been protected against that. At this point, I'm very much wondering if I should have gone to that other door. Oh, well, there's another door. Okay, at this point, I think I need to heal. Well, okay, that was a thing that happened. The funny thing is, I can still heal like this. I meant to just turn around without moving, because I thought normally... Well, right, I gotta remember, I'm on speed 9, so it's basically impossible to do a single input, and that's what happened. But yeah, no, the shield does not take damage from projectiles. That I noticed a few areas ago. I think I might have even noticed that back in, like, the forest.
can't believe I took two damage from that. I just wanted his money, or his almost. Oh shit, now where am I? Oh, I haven't been here before, have I? I don't think I've been here before. Well, okay then. That's important. Whatever we did, it was worth it. Uh, now where am I? Now I'm back here again. Uh, so this is the town right here. Yeah, we might as well, we might as well save. We got a key. I need to do that, basically that same route again and go through the earlier door. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the inn here, too. Let's see what we can turn in here. I mean, yes, the exchange rate here is awful, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because we get a lot of almas from enemies here, so, like, that kind of counteracts the bad exchange rate. We, I mean, yeah, this is the second key we've got even tonight. Actually, the funniest thing is, like, part of the not making progress tonight was me forgetting I had a key and I walked right by a door that I could open. Uh, in. In is right here. see if we have a level up. I doubt it, but it sounded like we weren't even close last time. I so that sounds like a different message, but it's also not the you're close message either, so I guess there's, a I think there's at least three different messages you can get when you aren't leveled up yet. Alright, so we gotta go this way again. Remember where I had to go from here? Did I go this way? Uh, probably not. That was backwards. Can I still salvage this? Well, okay then. Nah, -uh, you come back here and get what's coming to you. Thank you. Right, so we still haven't got... <laughs> Dude's showing up. It's like, wouldn't you like this thing? Well... No. Uh, that's where we're going. You've got to be ready to attack as soon as you come in here. It's ridiculous. All right, how much damage? Oh, that does a lot of damage. I didn't experiment with that last time. I figured I would experiment with it this time, but, uh, oh boy. Oh, well, that was not what I wanted. So I, I do kind of want to get over there. But getting past those guys is kind of, kind of a problem. Oops. Well, alright, everybody just gather around again, I guess. But yeah, it's like I figured I would I would test the spikes this well the flames this time because like in the early game spikes do a laughably low amount of damage. Uh that is no longer the case. Okay, so they're both back there now. Could you like cut that out for a second? Ow. I need to get up uh well that didn't work. Okay, that did. 
Does this have, like, limited range? So I thought I was able to get one of them with this before. Okay, yeah. You can. The other guy disappeared, so there's that. Uh, oh, there he is. I think we're gonna hang out again. And get our health back from the spike experiment. I'm still calling them spikes because functionally that's basically what they are. But yeah, apparently it is definitely worth switching back to the Puriga shoes for the spikes for fire walking. It's basically like the blue goop and Timba. Okay, so I think there was a door here that I did not go in, so let's go in here and see what happens. Oh, I know where this is. This is actually going backwards. This is one of the doors we passed with the air current, I think. Yeah, see? Okay, so that is not useful at all. So where else can we go? I guess I'll go in here again. I can't recall if there's any other doors that I have been in front of, or, you know, that I've passed by. I don't know if I went down here. I honestly don't remember. I feel like I've probably been down there. This is also part of this. Yep. <laughs> part of the same current. Okay. I mean, at least I'm making sense of where I'm ending up. It'd be worse. Which door is this? Is this the two in a row? This is the two in a row. Okay. I always forget to be ready to attack things. I don't know whether that's on, like, a global timer or what, because that time I was out for, like, two frames, and I took heat damage. Okay, yeah, you be down there and look threatening and stuff. That's nice. You're taking a lot more shots than I thought you would. See, that one took way fewer shots to die. Actually, hang on, let me check something. I don't think I would want to go down there. I don't know if I can. Okay, no, that's a solid one. Yeah, go ahead. Get closer. I dare you. Really, dude. To that crevice there? I can. Doesn't do anything for me. Ah, you can't go up ramps either. Oh, 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, he's coming down too, okay. I missed that last one. Okay, I'm pretty sure I went across this last time, didn't I? We could try going down from here. That is a thing we could try doing. This is where I was last time, right. Oh, wow. Playing the stare down game there, and he won. Um, I think last time it was relatively safe to stay here. If anything, a dude will start popping me from the left, but my shield will block it. I just noticed this place is called the Cavern of Reaction. Guess what that means? That one's pretty obvious. And this is... Isn't this the one where right when you come in, you have to, like, deal with two of the blue dogs or whatever the heck they are? Alright, so let's see what happens if I fall down here. Oh, air, air current happens if I fall down here. Okay. I think I recognize this place. Yep, we're right back here again. Did these pl these platforms? No, they did not reset. So if I mess that up again, I have to reset the room by going out and again. It's unfortunate. Like enemies, enemies will respawn, but these platforms will not reset. That guy got himself in a real unfortunate situation. Yep, we're screwed. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, okay, so that's there. I didn't try going this way before. Holy crap, dude. Cool. <laughs> I thought we just screwed up and had to do stuff over, but no, actually, we found something. Alright, yeah, and here we are again. Let's go in this one this time. So, uh, yeah, now I have two keys at once. Jeez, can't think of the... Has that ever happened to me in this game before? Probably, like, once. I can't get there either, right? Right. Uh... We could go up there. We could go down there. We can't go down there. Never mind. Oh, shit. Don't die. Uh, you're not allowed to go over there. There's another door over there, but we're not allowed to go over there. Uh, if we want to go back to town, though, that's in here anywhere. <laughs> so, the <laughs> we've got Reaction, we've got Correr, and we've got Caliente. Well, Caliente is actually the word for hot, so that one's pretty blatant. And that's the one that you come in on. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, look at how much... I never actually... Did I not deposit my gold last time? I guess I didn't. Alright, let's just go use up our remaining gold. Like, I guess that's the strategy at this point, is like, only exchange almost when I actually run out of gold. Don't exchange it every single time, because we might be able to exchange it for more later. Uh, I should see... What do I have in my inventory right now? I still have the shield repair thing, I should honestly just use that up at some point. Because, like, at this point I'm not using it for anything useful. I have actually been using magic for once, so... I will go ahead and use the end. Probably gonna have to exchange or take out gold next time, though. I might as well not even bother go to the bank, because, like, if I die, I'm gonna reload anyway. Uh, we'll check our power. It's probably not over 9,000 yet.
Yeah, that's the almost there message. Okay. We need to find some locked doors. Like, this is actually, uh, kind of a reversal of the usual situation. Usually I'm looking for keys, and I know where the doors are. I've never been up there, have I? Look at these guys, they're on top of each other. Uh, oh right, you have to use the cyclone attack on these guys. Oh my god, I'm just doing this horribly. Yeah, so we need to get up there somehow, but we're gonna have to do that from above, presumably. I've been in both of these levels, though. I suppose I could go with checking the walls here, though. I don't remember if I've been over to the left of this or not. I feel like I probably have. That might... I don't know if that's the place with the other door. This is the place with the ramps. I feel like we have sufficiently explored that at this point. I don't know. But this is the place with all the currents that dumps you up here. I can't hit you? Oh, I can totally hit you. Okay, that's what I say. It's ridiculous how quick you go through shields here, though. And, like, I mean, I, I suppose it makes me glad I did upgrade to this shield, but I still feel like I got ripped off. That dude was about to do an interesting, like, double jump sort of thing. Right, so up there was where the key I just got was. It kind of feels like there's no point, like, to one side of the town versus the other, because either way you can get here. Can't get up there. I don't know that I've ever gotten to either of those doors. They're not locked, though. <laughs> that being said, I don't know how to get to them. Hang on. I feel like I've checked this wall, haven't I? Like, I feel like we're gonna end up having to get into Caliente again from elsewhere. Whoop, hi. Ending up right back here. Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to uh, heal again. Let me just go over here where I'm hopefully safe ish. I'm not safe. Can't hit you from there either. Aha! Take that, loser. I don't know where exactly I would be safe here. Honestly, no nope, that's not safe. Uh we're about to be in a real bad situation. This is this this is not safe either. Wait, is he actually just gonna dance there? Is he not gonna come around? Am I actually okay here? Uh, well, that's not how I wanted it to go. I 
think the platform was eating his, his uh, projectiles there. Alright, well, we know we have to go this way. Need to get closer, sir. Oh. Sometimes I wonder if they're input reading, but it seems like it's, uh... Oh, come on, that should have worked. Come on, dude. Thank you. It seems like it's almost rhythmical. Glad that one only took two, because I feel like the other one there took, like, eight last time. Okay, got lucky with that, dude. I'm still seeing open doors everywhere, though. And I tried going in here, and I think that was just a, an exit. Yeah, so I don't want to go that way. That's the wrong shoes. Hang on, let's get rid of this guy. That works, all right, sure. I feel like I might need to wait this out. I shouldn't have taken the, uh, almost there. So there's a chest over there that I have not figured out how to get to. Try falling down too, and I'm pretty sure that put me in in a previous area that I recognized. So I'm not sure there's any good reason for me to do that. I also don't remember where this put me. I think this put me where I found the first key. Although I should probably get rid of him just so he stops annoying us. The only thing is I knew I was going to take damage, that's why I was debating him. Alright, what else was in here? I want to say I went that way last time? Oh shit, that's that's not what I wanted. So that just sent us backwards, unfortunately. Yeah, this is this part again. So we gotta go through here again. takes like eight shots. That's so weird that they're like the same enemy and yet they have like totally different hit point pools.
mean, okay, if he's just gonna stand there. He doesn't even do that much damage. I mean, if he's just gonna look at me, I'm just gonna leave. Oh my god. Good lord. Oh fuck, I, I just went the same way again. I'm a fucking moron. Alright, let's just reload. Actually, should I reload? Oh, I can't, I can't undo it now. Apparently you can't back out of this menu. I was gonna say, I have a lot of Omnis, but otherwise I just wasted a ton of time. And I'd rather not wait to heal again. So now we're, now we're back into the wasting time zone. This wasn't the part I thought it was. Uh, I didn't even mean to go this way, but I guess we'll run with it and see what happens. How did that hit me? Well, I'm half dead. going out the left door is pretty much what I should have done. Actually, will this drop me in front of those doors? Yeah, it will. Yeah, so going out the left, left exit from town might actually be the right call. That's the wrong shoes. I'll go down here again, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, you know what? I just got an... I got a really dumb idea. I got a really dumb idea that can't possibly be intentional. Uh, so that sucks me back in. Where did this bring me again? I forget. That's what brought me to... Wait, is that what brought me to the key up there? Is that what was up there? Because I know I did do that once. But... I thought, I thought the really long round trip was what brought me to the key. Now I'm actually forgetting which, which was which. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. And now I'm gonna die. I've been here. I know where this is. And this is a really bad place to, <laughs> to get in there from. Uh, yeah, because that brings me here. Alright. I want to try that one more time because I I want to see if I can stay higher than that. But that answers one question of like, how do I get up there? <laughs> and what exactly is up there? Uh, oh wait, that's not what I want. Um, actually it doesn't matter which way I go. I can't imagine the game actually intends for you to do that, though. That seems a little overly sneaky. Oh, can I not? Somehow I was thinking I could go this way. And I guess those guys aren't affected by currents. Boy, wish I could be one of them. This is where the two doors are. Yep. Okay, so we're going in here. One of these days, I'll stop forgetting about that. That, that literally is just what's there. And now I'm gonna die.
Uh, yeah, so there's basically no reason to do that. So the thing up there is the green door that leads you back into the vacuum zone. The Hoover zone. I may have to resort to using a map at this point because... Or, or a walkthrough or something, because, like... What am I even... I have no idea... Find an... If you can't find your way, find an air current near the ceiling of the cave. That's... That's the one that I was, like, trying to... ...to, uh, you know, heed there. And this guy says an opening with no ivy, but, like, the only openings with no ivy I have found in Career Cave don't let you fall, so he's lying as far as I'm concerned. I still can't believe that, like, this- this area started out with me, like, tripping over keys. I still want to know what the deal with this area is, because, like, there's interesting stuff to be had here. I want this guy to push the other guy forward. Yeah, there you go. Good job. there to help me. How did you get back here already, dude? And I can't tell which color door that is as to whether I... Like, there's no way I've been there. So that whole section looks super interesting to me. But I'm pretty sure this is just gonna suck me out to the top, right? That worked. And I'm pretty sure I checked this entire wall. Yeah, that's where the town was. Have I been over there? I forget. Can I get over there from here? No, that's where that chest is too, which I also have never figured out. Oh, cool, I could get his stuff, though. Yeah, so the stuff on the right side there and those interesting platforms at the top are both things that I have just not figured out at all how to get to. If you go through this whole cave, it'll get you to one particular other part of Caliente. But I'm pretty sure that's only useful for, like, one specific thing. Otherwise, you're just getting sucked into the same network of currents as always. This is the other side of that. Wait a minute. Okay, right. But that door is one of the ones I've never gotten to. Okay, but now I'm realizing that that is the same section that I've been eyeballing. but I don't think I have any way to get over there. Because there's no way in hell. But 
Well, that's probably just gonna hit the wall anyway. Yep. Yeah, so th that's not gonna work. And now this is where the town is, right? Yeah. And doesn't this shove you over there? Or no? Okay, no. This shoves you upward. And I'm not sure if I've been in there either. Uh, why are you down here already? right there. This is actually a really good farming spot. Because you could just do that over and over again. You gotta be good at not getting hit, though. Yeah, just like that. So if you ever wanted to farm, that's useful. again. I've gone through this so many damn times. And that door right up there doesn't go anywhere useful. That just goes back to the Hoover section. Or the Dyson section, what are we calling it? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I should wait for this guy to come down. Nope, there's nothing at the top of the wall either. I know I checked the little alcove there. I didn't check the top corner. to push me down. Well, unfortunately, uh, Ty goes to the fire, dude. I'm just being greedy and impatient right now. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on the ceiling there. It's just like, how many times can I do this and figure out something different to do at the end? I haven't been up there at all, but I have no idea if I can even get up there. What? Stop knocking me backwards, you piece of crap. Oh my god! That was the particular ceiling in question that they were talking about. You've got to be kidding. We found the ceiling. I, I feel like the air currents in this area really needed some kind of visible conveyance. <laughs> Alright, I, I need to speed things up. So as it turns out, we did need to come through this area multiple times. But alright, I know how to get here. The, the fortunate part of, you know, having done this path a gazillion times is I know how to get here. <laughs> it's a really oddly particular place to jump. And this isn't the career thing either. So like, I was like, tr for, in my head, I was trying to justify what uh, Yozeros or whatever was saying. And no, this isn't this isn't his thing. This is a very wide ceiling gap with without a vine or without ivy. But this isn't what he was talking about. All right, we'll see where this goes first. 
this is where the other dude is, isn't it? Like, this is that one that I saw above. I'm not going down there. <laughs> because if I go down there, I can't get back up again. Oh my god, we're here! Alright, so now what do we want to do with these? I don't want to screw myself out of this here. Because it seems like I'm going to have to jump over here and then bring this up and then jump over there. Yep. And then we can go up here and get this. Which is a full health that I don't even need. Uh, and then we can do this. And we can get... This is one of the mystery doors. Yeah, this is progress. <laughs> Uh, thanks, I think. I don't really care. I like how you can just talk these guys off a ledge. Um... Okay, but now where am I going? This is Reaction again, which is interesting. But, like, isn't... Isn't down there just gonna be somewhere I've already been? Hang on. I wanna... I wanna... I'm pretty sure I already checked this pretty thoroughly over here, but I want to make sure I've checked everything possible over here. Uh... Okay, this is the other section that I haven't been in. I'm not exactly sure what the current did there. Oh, that was not smart. The question here is, is the current going to pick me up again? I don't want it to. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, it's actually keeping me in here, which is interesting. Oh. <laughs> Those are at different phases, so they don't actually always meet halfway. That's kind of awkward. Now they're meeting halfway. Yeah, now they're not. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Actually, it's fine. And he's just gonna let me give it to him. I see you. Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna need to salvage this. Okay, that works. Well... I came in from anyone? I think that's where I came from anyway. But then what am I doing here? Alright, that's pretty good. I haven't been down there, right? That was unwise. Oh my, God. look at all these dudes. All right, hang on. Can I use, like, this against them or something? I sure can. All right, now, now we're down to one. I guess this is the Highlander room, and then there was one. I shouldn't have done that. I knew ex I, mean, I immediately knew that was a really bad idea. All right, but now what are we doing? Is there a platform that's going to come over here? Or is it going to be a current? It's going to be a current. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. 
and that's just... Oh, I can actually, like, jump in the current. That's kind of interesting. Or at least I seemingly could a little bit. Alright, so now I'm stuck here. Can I get onto one of those platforms? I don't think I'm ever going to get that high. The thing I worry about is if I go down there, am I just, like... Am I just going to have to do all of this over again? Uh, no, we're not. Okay. I don't like all these leaps of faith. Alright, this is kind of... Yeah, this is tricky because we need to land on the bottom one first. The top one's going to push us off, though. But we can't ride the top one across the middle. I feel like we need to wait for a very specific timing here. Mm, that wasn't quite it. But yeah, it would have been so much better if they made the currents visible. No, oh, that's not going to work either. I mean, I get that like making the currents visible might have trivialized it too much, but... Making them invisible is not a very friendly idea. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Um, also that. Wait, is that not gonna... That might have only not pushed me because I was mid-jump. That doesn't push me. Uh... Why didn't that jump high enough? I'm used to platforms... I'm used to that causing me to get pushed off the platform when I'm on a platform and there's another one... Like, w that passes through my hitbox. So I'm surprised this one doesn't do that when in the previous area there was very much one that did that. Oh, it does it a little bit. I think I'm just timing that badly. No, that was a bad time to do that anyway. Yeah, it's pushing me one block over. Oh, that works. All right. I guess I should go through this. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was to the left of this before. I really don't know which way to go here, and, like, this is where I would love to have save states, because... Oh, man, we're gonna have to do everything over again if I screw this up. Or, you know, if I get killed by a dog. I don't... I don't trust this. That looks like where I was before. Alright, good, he's dead. I'm gonna go with my original hunch, which is this way. Okay, we can't actually go that way. Oh, I can't go either way here. Okay, I guess I guess we're going down. And we're not going Now it's like sticking me here actually. Shit. I probably didn't want to do that. However. This is, yeah, this is the halfway point. Did you knock that off? The good news is, oh, nope, the bad news is a dog fucking killed me. So we are doing it all over because fuck this video game. All right, I am going to take another break now. We know where we have to go. By the time I get back to Career, I'm not going to remember which way I have to go there. Which sucks. But we know where we have to go. This is rude. <laughs> but we'll give it another try when we get back. Alright, we're back and we're gonna do it again. The one thing I found interesting about that part of Carrera was it was actually, like, forcing me into the right path. Until it wasn't. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot happened in a really short time where I got mauled by dogs and crap, too. But anyway, uh... We gotta get back there again, so that could take, uh, a while. Now, 
Hang on a sec. I did reload, right? I guess I had that much health to begin with in my save. Okay. That works. All right. Oh man, I was gonna make a break for it. Didn't work. It's. T <laughs> I like how. <laughs> I like how I already died, and it's like, by the way, it's too hot! <laughs> well, actually, I mean, that's... that. Yeah, first of all, it's interesting because the dogs can jump, but second of all, like, enemies, like, boosting you up ramps is, is also a thing to begin with, so there is that. Alright, not a good idea at all, whatsoever. Uh, alright. too far. Well, this is already off to a great start. How does he get on the other side of me, dude? Am I actually safe here, or is that dog gonna respawn and kill me? Alright, let's, let's start heading that way. Now the dude's gonna come up from up there. So here we go again. At this point, honestly, I should probably just, like, actually buy an extra Juin fruit to use that here. Because if I can get to this point, and then I just need to heal here, then... That's at least half the battle. It's getting to the point where I'm actually considering, like... Maybe I should just actually buy items to save time. I forget how I made this transition last time, because I feel like if I just walk off of it, it's not going to work, but me yeah, no, it doesn't. All right. <laughs> Might as well try that and find out. All right, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's actually buy shit. Um, where was the bank? Here it is. I forget how much the Juan fruit was here. Was it still 600, or was it more than that? I can't get this to stop on a dime very well. Alright, let's go with that. Take two of them. Just so we don't have to wait forever. Of course, like the the uh, 
the hoarder in me is gonna not want to use them anyway, but, like, I'm getting this with the express purpose of using it in a specific place. So let's, let's see if we can make this idea work. Oh, didn't actually want to do that. So you want to go in here, hit this guy, hit that guy, get hit by this guy, Wow, I got away with only getting hit by one thing there, plus the it's too hot damage. That was actually reasonable. I think I still have that. Like, I'm assuming that I can only have five items, so I think I still have space for one more item, which is good because I'm probably going to want to buy something else when we get to knowing where the boss is and what it's like, although we'll, we'll see whether the boss ends up being the most reasonable part of this, like last time. So I don't actually have to wait here. Because that's just that one guy. I have to wait after I do this. Oh, and... I guess I really didn't need to buy all those Juan fruits. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll use them eventually. Okay, then we go through here. We get gold for the heck of it. Uh, we talk that guy off a cliff. There's a thing over here. Oh, I was too far away to make that work. Please don't knock me off, thank you. Uh, I didn't hold up and left long enough. Well, that was a waste. Why did they give us two of those in a row? It's actually... So I don't even have to take the one that's out of the way up there because there's another one right there. I might as well just take that. Crush all the dudes. Come on, you know you want to get crushed too. Oh, come on. Oh, they can't actually get up here. Wait, I can hit them though. At least that one. Got a little greedy. part where we have to, yeah, we have to just leap of faith over there. Ah, see, that time it did push me off. <laughs> time it pushed me off in the other direction. Okay. And now we're in Carrera again. So I believe we had to go up. I believe there were also dogs. Alright, nope, that wasn't the way. I guess we didn't have to go up. Okay, I guess up was the thing I tried first, and then it turned out that was wrong. So I think last time I jumped over this. What if I go down here? No, that was what I did last time. I got knocked down by that dog. That was what happened. So we need to jump over that. Yeah, because now I'm back here. Okay. I might, as, I might as well reload. Okay. So now I remember what happened, and I know what I have to do. Uh, but watch out for the dog, though. I don't know if we can bait the dog out before I get there. The good news is, I got there a lot faster this time. 
Like, yeah, there, there's a few annoying, tricky jumps in there, but we, we can do this. Oh my god, stop, stop going the wrong way. That was not my best showing there. Alright, wait this guy out. I could probably use some kind of magic to deal with this guy quickly. I st that's to me that's the hardest freaking jump dude it's like it's like what is the correct amount of jump to get that because it's like one hop uh what am i doing about this one i have failed that jump twice now I guess that works, yeah. <laughs> Just sink into the hole and then he can't even hit you. Alright, cool. I like that idea. Alright, we said that one's not even necessary. In which case, you can just do two jumps to get right over there. where that guy was coming from, but okay. Alright, we grab this one. And then we go all the way down. And smash all these dudes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay, good, I can get down. Um, I think we're accidentally playing Puyo Puyo right now. <laughs> All right, let's let's clear these guys out. All right, that's good enough. Oh, right, don't do that. Okay, I, I managed to save myself. Okay, here we are again.
sure. Okay. All right. Can I bait the dog? No, I don't think I can. So that's terrifying. Because that's exactly what... It's, it's precisely in the right place to screw you over. We, we have reached peak asshole game design right here. Like, what are you even supposed to do about that? It's probably not worth me going through here again. I should probably just reload. Yeah, I mean, like, well, now I'm back here anyway. I... Right, but I've already taken the one... Th yeah, I should just reload. I mean, there is the other potion there, too, but... I might as well just reload. That's what I'm... Yeah, that's the thing that I'm thinking is, like, can I throw a projectile... ...and actually take out the dog? I feel like that one always gives me a red if I... ...if I downstab it like that. Wow, that one gave me a hundred, too. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that guy doesn't spawn until you go, like, all the way to the right. Yeah, I forgot to put the cape back on. Oh, so that guy comes from... Okay, from over there. See, this was not the greatest idea. Because now I'm kind of dying again. I was kind of hoping I could rush that and, like, have the potion refill actually, like, basically absorb some damage, but that didn't end up working out. Alright, am I safe here? I meant to- I was trying to hold up to, like, hit the dog, but that's not what ended up happening. Uh... We're going down, right? And then- yeah, and then over here. I forget, does this actually push me- yeah, that pushes me back. Okay, that was good timing. Alright, let's try this. Alright, I need to... Oh, okay, you have to actually wait it out. Well, that kind of worked. Oh no, they pushed me over here. I don't think I want to be over here. Also, I'm probably gonna die.
Yeah, I think I'm back in in the part we don't want to be in. Uh, no, now I'm back in the part I don't want to be in. Well. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this part probably loops really tightly, because wasn't that the door I came in? This is just blatantly wasting my time. And I am not a huge fan of games that do that. Also, if nothing else, this is teaching me that I probably won't... No, for once he didn't drop anything. Um, this is probably teaching me that I won't bother with board boosters anymore after this. Like, I still don't know if I'm gonna want to speedrun this. Because signs are pointing to very no. It actually hit me. Uh, I might not have enough health to actually make this work now. But, like, the way the board boosters operates pretty much assumes that people are just gonna go and speedrun the game immediately without just playing it first, which is very much not what I like to do. Like, I feel like that's... I feel like speedrunning a game without actually ever playing it for real is being unfair to both the game and yourself, because you're biasing... you're, you're, you're basically spoiling the game for yourself. You're biasing your first playthrough. I should probably just take this one. Oh wow, I almost landed right up, so that's possible to do. Interesting. like to avoid taking the other health, but I'm not sure if I can avoid taking the other health. Did the other dude already fall down? No, I didn't mean this dude. I can't even get back there again. I'm gonna end up finishing tonight feeling like I've done absolutely nothing in this game and I should have just played Torchlight. Which isn't true, like I have done- I have actually done stuff in the game. But again, for the amount of time I have spent versus the amount of progress I've made, it feels like I should have spent like one-tenth of the amount of time I spent. That is how much this game disrespects the player's time. Like, and I know this is a thing that developers have done a lot, is just, like, artificially pad out a game's time, either by making it unreasonably difficult in a way that just wastes your time blatantly, or by just putting, like, a lot of meaningless grinding or filler in, in one way or another. Oh, this guy is kind of close. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. And, like... I'm sure back then it was far less recognized that that's just a shitty thing to do to players. Like... There's more to getting your money's worth out of a game in terms of duration of playtime than just making that playtime 90% meaningless garbage that makes the person playing it hate their existence. And that is the kind of game this is. And like, I'm sure the speedrun addresses that because the speedrun's like half an hour. And, like, this very well might be one of those games that you're actually better off just learning the speedrun and to hell with a casual playthrough without knowing where you're going. Because, although, I mean, as far as this section is concerned, I feel like you're kind of going to have a problem even if you know where you're going. Uh, I don't need to do anything there right now. Whoa, what happened there? 
I like stop dead for some reason. I don't like finding new, possibly inconsistent ways to screw that up. Okay, so that is the guy that ends up falling farther once I get over here. Yep, there he is. Oh, right, those guys can jump. So much for having healed. because there's a dog down there. Why? <laughs> uh, that dog's getting some frequent flyer miles down there. I don't trust you. Oh, that was entirely the wrong thing to be doing. Uh... That works. Oh, I was early. I guess because of how fast... I was early again. I guess because of how fast the top platform is going, that's why I don't get totally pushed off. Oh, well, that was dumb. I know at this point that I can just fall onto this platform and I'm actually fine. Almost missed my stuff there. Okay, I don't even know how I made this work last time, so... And I know that I didn't one-shot the dog with that either. Maybe I should... Mm, maybe I should try different magic. Yeah, that one shots them. Okay, so that works. <clears throat> now, I don't remember where I went after that. I forget if this was actually still salvageable, possibly. Uh, I feel like this was the same exact situation I was in last time. I don't want to be over there. But I think what I did... Oh my god! Jeez. Okay, do not jump here. We haven't been here. I shouldn't have done that. Now now we're in the, uh, the sad zone again. So I still feel like I, like, here's the thing, I'm getting pushed around by the dogs, and, like, I'm not sure if I'm already kind of, like, sunk by the time that I get pushed around by the dogs at all. But there was still potentially an option for me there. But it's, it's so easy to end up going the wrong way in that section, and th this is just such a garbage artificial padding to the game right now. I keep, I keep instinctively wanting to kill the dogs, because who wouldn't want to kill the dogs when they waste this much of your time in career?
Uh, well, this is bad. Could you stop doing that? I should be fine. Yeah. That's another option, is just make sure you're backed up there. duck under these guys, actually. What the hell have I been doing? I'm forgetting that I don't have to be standing to hit them. It's only the flame guys. <clears throat> Whoa, that was, uh... You don't have to even... <laughs> Are you shitting me? You can just ride the top platform. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I was just getting the load of how I landed right on that platform, and then I had no time to react, and I just took it across. It didn't push me off. I assumed that that was a ceiling, and I would get pushed off. Nope. That is not a ceiling. Uh, so that makes that section less annoying. Alright, at least we learned one thing that'll make this a little bit slightly more tolerable. Uh, so we go down, right? Uh, where's the other dog? I'm, I'm wary of that. Uh, I think I used this one last time. I pressed the wrong button! I pressed the wrong button and then got away with it. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Like every time. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think I wanted to do that. Are, are, are we a lost cause now? Or are we still salvageable? I, I feel like if I go that way, I'm going to regret it. Uh, I think we're already a lost cause, because I shouldn't be seeing this door. I think- I think we got bullied by dogs again. Uh, if I go that way, it's probably gonna push me up. Nope, maybe not. Uh, okay, so we're here again. I think I didn't want to go right from there. Oh, uh, well, I can't go that way either. I, th I think- I think that chest is a consolation prize. Because <sighs> I almost definitely don't want to go that way. Hang on, what? Were both of those the same color? Those might have been both the same color. I'm pretty sure I don't want to be in here. Yeah, no, you don't want to be in here. So now we're now we're decidedly in the uh, in the sad zone, and now we're in the dead zone. <sighs> so presumably we want to find another green door, based on what the first guy said. Uh, you know, the town elder. 
And then based on what Yozera says, we should... I don't know whether we do or don't want to be falling somewhere. That's that's the part I'm a little confused about, because... Like, the, you know, the way these messages are translated sometimes leaves uh, something to be desired. There's probably no point in me switching back there. He's actually getting the hell out of Dodge this time. didn't hold right. Uh-oh. Right, we should be fine, regardless of the enemies down there. Here we are again. Alright, so... Hmm. Let, me, let me attempt to take some notes. So first we go down, then we go right across gap. As we shoot the dog. Uh, let me throw that notepad over there. That's not the same dog, I have to assume. Yeah, it was not the same dog. So now the question is... Where do we want to go? We don't want to go right. Uh, that was... I just paused in addition to it being paused. I forget which way I went last time. I feel like I might have gone to the right last time. I am curious about this. Do I remember which way I went, though? <laughs> I think I already forgot. Alright, I don't think I care about the chest. Oh! That's a different chest. That is a different chest. Uh, I like. Oh no!
Is this where I just came in from? I actually managed to loop back to where I just came in from. So that's interesting. Oh, shit. Alright, time to retrace our steps. I'm pretty sure I went up to the left last time. then went more to the left and up. No? Maybe. Was that where the chest was? That might have been where the chest was. I don't think I wanted to do that. I, yeah, okay, so this is what happened last time. Okay, so that looped me. That's fine. Guess what? That dog was back. Now it's not fun. I didn't expect the dog to be back, dude. Shit. <laughs> oh boy. I right, yeah, don't 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 assume the dog won't be there ever. Always expect dog. actually starting to just get actually tired, in addition to being tired of this bullshit. I really would have liked to actually, like, navigate my way through this whole section tonight. It seemed like it should have been possible. But alas, the game designers are too incompetent to make that possible. Okay. Never done that before. I assume he's still gonna fall over here. Actually, no, he never fell down to here, did he? Oh, now he did. Uh, well, that's interesting. immediately losing half of my health again. I really should use magic for that. Oh, what? Again, I... Oh, you know what? I wonder if that platform is getting in my way up there. Because, like, again, I was holding upright, and I did not go right. Dog... Yeah, go play with that guy. Okay, now the dog is sandwiched. Oh, no, he's not. What the hell is that guy doing? Almost, almost took that in the wrong direction. Okay, good. up, thank you. Sure, backhanded. I don't even know if the way I've been going is right, but I figure if they're giving you a full health restore, it's probably leading to something.
so I think... I want to say I tried going up there before. Have I tried going this way? It's probably wrong. Uh... I probably don't want to be over here. I can still go over there, which is interesting. I got pushed back to the beginning again, which is fine. I should have just let that drop. Yeah, I couldn't avoid picking that up, unfortunately. I went right last time. I think I got pushed right last time. Alright, that works. Is this where I ended up getting... Wait, is that a new door? Is this a different green door? Or is this the same green door? That's the same green door. I wish this place weren't so confusing. Oh no, I got pushed. Uh, I think this is fine though? Because is that the green door? Yeah, it is. So this is fine. Wow, I missed picking that up? Good. Didn't miss picking that up, though. The fewer the dogs we have, the better. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid that one. Did I already use a potion? No, I didn't. Okay. So that was the same green door. And I got pushed through. My god, dude. I mean, the good news is if we ever make it back, I'll be rich, but, uh... I I doubt we're going to make it. Oh, that's probably bad. Uh, I don't know. Is that bad? Or, ac or are we actually in part of the same sequence here? I can't go that way. Can I recover this? No, now we're, now we're in the bad place. Uh, I was just thinking, like, should I have not reloaded? Should I have actually gone back and saved with more stuff? But nah, how old? But yeah, friggin' dogs. Should call this the two stupid dogs room. After the, uh... The, oh, I did it again. Anytime I'm talking there, I forget not to kill the dog. After the, uh, Cartoon Network show, though.
Alright, that works. What are you doing, dude? Of course, the annoying one is left. Of course, the easy one dies first. That dog did- what? There was another dog over there? This dogs are out of control, dude. That shot has always worked? What the fuck was that? I got robbed. Cool, the game can just waste five minutes of my time whenever it feels like it. I guess that's a use case for Agua, because then there's... Well, if that was an issue of, like, being frame-perfect or something in a way, where the dog phased through the attack, then I don't think the water attack would help. Like, I don't think it was a height issue, I think it was a horizontal issue. <clears throat> but that sucks. It's like, assuming that you have to go through this mess for the speedrun, that can basically just end your run or waste five minutes in it for no reason. is over there. Oh, now he's... Okay, that's fine, actually. Is he not gonna come down here? I mean, I suppose that's okay. Okay. I 
really want to pick up all that stuff, but... Oh my god. I can't go that way. So, you can't go left there. Can I go left here? I can, but I probably don't want to. And now, now we're probably in Consolation Prize territory again. I go up here. Is that gonna... That's probably definitely not what I... I think I did that last time. Wait. Yeah, no, now we're in... Now we're in the bad place again. The problem is I don't even know, like, what my goal in this area is. Like, I haven't... I don't think I've caught sight of any other doors. I have spent four and a half hours on this game tonight to make 20 minutes of progress. I got a call here. It's stupidly late and I'm not making any progress. And like now, now it's not even the map design. It's just, well, the level design as a whole with the extremely asshole game design of putting enemies in there that will immediately push you back to basically nullify any progress you've made. So... Uh, I think at this point I'm gonna look at the speedrun and see whether they get to skip this section, because if they don't, I don't fucking care. I'm not running this game. Or if they have some way to trivialize it. Just get me past those dogs, holy shit. So, you've probably heard me talking about uh, the fact that th the reason I'm playing this being that Board Boosters is going to be speedrunning this in April. And, um, well, I can now say that this playthrough has an interesting interaction between the speedrun and the casual playthrough, because pretty much the thing that has resuscitated this playthrough is the fact that I, I mentioned at the end of last night I was going to probably look at the speedrun up to this point, and it just so happens that there is a skip that is seemingly, it looks like it's precise to set up, and it probably is precise to set up, but it's actually really easy as long as you time it right. There is a skip in precisely the section that I am in right now that makes it way faster to retry. So, we're gonna try it again. Um, the other thing that I learned uh, by watching the speedrun is, you know that one item that I keep not buying because the description is ambiguous? That item is overpowered as hell. Apparently. Uh, I do need to try that at some point. But for the time being... So the funny thing... The other funny interaction there is... For the skip, you can't use that item. <laughs> because of how overpowered it is. Um, but yeah, because I have the skip that I, that I know how to do now... Like, I, I tried it... Like, just by observing what the run was doing. I tried it earlier and got it first try, no sweat repeated it multiple times, so I, I think I'm set on this. And this means that retrying this section will be much, much faster. Like, before it took me, like, five minutes to get back there, it's gonna take, like, 15 seconds now or something. It's actually ridiculous. Um, that being said, I didn't pay particularly close attention to, like, where they go after that, so, like, I'm still trying to figure out for myself how, like, where the exit to that section is that we're looking for. The one thing that I am wondering, though, hey, Zaki, the one thing that I am wondering is whether I actually un inadvertently passed by the proper exit to that place by wrongly assuming it was the start to that place. So, uh, let's, let's investigate. So let me start the timer up, and we will get back to the place I was in much, much faster this time. Uh, so, get the timer going. Uh, get our speed up. So... 
we're still gonna go down to those two uh, red doors down here. But instead of going through this one, I'm gonna go through this one. Now you might remember this is this is the part of Correr that we don't want to be in. However, just just watch. Hopefully, I'll remember how to do this. All right, wait for the dog. See the dog start moving. Just hold right. Boom. We are in the correct part of Correr now. I told you, it's going to take 15 seconds instead of 5 minutes. Um, now the question is, which part of Carrera are we in? Exactly. Which door is this? Okay, this is... So this is where I usually enter this... The correct part from. So that just got us the whole way here. With basically no trouble. So, this is going to make retrying this a lot faster. I keep accidentally holding up there. Let's keep that on that one. Alright, so I think I was doing the whole up-left thing here now. Could you cut that out, dog? It's like every single time, dude. <laughs> Alright, keep those things there. Well, never mind. This dog is going to kill me. Like, why are they always perfectly timed? And they always jump over, too. What if I just wait for it to go by? Um, alright, sure, that works. I'm almost dead. Uh, however... I'm glad that dog didn't jump, because we're actually fine. So that door we don't want to go through. Now, is this where I started, or is this where I want to be going, is the question. It's probably where I started. Yeah, it is. Okay. So that was not productive. Almost didn't get him. Oh, sure, this time he comes down, you little shit. <laughs> uh, are we good? So, yeah, if you camp down there, they actually will come back and fall down on you rather than going up. Oh, no, that one jumps. So, like, what's the deal? What What is the deal with these guys, really? Alright, so this time we want to keep going left here. Okay, we got him. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's not good. We got dogs. I can't go that way. Do I want to go to the right? I feel like I don't want to go to the left here. I feel like I have been here before, and I do not want to go that way. Wait, now I looped around, though, because I've already been here. And I probably didn't want to do that, because now we just walk through. Okay, now I'm back over here, though, which is actually fine. But this is the... This is the original door, right? Yeah, so I... <laughs> I'm really good at finding this door again. I am really bad at finding literally anything else. So I usually go down there. I'm Yeah, down is your only option when you first come into this spot. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing else you can do. I'm gonna have to restart soon, because I am getting murdered by dogs. I want to go down here or not? No, you do not want to go. Alright, let's reload. We don't want to go down there. And now this is this is much, much more tolerable, because we can get back there extremely fast now. And, like, that's, that's the whole thing, is, like, if you make retries basically free, then there's no problem.
Alright, so now we're already in that area, I think. Uh, okay, so that's, that's the starting point. So let's get over there. So that we're doing this fair and square, pretty much. Oh, well, I didn't want to do... <laughs> yeah, that's not what I wanted. Well, let's do that again. too long that time, or will this still work? It still works. It does hurt you quite a bit. Which, I'm still not sure I'm going to want to speedrun this, because you're going to have a lot less health. Hell, the speedrun goes without a shield for like half of the game. Alright, so now we're over at the starting point. Now, now the question is, where haven't I gone? I'm pretty sure I tried going to the right, and you didn't want to do that. Oh no, he pushed me through, didn't he? This might not be salvageable. salvageable or not. Uh, cool, I just went the wrong way. I think I picked the wrong speed, too. That was nice. Alright. Alright, let's get over here again. But it's ridiculous how much time this saves and makes this section actually bearable. If you can say that ever about this section. Um, okay, so it will actually just immediately reverse course. Uh, alright, that works. That's blue. What if I just keep going this way? I've never tried that, have I? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Where am I now? I can't- oh, it's pushing me away. I can't do that. We didn't want to do that. Now I'm in the consolation prize zone, because that's the thousand gold. I'm pretty sure you don't want to get that. Oh, come on. Well, now I'm definitely in the consolation prize zone. I don't know if that would have been workable before. Yeah, now, now we're definitely at the point of, like, trying different things just to see what the hell actually works for this section. The dog didn't follow me. What? Huh? Did I- maybe I did it too early? It's the first time I've seen that not work. Maybe it's- maybe it's not consistent. I hope it's not luck-based. That would stink.
Okay, I definitely waited a little longer that time, but it managed to work, so... Uh, wait, let's go down first. Oh, come on. That is a lot of dogs. I am worried. You know what? We should try something, just for the hell of it. Can I- can I even use this while I'm climbing? No, I can't. That answers that question. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Okay, whatever. Oh, wanna fall there? I should switch back to this. Where was the health? There it is. So, we don't want to go that way. Last time I tried going left here, that didn't really seem to work out. Oh my god, dude. Hey, Mike. And I am pretty sure I confirmed that this is the start point. I just got pushed over there by the dog anyway. Yeah, it is. Oh, I got gypped again. It's the second time that's happened where shooting that dog doesn't work. At least now it doesn't waste five minutes, it only wastes 20 seconds or something. Oh, didn't mean to hold left there. Uh, okay, he's still up there this time. I am kind of curious where I am right now, because, like, well, actually, right, so this is actually part of the climb up and to the left, isn't it? Except, well, is it, though? Because I can't go over there. This must, okay, so this was the part where you could no longer go left, and then I think I tried going right. But I don't want to go to the right to that chest, I don't think. Or, do, actually, wait, which chest is that? That might be the health. That is the health. Because I've never, I've never come from this direction before. Oh my god, knock it off. Dude! Now this is where I'm... I need to, I need to develop a sense for how quickly this wraps. Because... Didn't I just climb up from literally here? I thought I couldn't go left here. Is this... Now I'm suspicious. Alright, I shouldn't have done that, probably. Uh-huh, probably not. Definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, the plot's thickening here, like, that couldn't have been the same- I feel like there's no way that could have been the same green door both times. It's amazing how such a tightly looping area can be so confusing. So... No, this is that part. Now I just now I just got pushed the way I didn't want to. Alright, that is that door. Yes. Confirmed. Next time I gotta go the way I'd been going and like count how many levels we go up before I reach the same door again, because I'm kinda curious about that. It's really hard to judge the left to right wrapping 
in that level because you're so frequently blocked from going left to right. Like, you can never go completely around left to right. Uh, I mistimed that. I need to go back up. I waited too long. This is a disadvantage that we're starting at in terms of health. Uh, I went too fast that time. Oh! Uh, so I need to reset this again. Okay. Don't know where that dog went. Okay. So now we're here. And that is the door that I start from. So, like, if I go down from here... Shouldn't I eventually... I should eventually reach the, uh... The chest. Yeah, there it is. Last time, didn't I reach that from the left or something? I think that's what confused me. You actually... Oh, I can't go over there. You get pushed. Well, I think that answers my question, because we found those two things there. So this is one level, this is two levels, I can't go that way. Wait, so that was the first level, right? Because they're down here? Yeah. One. Two. Done that. I want to say the number is probably four. Uh, but I'm not sure. Because now I'm not sure where the other things I left lying around are. This was four, right? So this is three. They are totally not in the right place. That guy is still there. Okay, that works. Where the heck were those drops that I left? Now, now they're just gone. They shouldn't be spawn on their own, though. But I'm, I'm absolutely confused at this point. I even tried to leave myself a reference point, and I'm still confused anyway. That's how confusing this map is. Both of them jumped over, even though I was nowhere close. There they are! <laughs> okay, but hold on. I would like to backtrack if at all possible. Is this the right? No, that wasn't. That wasn't it. Wasn't. Wait, no, that is it. Okay, so yeah, this is okay. This is the same door because you can see the, the the almost over there. So I am extremely good at finding this door again, and I don't know where the hell else to go. He just jumped off his dying cousin. Like, what the hell? And there's definitely no way to go there. I really wish the air currents were visible. And I can't go there either. Oh, that dog actually didn't respawn there. Amazing. I probably don't want to be here, but... Something I haven't tried, so let's try it. Okay, we can't go that way. I can't go that way, I can't go up. 
That's actually really interesting that I can't go there. Down here was... Yeah, that's that door. I probably don't want to go right from here. But I'm not sure I can do anything else. So I'll try, I'll try going right, for sake of argument. Hmm. Now we're here. I thought I couldn't get back. I didn't see myself get pushed. Did I get pushed? No, I didn't. I think you can recover that. I tried to get off of there, and it totally didn't let me. Do you think there's enough dogs? So I get pushed there. But isn't this just further to the... Oh, wait, no. Maybe I got pushed there. And didn't notice it earlier. Jeez. But isn't this actually where I went up originally? Ow. Yeah, I think you can rec I was thinking that when you got the hundred, the thousand gold or whatever, that you couldn't get back on the right track, but I think you actually can. Oh, that, that might be un unrecoverable, though. No, that we just got pushed back over here again. And can I go over here? No, I can't go over there. And again, this is the same door. Like, I am I am really good at finding this door. Where the hell is the other one? <laughs> there is supposed to be another green door. That's the the town elder says you should exit the same color door that you come into Colair with. Um at this point I'm really low health, so I'm gonna restart since restarting doesn't cost much time now. Now that we now that we know the speed trick to getting in there. It's amazing how much more reasonable having uh, the speed trick makes this seem. You know, I don't ask for much, just don't make me spend five minutes every time I want to retry something once. Okay, so we started over there. This is further along the up left chain. I'm gonna go over here to get the uh, health. I really want to think that like the health is supposed to be a juncture that you're supposed to start. Nope, not that way. That was that was wrong. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I tried going left before there too, and it didn't lead me anywhere useful. It's like where the heck haven't I been on this map at this point? Oh yeah, also you might have noticed I did clean up my uh, save file list a little bit. Oh, wow, I actually failed it. I feel like I didn't time that any differently, though. Like, was I actually a bit late? Or is it actually just not 100% consistent? I'm not sure. this way to get the health. And I guess I'll try going this way again. I forget... Wait, is this actually... No, I can't go that way. I don't know which door that is, because I can't go that way. How have I already looped? Wait a minute. Seriously, though, how did I already loop by that point? Hmm. 
No, you shit. God damn it. You know what I should do? That might make this more tolerable. Um... I think I want to go back to the previous town to get all this again. Don't get killed by the bird. I thought I could get away without lowering my speed. Technically I was correct, but uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, so we want to do this. Suddenly I have a lot of gold. Um, I might as well use the inn while I'm here. I might be able to buy something too. Um, I do- well, I forget if I can buy it here or not. Let's keep around that much. I mean, his head should have exploded with how much we just put in. Alright, so... In? Well, actually, no. Don't use the in here. I should use the in when I get back. Because I think I can- I think I shouldn't- well... But it's cheaper here. <laughs> so I guess just use it here. Uh, I'm, a, I'm going on the assumption that I wouldn't gain a level right now anyway. Uh, might as well repair the shield, although I can do that in either place too. Oh, I just wasted his time. Sorry, mate. Uh, wait, where's the magic shop? Let me double check what I can buy here. Oh, I can buy it here. And it's 2,000. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take one of those. And we're gonna try actually using one of those to make the dogs... See if it makes the dogs not a factor. Uh... Which way do I have to go? I have to go to the left out of here. So I, I do have to do this part over again. Uh, why did I switch to that? I shouldn't need to switch to that. Uh, actually, I will need to switch to that at the end. Uh, I forgot to put my other gold back. But that doesn't matter, we can do that when we get back there. Let me put these back on, just in case I need them here. I hate- I hate timing this one jump, though. That works. So I assume I have, like, yeah, I'm, I'm full on inventory at this point, presumably. I really mistimed that, huh? Oh, well, didn't mean to do that. and save. Oh, right, and I was gonna use the shield repair now. I should have just done it in the other place, not realizing I wouldn't really get hit by anything. Then I wouldn't have had to tick the guy off. Uh, 
Uh, money. Oh, whoops. I didn't even check how much I had at this point. Let's try this again. Alright, now at this point, let's use this thing. So this is what this does, and this thing can absolutely wreck enemies for you. Like, I probably don't even have to worry about using magic here at this point. Or, I guess that's not here, actually. It's over here. I mean, I do have to worry about it if I fall like a dumbass. And now I have to reload. So that's cool. Just miss the jump when it's absolutely free. But yeah, the idea being I can putz around there, hopefully without worrying about the dogs. When I have that equipped. Uh, I might have been late on that, but he kind of went the other way. Too. It does seem like he might be a little inconsistent with his movement. Uh, okay, uh, that works, I guess. Speaking of inconsistent... Apparently we're not home free by using this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I tried going left once already. Although I don't remember was I yeah, I was pushed away by that. I couldn't go that way. I am very curious which door that is over there. What if I... Oh, but that's... Wait. Now I'm here again. But... So I just loop by doing that. So this is one. Was this where I got that? Was that two? And then I went down here. And that's three. And this is four. Yeah, so it's it's four vertical levels. I've pretty much confirmed that now. Now the one I'm curious about is is which one. It's that one. So it's two away. Have I tried going this way? I don't know where that just put me. I want to be here? I don't know if I want to be here. Do I want to be here? Uh, nope, I don't. That's... This is the other side. Well, okay, so hang on a second, though. I think I can't get to here now either. Yeah. If this is the other one... I kind of thought I was getting pushed away on both sides. That's the part that worries me now. Yeah, that has to be the other one, because we get pushed to the right back towards the green door that I come into this area from. So that is definitely the other green door. The thing that worries me is, it sure seems like you get pushed away from both the left and right side of it. Alright, so I have to reload at this point anyway. Um, before I do that... I, can I lay eyes on the other green door? Probably not. I'm gonna reload anyway, so that doesn't really matter. That might... No, that can't be the other green door. That might be the blue. So, hmm.
So where was the one I start? That's the starting one. down to well so this is where we end up coming back later and this is where the thing was pretty sure and that's where the other chest is at. wait what huh? right there was a vine right next to it this is the other door isn't it? So, my question now... Okay. So then it was just... I think... I will bet you money that I passed by this last night and thought it was the same door and didn't go through it. I'm gonna... I gotta go check my VOD for this. I really have a strong feeling that I, at some point, was sitting next to this door and didn't go in. Also, hey, Zarek. This has got to be progression. Yes. Th okay, and I recognize this place because this is that other mystery door on the right side that I couldn't get to. I just instinctively jumped over that because I suspect... No, you don't fall through that at all. Oh, no, I know what's down there. This is directly... It's actually good that I left that chest there and didn't need it. Um, this is directly above the the infamous, like, hardest jumps in the area, rising, uh, like, adjustable platforms. Uh, okay. Now we have this stuff. <laughs> I got I gotta reset the room. But, yeah, this is progression now. We're, we're in uncharted territory that I haven't been in before. Let's hop over it. Oh my god, it's the boss door. Now, here's the crazy thing. We still have two keys. What's the other key for? I don't think there's any other locked doors left in this area, but we still have another... Maybe this is going to be one of those bosses that doesn't drop a key, and maybe we still need one after it anyway? Oh, no. Is, that, is this health? Yeah, that's health. I don't need that health. Okay, we know how to get here now. Let's see what's in. What's inside? Let's see. I don't know if this, uh... Will, will this shield thing still work on the boss? Oh my god. Holy crap, it's a dragon. Holy crap. It's spitting fire. I, do, I don't... Ow. Oh, hey, I'm dead. <laughs> um... Alright, so I, I, uh... I don't think the shield helps for that. Um, now the problem is, I don't have any room to buy saber oil. Like, my invent- I'm pretty sure my inventory is full. I don't know that it would let me scroll it. Um, okay, but the good news is we know how to get there now, which is really, like, that was the- the four hours wasted last night. Was not figuring out how to get there. Uh... Um, I guess I'll- I guess I'll bash my face into the dragon a couple times just to try to figure out how it works. A and again, this would be awful without speed tech. Because it would take- whoa, why is this guy here already? He's, he's not supposed to be there. Because it would take you five minutes to get back to that every single time. And that would be awful. Uh, he did not follow me. Oh, w um... What are you doing, buddy? Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Alright, we're gonna reset that and try it again. So, yeah, I, th I think, uh... I think this guy can be a little inconsistent, and that must be... Because, like, uh, Happy Camper definitely said, like... Was, was visibly excited at being able to do the skip uh, first try both times. In, in his uh, world record run, and I was wondering why, and I think it's because they're inconsistent. Okay, so now I need to go... Wait, no. I think... Wasn't it right here? It was right here. It was this. It's literally... No? It's not right there. It's one... Oh. Is it up here? 
It's over here, isn't it? It has to be over here. Yeah, that's it. Yep. It, you know what would have been really helpful? If that door were locked, so we could tell. Like, there are multiple botched uh, conveyance issues in, in this area. For a, for a playthrough when you don't know what you're doing. Alright. Uh, we have, we have magic. I should use magic. Let's dunk some rocks on this guy. That, it's bouncing off of him. I assume that's what that noise is. Oh, jeez. I'm just trying to figure out what magic actually works well on him to begin with. Before I commit to doing anything else. If we have any magic that works well on him. Uh, it seems like it does, because one of those sound effects definitely sounded like a you're not doing damage, buddy sound effect. Alright, so... I think it was up here? And then down... Yeah, here it is. Alright, that's not bad at all. And what am I doing? I just need to walk him over to here, and then... Hit him in the kneecaps twice. It's like, you ever watch Person of Interest? Oh, of course. Uh, that might be a problem. We might be fine, though. We're actually fine. We're not fine. <laughs> I wanted to see if that would work, but it apparently doesn't. You have to climb back up. But, like, when I was using the... When I was trying the rock magic on him, there was, like, a... Doo -doo sound effect. That is not the usual hurt sound effect for enemies. Alright, so what do we want to try this time? I didn't actually really get a good shot of water on him, did I? Oh, that was really bad. Um, I don't know how quickly he's gonna completely obliterate me. This is, man, he's got a full life meter, we're doing, like, nothing on him. I would assume that fire isn't gonna be very effective. So... You gotta... You don't have much time to tell which attack he's gonna do, either. Like, I would have to slow down the game more to really... To really be able to... See him telegraph it. But yeah, at this point, we just gotta try going up to him and slashing. because magic doesn't seem like it's going to do much work. As opposed to the previous boss, which was hilariously easy because we hit it with water three times and done. slow this down a bit. Just a bit. I just got bounced. Okay, so I was hitting him, but boy, I just got bounced everywhere. So, we, we make up for the previous two bosses actually being surprisingly reasonable by having a dragon that's, well, a dragon. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Not sure how that works. I kind of want to pay more attention. I want to try using these these things again. Well, I, I was trying to press enter, dude. Oh, if he's that far away, he won't he won't actually. Does I think the stomach might actually be. Sure seems like he really doesn't want to be hit in the head. Like every time I try. He immediately bet maybe that's what that sound is, is it's his head backing away. Oh well that sucks. I'm not even sure which part of him hit me that time. Also, I like how he just, like, continued to bulldoze over me. Like the beginning of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. thinking it. doing like no damage dude you know what we haven't done though we haven't we haven't upgraded our sword in a while have we and I have money maybe we should do that like what sort am I on right now the knights I'm still on the knight sword which was the last required well also the only required upgrade I guess that we did um I I'm pretty sure we can't afford the best sword. Yeah, we could, well, so we can do Saber Oil, but I would have to, like, waste one of my items. Which, I, I could do that. You know what, it would be an interesting idea to do that just to see how much of a difference it makes, because I'm, like, assuming it just doubles it or something, but it might do more. Um, Saber Oil, I think, was around 2,500. the magic. There it is. Uh, let's see what she says. You can't possibly carry any more. <laughs> yeah, alright. Wait, but I can sell things, can't I? I, I? I forget that sell is an option. Sell is an option. Uh, let's sell that, because I'm never going to use it, apparently. Oh, they actually confirm it. That's nice. So they gave me, what, 200? Do they, they don't even sell that here, so I can't tell, like, what it would have been, but it would probably have been, like, at least four times that much.
Alright, and then let's go put this back. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that a thousand is the threshold for that guy grinning like goofball. Alright, let's let's see what this does. I'm not gonna save with it until I'm like certain that it's worth it. Although I will probably end up using it at some point anyway. Yeah, with the exception of the last two bosses I fought, I used Saber Oil for, like, everything. Oh, I wonder... It's interesting that it's in this slot and not the far right. I guess when I sold the other thing, it must have just left a gap here. It's not doing a ton more, but it is doing more. I didn't hit space. <laughs> There's got to be a better strategy for this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try the, the shield thing again. Because if that'll do constant damage to him and I just need to worry about keeping my health up, that might be enough. But I'm, I am really wondering what the intended... Like, so I, I specifically did not watch this far into the speedrun, so I don't know, like, what they do for it, um, yet. Like I said, I stopped watching the speedrun pretty much as soon as I saw them do the skip. So I was like, oh, that'll make this actually reasonable, so I'll actually play the game again. Um, yeesh. I almost raised my head, like, into the arrow that was being tossed. Okay, I can actually go ahead and use this now, because it'll, it'll stay in use through the door. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought turning around might be worth a shot, because it would, um... It would shield the flames, but no, don't do that, <laughs> apparently. Um, so, yeah, this stuff was doing a little bit of damage to the dude. I guess if we really wanted to go, like, full tilt, we could get a Saber Oil, use both the Saber Oil and the other thing, and, like, basically attack him with both things at once. But let's try just this plus attacks at the same time for now. And I won't try any clever stuff. I mean, the other thing is, we could try upgrading our sword. <laughs> that might be worth a- uh, that dog jumped this time, okay. That might be worth a shot. I wonder if the sword upgrade would do more than the saber oil does. That would be an interesting comparison. Should 
have taken that too, but we're probably not going to survive this attempt anyway. Oh, what? I ended up facing the wrong way. That's not great. I think we're just gonna barely lose this fight. Yep. And I went through three fruits. I mean, like, come on. Alright, let's try upgrading this. Getting a new sword. Um, I'm curious what that'll do versus what the saber oil did. Oh, I need to go to the bank again. I also don't remember what the sword cost, but it was definitely in, like, the tens of thousands. I think it was less than 20k. I think it was only the really expensive one that's, like, 60k something or other. Um... Plus, we should get some kind of credit. Alright, what did he have? Oh, actually... I... wait. Nope, I completely miscalculated. We don't have enough money for the other sword. <laughs> oh well. So much for that idea. I guess we're working with what we've got, then. Alright, in that case... As long as you, like, look at stuff... Like, as long as you don't just, like, go in and immediately exit, he won't get mad at you, apparently. I mean, a minute to the boss is not bad, considering that it would have taken, like, at least six times that previously. Uh, alright, so let's do Saber Oil, then. Let's sell the, uh, Holy Water. And then we'll buy this. put this away. Yeah, right. I mean, I like I said, I might not have even come back to this game if there wasn't that skip, because that's just, that's just horrible game design, is like, expecting you, having this super trolly area that you can get pushed out of at any second, either by guessing wrong or by dogs, um and expecting the player to spend five minutes getting back there every single time. It, it's utter insanity, expecting players to put up with that kind of shit. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and save. Uh, I guess I should check my power. I doubt that I have an upgrade coming here. Because I haven't killed that much. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll put a D on that for Dragon. And actually, I can probably even do this part. Uh, yep. That's hilarious. The dog did not do what I expected the dog to do. If the dog did what I expected it to do, that would have been fine. Yeah, like, what's it doing up there now? Right, now we go down here to get the health. Disagree.
I wonder if the Saber Oil impacts the, uh, the damage that the shield does, too. That would be interesting. Whoop. Not a good start. Really not a good start. We can make this work, but, like, I basically got an entire Juin fruit stolen from me. Interesting death sound. I, I feel like that is not the usual death sound for- Yeah, so we didn't drop a key. Oh, I should've, uh, one, I should've sped this up, and two, I should've healed first. I used every single item in my inventory, and I don't think I even care. Also, we got, like... I'm guessing 2,500 almost from that boss? Just think, there's still another area left. Whoa. What is this music doing, though? Oh! It's a hot gem! That's what it's doing! All right. I should go back and save first, though. I want to listen to the hot jam, but I gotta go back and save, dude. Holy crap. Um... Actually, there's health right there. But I will save that for the return trip, probably. Actually, wait, when did I lose... When did the, uh, shield wear off? Alright, how am I getting out of here now? That's the other question. Which door is the best one to take out of here? One of the red doors. I have no idea what door I'm actually close to, though. In the, uh... The bad zone. Alright. Will this take me out to where I want to be taken out to? Yes, perfect. Uh, at least I think it's perfect? I just need to get back to the... village now. And I think I can, uh... I can go right over here to do that, yeah. Oh, boy, I was getting close. Uh, get in there. Okay. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Since we have a bunch of almas. Well, I could just hold on to the almas, actually. That's probably fine. I was gonna say, we should go back to where there's, a uh, an exchange rate of 4 to 1. Um, but we definitely want to save. I guess I'll just call this that for- well, no. You know what? I'll save over th this. No. This is the one where I just- I might as well just save to that. That was where I had done all the, uh, the purchases, right? I think. Alright, uh, I should probably stay at an inn, but actually no, I don't need to. I'll just go back. Because I left that other health there. And that'll be fine. So we're going through this one more time. But we've already beaten the boss. I forgot to consider that, though. Alright, I think we can just go down here. Yeah. No! Uh, I got pushed out, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is the other one. I'm probably going to die now. Uh, let's just reload. I 
should be able to make it back. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that was dumb. I don't need to attack until I get here. And that's completely safe. Please tell me that doesn't interrupt that. Okay, good. Alright, hot jams time. What is that? I don't know, but it drops lots of almas. What is that? I can see I'm going to be asking this a lot. As it turns out, McCall apparently ended up doing the same thing on that boss that- Oh, just- just spamming items. <laughs> I mean, I know McCall was- was buying a lot of the health restore items. Uh, those look like they're probably spikes. I believe that platform turns around there. What the heck are those things up there? I'm, I'm still asking the- Oh no, they fly. Ow. Oh, those can, those can fire kind of often. Alright, well, I'm kind of hurt now. Well, that was not good. Oh, hey, there's a town. Does that say Pureza? That does say Pureza. Are you from the outside world? Welcome. You're certainly a courageous man guided by the spirits. I think you should know that this town is very close to the fortress of Jashin, and his henchmen are sure to be around. Be careful. He has a fortress, does he? Maybe there is a ninth area. Alright, let's see what we can buy where here. This game is actually just a giant shitpost. The only thing this item will do for you is send you all the way back to the beginning in this version of the game. It's like, hey, you want to do all of that over again? <laughs> That's all you can buy here. All right, so there's literally nothing worth buying in the magic shop. You, the princess you started the rescue will lead you to your doom. The spirits are just demons in disguise. What does this mean? You do the devil's work. You must be the devil. Wah ha What? What are you on right now, dude? All right. I don't have money, but let's see how much this guy charges. It's probably gonna be like four hundred. Yep. Hey, Wasco. Oh, I skipped this guy. The one weapon you'll need to defeat Jeshin is the Fairy Flame Sword. According to legend, it gives off a peculiar light and can vanquish any foe with only one blow. However, where it is to be found is another matter. Okay. The spirits give me a lion's head key, but it was stolen by one of Jeshin's underlings. I hope you will find it on your travels. Okay. Alright, what are you- the Sage of All Sages. Brave lad. Done well to get this far. Lightning! Okay. What do you have to say? At the edge of this world is the final foe, Jashin. To fight Jashin, you must have the Sword of the Fairy Flame, and to get there, you must topple the in invincible monster, Algien. Who? Oh, wait, no. Um, Algien is somebody, isn't it? Isn't that what that means? Kien is who? Algien, I think, is just somebody. Uh, do I even want to save here? I, pr I'm probably going to end up wanting to go back, uh, to drop off almost anyway. Because everything else here is a con, so why would the bank be any different? Beware of Jashin's last henchman. Wait, that is not the same spelling that the other guy just had. Algayan. It is said that Jashin used his power to give him eternal life. 
What is your exchange rate? One to six? Holy crap, it's actually a better exchange rate here. You've got to be kidding me. All right, yes. Suddenly, I have a ton of money again. Um, but I guess I'm glad I didn't bother getting the Illumination Sword, because now there's a more interesting sword to be getting anyway. Uh, deposit? Yep. Maybe I should actually use the inn. Uh, we haven't seen the weapon shop yet either, actually. Uh, and I do need to repair my shield. So yeah, let's actually hold on to at least a little bit. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just back out. And we'll go to the weapon shop first. Nearby is a village called Esco, but I don't know what has happened to it recently. I once knew many people there. There's another village still? A moment, sir. I have seen the fortress of Jashin. It is at the edge of this world. The spirits guided me back from there alive so I could tell you about it. Cool story, bro. You're not going to tell me anything useful, though. Uh, that's... Yep, that's the fairy sword. Alright. This guy's got a big building. He better have something good. Huh? Oh, he has, like, all of them. Interesting. Why was the magic shop such a piece of crap if this place has, like, everything? The Elimination Sword is still nearly as expensive as it was in the previous town. It's still in the 30k range. I could technically afford it at this point. And what do you have? So Light Shield is what we have. Titanium Shield is also 30k. Yeah, this guy has, like, the full list. It's ridiculous. Um... I am kind of interested in the shield, honestly. The sword I can give or take. Uh, but I am going to have to pull out more gold if I want to do that. So it was, what, like 31.8 or something? Uh, so that's like... Oh, we still need more. That's probably just barely enough. I hope I hope that's the right amount. That is the right amount. Yep. What's the trade in value? All right. 600, dude. Holy crap. Twice the durability. Also, the really funny thing is I'm pretty sure I saw in the speedrun that they get the honor shield, which is the one that I skipped, and it has exactly the same amount of shield points. I'm assuming that the uh, light shield is more durable, like that the, the points either block more damage or take less damage themselves, or both, I guess. I think those are both kind of correlated. Um... But yeah, it seems I I absolutely feel like I got kind of cheated on the uh, the light shield because the way they describe it makes it sound like it should never break, but that is very much not the case. Um, I might as well use the inn while I'm here. How far away was the inn? There it is. Because I imagine we're going to be tripping over Amos in this place, too. Just like, just like the previous place. I'll go deposit the gold first. And we'll save again. is, what else is on the east side of town? So I don't think I went this far. Remember that the lion's head key fell between two towers under a stone slab. The stone slabs are the things we can read, right? It is supposedly near this town. Alright, that's important. 
There was another dude who passed by him, but I don't know. It might have been this guy. Yeah, and I've already talked to him. Uh, who are you? Help? Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Guess what? We've got another boss fight, I think. Fooled again! Meddlesome fool! Taste the past and never return here again! What? Is this gonna send me back, too? Oh! It's that building! Oh. I mean, that could be convenient. Since this town actually has stuff you can buy. But you would have to go all the way back again. Um... Yeah, let's not do that right now. That was, uh, interesting. Yeah, they, they try to stop you, too. Oh, there's literally nothing over here. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's only one way into this town, then. So, they made it sound like the key should be near here. Glad I didn't accidentally go in there. I was probably over here before. Wow, they can just rapid fire if they want to. Okay, right, I was over here. It's good to know you can get- Oh! Well, gee, that sure looks like a dragon's head key over there. So, yeah, and the two towers are up there. Okay. It's- it's a- it's a situation that looks a lot like the shoes that I never got back in the ice area. Whoops. I can't help but notice that it looks like I'm not taking damage, even when I'm taking damage, and maybe... Maybe the shield has something to do with that. So, this shield may have been a very good thing to get. I guess that could have helped for the boss too. What on earth is that thing? Now I'm taking damage. Uh, goodbye to a third of my shield. Alright, fire first. Or not. Okay. Yeah, so we need to fall into that from above. That's gonna be kinda rude. I actually do that from up here? Over to the right looks more interesting, but I'm not sure I can really get there from here. This should be where I can fall into it from. Uh, I don't really want to go this far. Oh, hey, there's stuff over there. Hang on. Maybe I do want to go over there. Surprise. Oh no, I bonked! Yeah, now I'm on the other side of the tower. And I recognize this place. Oh, they're a different color. Okay, those ones hurt. The green ones don't really hurt. Oh, there's one of each on this side or something. I don't know where that red shot came from. Another doorway down there, too. Uh, that almost worked? Oh no, are they like stuck there now? Am I gonna have a problem because I literally can't get up there because they're camping it? That's pretty shitty. Uh, I suppose I should try this magic. Uh, possible flashing warning is literally lightning. <laughs> okay. Apparently we're going to plaid. It's pretty much the impression I get out of that. Uh, so I'm going up here, right? No, I am not going up here. I'm going over here. Oh, crap. I can't go over there because I raised the platform. I have to reset the room. The interesting thing about the doorway over there is there's no indicator on it. Ow. I might be better off just reloading, honestly. 
Because, like, how far is 960 almost gonna get? Well, actually, it'll get me pretty far. Because because of the exchange rate, that'll actually be worth it. Uh, that's the end. Yeah, I mean, imagine getting 6,000 gold just for that little excursion. I might as well actually use the ends now. Uh, shield repair. Definitely need shield repair. But yeah, even if it were a one-to-one -one ratio, I would still be making more money than I'm spending on uh, full heal plus shield repair. Oh, whoops. Uh, that was the wrong thing. Let's see if we have a level up in the works. I don't remember if I checked after fighting the boss, actually. Alright, blinking warning. We've still got three level ups to go. Alright, uh, now we're ready to leave. That's what happens when you're on speed 9. That happened to Zarek, too. <laughs> it registers that you're still pressing enter, and you never stop pressing enter, so it does it again. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Oh. Oh! I'm sorry for your accident. Alright, yeah, that works. Oh, we can go up that ramp, too. Now, I am more interested in what's over here. Alright, this is where the big dude is, right? can just avoid him. Okay. And if I leave that exactly there, I think I can reclimb it. Oh, jeez. Nice timing, dude. Can't believe this guy's input reading. Alright, let's actually see what's over here this time. Okay, 500 gold. I wasted all that time for 500 gold. Oh, nope. There's gotta be, like, a visual cue. Problem is, you can't really see. Basically, I shouldn't be able to see the right side platform. This guy's back already. Oh my god, the input reading again. <clears throat> it's probably where those vines are. Mm, nope, that's still too far left. Oh no, I didn't- Oh jeez. Look at how much damage that guy does. It's not even- nearly considered remotely fair. He was thinking it. There we go. We got it. 
Alright, now I want to go back. Yeah, it's right here. Oh my- No, you fucking piece of shit. Well, we're doing it again. Th was that always a red one there? I, I got cheated by that. Of course, he has to input read. Alright, yeah, what color are you now? See, it's green now! What the hell gives? Whoops, really bad timing there. What gives? That should have been the same dude, and yet somehow that was red on the way back. Unless that's that's that is the same entrance, isn't it? Yeah, it's gotta be. That's not where I wanna be at all. Three in a row? Wow, dude. Too bad I can't do the cyclone attack while ducking. I guess I'll go over here and get this again. Oh, that's way too far to the left. What am I thinking? I saw green and immediately jumped, but that's not what I should have done. this again. That can just one-shot him. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, yes, yeah, so now we're going up here. You're awfully far over this time. That time he didn't decide to attack again. Okay. should do, actually, is ride this thing back over, if at all possible. Uh, cause shouldn't I be... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so that one there was green again. Like, there's only one entrance to the town, right? I'm confused. Alright, might as well use the inn now, cause I've already got the gold. But first, let's, uh... I should have enough to repair the shield already. And was the bank over here, or... Wait. The person is gone. Why is that person gone? Check that out again. Uh, do this first. Yep, we're gonna end up with enough for the sword, too, honestly. But we already know we don't need it, because we know that we gotta get another one. Um... Yeah, save first. see what the deal is here now, because, yeah, the person in front of the house is gone. Same thing. <laughs> the person's not there, but it, uh, it still sends you back. Where does the key sh Oh, it's actually a separate slot. The lion- like, I'm assuming the lion's head key is, like, unique, but it's basically- it's another, like, key symbol next to the ordinary key symbol. 
that gives me a thought. That, that actually gives me a th that gives me a thought, and it would actually make coming back to this town make sense. It, it seems way too random for that to be right. It's like, I, don't, I almost don't even want to, like, find out, but we're here. Maybe I, maybe I should test that theory. Hang on. Which, which direction? What? It should be this direction. Yeah, it's right here. What the hell kind of game design is that? Yeah, that's what that's what the lion's head key is for. What the hell? They really expect people to think of that. I mean, I did because it was like there <laughs> in the in the UI. It was next to the regular ass key. But that mm, I don't know how to feel about that design aspect. Well, what the hell's in here then? There's just a chest here. There's two ch wh Huh? I was not aware we need more shoes. The Feruza shoes. Wha Did I just jump ho I just jumped higher, dude. Okay. The enchantment sword. That doesn't say the fairy sword. I guess I'm glad I didn't pay for that other sword, though. And there's even more stuff over here. Oh, dude, they're giving you a reason to use this immediately. This is the destructible wall that the NPC talked about, like, five million years ago, dude. Oh, what the- oh. Uh-oh. Um... I didn't know we were playing Super Metroid. What is this path, though? Okay, here's the thing, you can't really go any farther. This whole area is new. Actually, wait, have... Arugia, have I ever been in this cavern before? Is this completely new? Dude, how much stuff is in here? Some of these are gonna be enemies. Like, I see three chests next to each other, all I think of is the basement of Eblin Castle in Final Fantasy IV, where one of them is three mad ogres and they wipe your party in two seconds flat. Nope, they were all gold. Okay. Uh, oh, this loops very quickly. This is the right side of that gap. Is this where I came from? No, it's not. That's a full heal. Why are they giving me a full heal? I already don't trust this. Hang on. I don't want to pick that up yet, if I can help it. Yeah, this is an extremely small loop. Uh, which way was the way back up, though? Was it that way? It had to be. That. That's literally the only place to go. This is fascinating. I can actually avoid taking that now. Is this the other side of that? Yeah, it probably is. Okay. Uh, so those stairs, which presumably are how I got in here in the first place, are also the only way out. It's funny that there's a health refill there, too. Okay. Well, you know the other thing... What? I, but, but, huh? Where did I... Where did I come into here from? Because that's clearly not where I came into here from. Oh, right, I fell in. So I, this is the only way I can get out. Wow, so it's a shortcut back, so I don't have to... All right, I appreciate that, but also I was gonna go buy stuff in Dorado. <laughs> that was the other thought that I didn't even get to finish the sentence because the game's like, nope, you're back here now. Um, okay, so presumably we needed to do some more platforming in this place. I don't think any of the townsfolk mentioned the shoes at all, did they? 
Alright, now we're... Oh, that's new. Oh, our, our sword is gold now, dude. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to what the sword looked like, and especially since I was in the place that everything was already gold anyway. You can actually make that jump now. That's ridiculous. I don't trust this dude. Okay, but where are we? Have I... Well, oh, well, oh, jeez. Have I found the second... No. The... I forget what the... It started with an E, didn't it? So, no, I haven't. Have I been here? Uh, nope. Guess not. Uh, I would like to go over here. More gold. Oh my god, it one-shots to now. They took like five hits before, dude. This is ridiculous. Oh, I recognize that. Uh, am I stuck here? I'm stuck here now. <laughs> I can't actually go down that way. Alright, but I know where this is. <laughs> That's a good point. I guess I wasn't expecting the other town to also be in this area. Like, I was ex you know, it's usually town boss, town boss. Oh my god, we're just obliterating things now, this is great. I, I do kind of want to in reinvestigate the area I came out. Okay, so this was it, because we came out of up there, and there was a blue door here. Okay, this I recognize. So I guess we can go through the blue door. I mean, should I go save somewhere? I know what... Oh, this is where... I... Okay, I didn't realize that that's where I came in from. I didn't pay attention to the door color there. That's pretty funny. So the entrance from... from uh, from the fire area and from the gold area are in basically the same place. Okay, I did not go up there yet. But since I'm here, I might as well save. Also, I'm curious if the weapon shot guy will say anything because of the sword. Uh, I don't really need the end. <clears throat> um, I'll exchange first. I'll wait to deposit because I should talk to the weapon guy first. Yeah, I reckon I have zero reason to care about his best sword now. Uh, so apparently he doesn't care. Okay. Yeah, like, presumably the sword I have now is already better than the Illumination Sword. Uh, but let's repair. That's... Maybe they'll say something about what the Lion's Head Key is good for, too, in the other town. Because, like, I was giving the game a hard time, because, like, how would you expect people to know to go back to that one particular door? Other than the way that I did, which was like, hmm, this is in, like, a key slot in the UI, but it's a different key slot. And the other key didn't work for it, so... Uh, so I don't want to go through there right now. Let's go save. Uh, no, let's go deposit. Uh, that's not a I did it again, dude. For some reason, I'm hitting enter when I want to change my speed now. Totally the wrong thing to be hitting. Alright, let's go up this thing. Because I don't think I've been here. Yeah, I haven't been here. Jeez, dude. Hmm. So obviously there's a door there, and I do technically still have a key. Because there was, as far as I can tell, there was an extra key in the previous area. I can't think of any doors there that I didn't go through at this point. Alright, but let's see what this is first. Ow. Have I been here? Oh, 
Okay, so that's the starting point. So actually, I didn't need to use the, uh... Didn't need to... Well, actually, no, you do need to use the boots. The, the silk iron shoes, because no matter which side you come from, you're definitely intended to use those here. I guess we're going in here, though. We've got a key. I don't know how to feel about that if they intentionally put the key to this area in the previous area. Okay, we've got another door up there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, where can I go with this? This seems like another consolation prize area, except actually I can go up that one. If I go up this way, I'm never going up this way again until I reset the room, though. So there's platforming challenges on both sides of this. Really bad timing there. Okay, can I get up on top of those from here? Yes, I can. Oh, wh okay. <laughs> that worked out. Is that there? Oh god, there's wind currents again. Are you kidding me? Who the heck would know to expect wind currents in this place? Oh, good lord. Shrimp parade, surprise. Uh, hmm. I'm assuming there's not wind currents here. There are not. I can destroy these shrimp anyway, though. Have I been here before? Nope. Um, Absor is the first cavern I was in, though. I don't know if that's the door I went in before or not. Oh, jeez. More wind currents. <laughs> you jerk. Okay. Um, might as well go back and use the inn and stuff. Alright, yeah, getting back there isn't... Well, it isn't too big of a deal to get back into the other cavern again. And there were multiple things I could try doing there. Check power, I doubt that it's enough, but I do wonder how fast you can farm here in terms of, like, gaining levels that you have remaining to get. That's actually an almost there message, so... I did it again. Why, why, what is it about this particular town that tempts me to press enter instead of F9? They're very different keys. Okay, uh... I can go right over here. And then we're in Desleal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what either of the words mean, really.
fake ceiling. That's new. I don't think I went this way last time, or did I? No, actually I did go this way last time. And that's, like, right where I came in. Alright, so, I know there's a couple options over there, but... Let me actually see what's over here, too. I go to the right up here. I don't know if I tried that last time. Uh... I can't move. So... Either it's a wind current, or something else. I'm kind of guessing something else, because wind currents usually push you back. And that, I just didn't move. It was more like a wall. Alright. So last time... I went down here at least part way. Squish the shrimp! It's way faster to attack them with my sword, but it's way more fun to do that. Um... I think I went down here last time. Did I check over here? Or was that just where I came in? That was just where I came in. Dude, did you cut that out? I don't think I tried going over here, either. I've been over here, though, I think. Oh, those guys decimate shields so quickly. I can't do anything here. Okay, that works. So where did I end up going last time? I think that this was the other side that I didn't do last time. Whoops. Okay, this is a different door. I just will try it. Milagro. It's a third area. A lot of spikes up there. There's a key over there. Whoops. I don't even need to worry about this, those being stairs now, because I have the high jump. But I guess that would have been... Uh, a necessity prior to that. Okay, so we could go that way, but I'm not really sure if there's a point. Oh, that's a wind current. Okay, can't do that. Uh, I want to say I was down here once before. Oh, there's the other town, dude. from here? <laughs> I seriously can't move through that. So you gotta do that from the other side, I guess. Just destroy everything. Uh, I am certainly glad that I ended up finding the sword as early as I did, because, oh boy, this section would be a lot less convenient without it. Uh, is this just where I was? Uh, no, because I can actually go up here. I don't think I can go up to the right, though, with that in the way. sure I've been here? Is this where I just came from? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, I 
think I don't actually want to put that down there. Didn't I go up this way the first time? I don't think so. This is interesting. Oh, wait, no. Yes, I have. At least I think I have. I kind of don't want to go down there right now. I don't know. Have I taken those steps before? <clears throat> what other choices do I have if I go in here? Let's try going over here and see what happens. Funny thing is, I feel like I haven't actually found the place that I went the first time. Uh, well, wind current. We're over here now. And I'm pretty sure this is precisely where I went in before. Yep. So that was pretty not useful. What if I just go down from here? Oh, that's just not particularly exciting. So, that platform up there is blocking me from getting somewhere. That might be the door I came in to begin with? I don't remember. No, I doubt it, because... That down there is the town. Is there really no way to get past this thing? That's pretty annoying. Ow. I am actually kind of close to dying. I should probably try to get back. Do I even know how to get back? Because now I'm in the third area. Literally nothing to do down there. Can I get back from here? I should be able to get back. Yeah, this is a sore. Okay, this is fine. platform here or not? I don't think there is. Oh my god. This guy. I'm, st I'm staying here and healing. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I need to heal at least a little bit. 
I've been killed by one of those guys before, so we're not doing that again. I'll probably be fine, though. Yeah, okay, now we're near the beginning. <laughs> oh, wow, see, he got me anyway, jeez. I assume they won't respawn if, like, I'm within their spawn point. Like, if it's on screen. Okay, town is right there, dude. But this is the guy who I swear to God killed me once. Alright, but we're fine. Alright, didn't die. Let's go use the end. Need to get up and do something real quick. It's actually hot in this room. <laughs> It was supposed to be warmer yesterday and today, so... Uh... Air shield. My shield is definitely getting beaten up a lot. Also, somebody was uh, pointing out in... God, how did I get that much gold? Holy shit. <laughs> um, definitely could have afforded that sword now, but I don't think I need it. Um, somebody was pointing out in the, uh, I think in the Board Boosters Discord, that Almas is, uh, can translate to souls, apparently. So apparently we're literally trading souls for money, which, yeah, that, that feels pretty capitalist. His head still doesn't explode, though. Uh, okay. Save. And I guess we'll see whether we have a level up in the works. Because we might. We were almost there last time, right? Yep, blinking time. Alright, blinking's over. We're two levels from max now, I guess. I actually resisted the urge to hit enter for some reason. Good, good start. And also, like, we would have the full list of wearables here if I hadn't skipped the first shoes in the game. It, which is funny, because it would be shoes, shoes, cape, shoes, shoes. Actually, no, wait. No, never mind. It would be three shoes, then, then a cape, then shoes. I miscounted. Alright, let's go in here and see what we can do this time. Because I know there's stuff that I didn't do in here. I like how we just got turned away. Oh, no, real shit. All right. Like, it might have been when I went over here, but there was other stuff that I thought I could do. Right, so there was this on... There was the left and there was the right, and I think I went left last time. Oh, God, there's a key up there. Yep, I went left last time. Well, that stinks. I think I've been down here before. I don't know if I can... Oh, I, I can wrap around easily. Yeah, we just did a full horizontal loop. Holy crap. So, this is pretty short in terms of horizontal distance. Oh, but I can't go up there again. Yeah. But I can reset the room. 
Because all I have to do to reset the room... It, of course I'm going to take that. Let's go through here. You have a very small chance to, uh... To do the right thing here, though. Because you have to duck, then you have to get up, then you have to jump immediately. Okay, there we go. We got another key. Uh, I guess we're going left. Actually, that might be where I was before over there. I'm not sure. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Holy crap, how did I not lose that? Wow. <laughs> uh, lucky save. Oh, and then I fucked it up. Cool, we gotta do it again anyway. Why did I freaking hit up that early? Uh. Alright, we're going out and in again. Oh, I can just stop him there, that's pretty funny actually. Eventually, we're going to have to go back because my shield is going to be toast. Oh, I missed. <laughs> that works. I should probably use lightning in that section. To prevent that disaster from happening. Yeah, like, right here. Wasn't there more stuff that came up, came down from above? To, well, okay, I guess they're there now. And I think, yeah, I think the real disaster struck when I killed the first thing over there. Because until then, they're actually, like, confined. Yeah. Oh, and, okay, that works. Alright, didn't have to use magic at all. <clears throat> so we can go over there, or we can go up here. Have I been up here? I feel like I've been here before. So let's try over here? I definitely feel like I've been here before. That was silly. Haven't I been here before? So this is Milagro. I've definitely been here before. There's another key over there. There's also a locked door over there. there's an air current there anyway that I can't actually go down? Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, it was... I distinctly remember being here. And then this is blocking you from getting up there, actually, which stinks. Ow! Right, and this is the closest I've been to there every time. I like how we just fell through that platform. Like, the platforms must despawn before enemies do, or something. Because that was a thing that happened... I swear that happened in the gold area with the floaty dudes, too. Ow, I'm actually kind of hurt. We haven't really done anything useful other than getting more almost again, though. Not 
what I wanted to do. Funny thing is, I seem to be safe here. Oh, also, he just buggered off. Alright. I never did buy more items. I should really go back to Dorado and buy more items. There's nothing over here. That's not a good prize. Uh, yeah, let's just go through here, then. Did I not end up investigating this area? But I did. But I'm not sure I ever managed to get over there, which I'm not sure that's even possible. Oh, right, because the wind blows you this way anyway. That's also a solid wall. So yeah, the, the wind seems to work a little differently in this area. Where sometimes it will just feel like a solid wall and not actually give at all. Alright, so yeah, where does this one go? I am surprised that doesn't blow me up somewhere. Okay, so this is... Like, I think I recognize that. But isn't that where I went just before? Isn't this where the other town was? Yeah. And this was where... Yeah, this is where the other door was. So that is a pretty tight circle that you end up going in there. side of that thing. That's interesting. Oh, you jerk. Oh, right. I don't think I ever want to go down that way. Oh, but I can't get up there that way. But I don't think there's any advantage to going down that way, because it just blocks you, doesn't it? Because then you can't go this way. I suppose you can go that way, though. Have I been through that door? Not sure. Alright, this is where the key was, so we're very close to the beginning now. So yeah, I've done another round and not really come out with anything besides one more key, I think. Oh, that's actually right there. Might as well. Um... Right, we need to do the bank first because I don't have gold this time. Alright, 
I think what I'm gonna do... Presuming that it's an option, is I'm gonna save and go back to Dorado and, and get stuff. Because I should do that. Uh, I'll check for another level up, I guess. Oh, that was the wrong choice again. Yeah, this this guy spells it differently. Alright, blanking time. Oh, whoops. So we're one level from max now. Alright, so let's see if I can go through this house. Oh, wait, shield. Shield and bank first. Although I guess bank probably doesn't matter, unless, unless I, I, I don't know if going through that house wipes your gold out. Hi, hey, Aomond. Uh, caught up on VODs. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? I don't... Did I skip a locked door in Area 7? Because that skip shouldn't have done that. That skip just brought me to exactly where I was. No, I think you're right. Now that I think about it, there was another locked door on the way there. I forgot about that. I would have never opened it because I started doing the skip. Yeah, alright, oops, I accidentally cheated. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. So I'm not sure what to, th what to think about the key I have right now, then. <laughs> like, I should end up with one extra key at some point, and I'm... Oh man, I wonder... I don't think I needed any keys to get the, um... The lion's head key. So I don't think I ended up doing that early, at least. Yeah, I mean, the thing I'm more worried about is just, like, getting to... ...extra areas before I should really be getting to them. That's more what I'm concerned about. Alright. Uh... Deposit gold. I might not even need to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I have a lot of gold now. It's kind of obscene. And I don't think I really need it at this point. So I think the only things we're going to be getting at this point are, like, key items. Okay, yeah, that d it doesn't even bother giving you the message if you do it again. And I guess... I guess that's supposed to answer what this building is doing here. Is it's literally just the, the laundry chute. Alright, I need to go to the bank again. Where where was the bank? There it is. Time to buy items. Yeah, I kinda have a lot of money. Yeah, I'm surprised they give you the lion's head key that early in the area. Although I guess you're not you're probably not meant to know what the hell to do with it yet. And I just guessed. Alright. Get at least one of those. At least one of these. And that's the only things I can get here, so... I feel like all I'm gonna want are the fruit and the, uh... Saber oil from the next place, too. And the fruit's probably less expensive here. Alright, now we actually have to, like, trudge our way through to get back to, uh... Uh, why did I do that again? I guess I probably shouldn't use those shoes here because I'm gonna mess myself up, although I wonder if it'll make this any easier. Actually, yeah, hang on. Can I, can I skip anything with that? Probably not. Oh, wait, can I climb up here? Oh my god, I can! I can skip stuff. Uh, probably can't skip this nonsense, though.
but yeah, I mean, that's what... There were... I guess that was kind of like... Maybe a clue, too. Even though I don't think I really thought about it that way. Oh, well, I fucked that up. Actually, this might be harder with these boots on, because I'm not used to jumping this high. Okay, that works. Oh, I can probably skip this, too. If I can time it right. Eh. Oh, come on. It's like he was drawn towards it, but he didn't actually go for it. Hello, get out of here. Alright, hell with it, I'll go around. I haven't been timing that right lately. Uh, you can't do that either. Why am I so slow on that now? Like, I'm not... Oh, wow, that was really bad. Like, is it actually because of the jumps? There shouldn't be any jump, though. Really, I'm just climbing. I'm totally off. Am I on the right speed? Like, seriously. I think I was. Okay. I feel like my counting trick isn't working anymore. You can't get all the way up there with those. Oh, right. Not that it really matters. We're going over here, and that's it. Alright. What else do I want to buy here? Uh, yeah, we just want to buy this. I can always sell things later, and I have way more gold than I know what to do with. I'm gonna buy another saber oil, I think. Well... I can get anything that I want here, so there is that to be considered. And it's not that hard to get back here from the 8th area, actually. Although, honestly, I wonder which one takes longer, because you do have to do some backtracking to get here. Um... I mean, I should get something. I'm just kind of debating between the stone and the saber oil. Which one would I rather have? And I think the saber oil is probably it. Okay. Now my inventory's full. Should be, anyway. Yep. <coughs> Alright, deposit the rest of the things. Depositing almost here because it's a ripoff here. Uh, actually, I should just go back into the dungeon to go back now. Should I save just in case something awful happens to me? Alright. We gotta do the skip one more time.
Bogart off. Why is he buggering off every time now? I'm surprised he didn't ruin my day there. Alright, that time I waited a tad bit longer. Hopefully that's fine. Yep, there we go. Is it here? Shot everything here now. Right, I don't still have the refill over there anymore. So I'll probably want to stay at the end here. Oh, there's an air current there too. We never want to use that building again. shouldn't have another level up at this point. I haven't really done anything. Alright, uh... So now we're back to looking for stuff. I can't believe that the magic shop here doesn't even sell Jewin fruit. Where we came in. Kill it, please. There goes a hundred of my armor for no reason. This way. You probably have. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I was just over here, so can't cross that gap by uh, any means, seemingly. It occurs to me, it would have been faster, rather than going through the seventh area again, I should have just gone back to the sixth area and then taken the shortcut back here, through the green door. That would have been a lot easier. And cost a lot less health. Why is this- oh, because of that thing. Alright, we haven't done this in a while. Oh, well shit. Guess I'll die- let's just reload. I was worried about the enemy overhead, and not paying attention to the platform, and the ceiling. Oh, I don't have the, the shoes on. That would also help, probably. Right, so if we want to go back to the area that I unlocked... That would be this way. But then the... I guess the question is, did I... 
I think I got a key out here before I went through that door anyway. I, th I forget if that was even locked. But like, given that I have another key now, which I found in one of these later areas, I know I've gone down here. I don't know that I've ever been to the left side of that. Although, this was the one that loops pretty quickly. Oh, but there's a... yeah. Can't go through that. Right, but I've gotten... Oh, you know what? I might be thinking of the Lion's Head's key. As the other key that I've gotten here. I was thinking I had another... I'd gotten another key here before, but no, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. In that case, there presumably is more stuff I should be doing in the first area, technically. Hmm. Maybe? I'm not sure. fell right off of that. So, I've I've gone to the left here once, I've gone to the right here once. Did I go up here, though? I honestly... I, I want to say I did. Whoop. I feel like I did. It was over this way. Oh. Oh. Is that actually... Ow. Yep, that is exactly that. Okay. So that's the other side of that. At least I understand that now. I think I have to reset this place. Ow. Actually, can I even get back there from here, or do I have to go all the way around? I might be better off reloading again. Uh, no, this is, this is where I got in here from. Yeah, no, this should be fun. I remember being over here and wondering what, what the deal with the two vines was. And you could just, like, jump over there. I don't remember which way I went from here. Can't go up there anyway. Did that just blow me over? No, I just fell onto it. I remember being curious about that door. I can't get up there. Oh, right, I got carried into here. That I do remember happening. Okay, so we need to try other stuff there. And now I am in Absor again. Ow. I should probably just reload at this point. I 
I gotta remember, if I hold up on this, I can just block that guy. Alright, so let's try going this way again. to going left here. Where's this put me? Have I been here before? I don't trust that this is going to work, but I guess I should try it. Now I'm back here again. All right. Uh, reset the room. Yep. And then you can just kill him. Yeah, that is the one mistake you don't want to make. He actually hit me anyway, because I was kind of hanging off the right end. You gotta be really fast on that, though. I am inventing new ways to screw myself here. I'm gonna have plenty of almost again, though, but I seriously, like... This definitely feels like an endgame area in an, uh, in an action RPG, because, like, it just gives you way more golden experience than you know what to do with. Okay, can we please just actually do this competently again? There we go. I'm surprised that made a direct transfer onto there. I never... I guess the backswing? The backswing technically hits the ceiling. Alright, that's pretty funny. Right, so I guess I'm going... I guess I'm taking this because I'm going back this way. There's nothing else for me to do there. <coughs> mm, why? Alright, that's fine, though. That I can redo. Got away with that one. Okay, so we are going up here. We don't want to go up there. Can I go down? I can go down. Now where am I? And have I been here before? Feels familiar? I'm not 
not sure. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this was the, uh, wasn't that the impossible to climb place? Because you got dunked on by everything? Did I ever actually manage to cross over here? I know I've gone in there. I'm glad that allowed me to go where I was- oh jeez. Oh, that's the other exit from- okay. Well, we, we answered an important question, which was how do you get to the other gap there? That- that is what actually loops around there. Okay. Wasn't useful, but okay. But where the hell am I going now? Oh hey, this is that- okay, yeah, this is that thing. And this is the other side of that. I didn't want to do that, at all. Fortunately, it didn't end up looping me up into the purple door at the top, right. So you don't want to go down there. But then, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. That's what leads to Milagro, okay. There is a key over there. I have seen that before. I... Okay, and you can't really do anything this way. I forget if that pushes me up anyway. It doesn't. This is near where the other town is, but I can never get anywhere useful from here. Where does this bring me back to? That brings me back to Absolar, which would start all over again. We're now disassembling ceilings from the floor above. I can't remember if I've been up those stairs or not. And that bothers me. Can I do anything useful from here? Ow. I have no idea where that leads me to. I can't go down there. Give me enough free reign here that I feel like I should be able to loop around here. Okay, so this is the other side of that. Wait, wasn't I up there before? I'm actually not entirely sure. It's too bad that your higher jump still can't scroll the camera for you. <clears throat> I keep ending up up there again. I don't actually want to do that. So now we're here. So, okay. All that's up there is that. Uh, I disagree with that, but okay. Where does this go again? This is also absorbed. Really? Actually... Yeah, I guess, I guess you kind of do have to fall down from here, huh? There isn't really much other option. <sighs> oh, you jerk. So I guess the question is, is there a leap of faith that is required there? Can't go up that way. I think this is where I fell down to when I first came in here. I'm 
pretty sure I've been here. Probably just consider reloading at this point. Because, like, it'll t it takes me longer just to get back to where I was anyway. Can I actually jump over this with that? That would be cool if you could jump over those once you have the, uh, the shoes. But no, apparently not. I guess we'll stockpile even more crap. But I have done nothing useful. It's ridiculous how every time I come here now, I get 20,000. It's like, where was this economy when I needed it, like, three areas ago? Also, I can probably gain the last level now. <laughs> I've crossed the 100k mark. This is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we should probably be able to gain a level with all the crap I've killed. No? Wow, we're not even close. Holy crap. Alright, they really want you to work for the last one, apparently. Alright, I need to take a break, so let me do that. But I'll leave you with the new Cat Jam music, and, uh... We'll see if, if we can actually find new territory to tread into when I get back. Alright, let's see where we can get to next. Alright, timer's going. Dude's shooting me in the back as soon as I unpause. So I think I want to check out the third area more. Uh, do I remember how the hell I got there? Uh, it wasn't from there. Did I have to go all the way around for that? Through the platforming nonsense? Check this side too. I seriously forget what was over here. Uh, well, we're not gonna be double checking it now. So I guess I'll go the other way again. Oh wait, no, I I have to reset the room anyway. God damn it. You only get one shot, period. So that's kind of jerk design. You know what? I'll just reload.
Really? Isn't this where I got the K or something? God damn it. I wonder which is faster, me reloading or resetting that area. did that without getting hit. You can time that to where you can hit them while running and not get hit by them. sure I don't want to go up to the top right there. Crap, I forgot where I'm going. Not a good thing in this game, because this game wastes enough time as, as it is without forgetting where you're going. Oh my god, dude. Now I'm just impatient. Uh, that is almost definitely not where I want to go. I've been up there at some point. <clears throat> Alright, what happens if we go through here? That's absorbed, that's not what I want. Uh, that's interesting though, because that's a place I haven't been apparently over there. I have come in through that green door before, but I forget. Oh, well, now I'm back here again. Uh, might as well reload. Crap. I feel like I took a five-minute break, and now I can't remember anything. But I'm pretty sure I had to go through Desley Isle to get to the third area. Oh, guess what? Is this that other... No, I don't think so. I know I've been on both sides of this too, though. Okay, so that's that door. No. I know I've been over there at some point too. If I go that way, wouldn't I be going backwards? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would be. This is the one. Uh, there's probably a less circuitous way to get here than what I just did. But we're at Milagro now. Alright, so don't go down to the right. Because I know I've been down there. We can't do anything there. So the question is, we know we've got the key there. You jerk. It's presumably... Okay, but... Right, yeah, that's where the other purple door is. That's there, presumably, to give you a way up if you don't have these boots yet. I didn't want to do that. 
This is the part where if you come down from there, you can't get down here. In which case, I should probably try going this way, except there's an air current there. Right, I remember that. But then, to the right is like the only way to go from here. There's nothing- there's seemingly nothing else uniquely interesting about this direction. What? I swear that guy did like four shots in a row. Which is cheating. There's a locked door down there. I have no idea how to get to it, but there's a locked door down there. And there's a key up here. That's a pretty good ship post. This is where I came in from. There's no way in heck I'm getting up there from this direction. But there's seemingly nothing special I can do from over here at all. I'll go over here, even though I, like, this is gonna lock me out, basically. Alright, so I can technically get right back up there and circle around. By going down here. Yes, I'm pretty sure I have, because I remember that guy. So, right where I just was. I don't know what the point of there being, like, both a high and a low road here is. And that's where the other town is that I have not figured out how to get to. And I can't get up there either. That's another green door. I don't think I've ever come out of that one. Oh, you jerk. Uh, and I know what's up there. That's where, yeah, that's where that guy is. And then this is the bottom of the shaft near where I came in. What was in here again? Actually, what's down here? Isn't that kind of pointless? Can't I just, like, go down there over here? Yeah. Well, actually, no. I guess I can't. Once I come over here, I have no way of getting back there besides that platform. Whoops. And that's what blocks that. So, like, yes, I can loop back around here. I'm not sure why I would want to. But yeah, where does this go? This is the episode where both sides are a leap of faith, right? I forget which side I leapt off of last time. I want to say it was to the right. Uh, might have been to the left, because, I don't know, that feels kind of familiar, too. Alright, well... I'm... running out of ideas here, because, seriously, what haven't I done? Actually, hang on. Who's on the other side of this again?
Hi. Yeah, that's rude. Have I been through that door? Seems kind of suspicious to me. Can I even get over there? Might require a vertical wrap or something. back here again, where I don't want to be. And then there's... Oh no, hang on a second. Have I ever been on that platform? Is this another impossible timing platform? Timed all perfectly, and then... Oh, cool. Yeah, now we're just gonna fucking die. I don't know if I've been up there. What if this is actually a thing? Oh, I need to... Count this. Oh my god, it's this. Can they actually intend for you to do this? That, cause that's rude. <laughs> also, wait, what do you mean six? Oh, when you level up, you get more, right? I thought, you, I thought that happens like when you actually do the flashy light thing. Uh, I've been there before, haven't I? That just brought me back here. That wasn't even useful. That wasn't even useful. You've got to be kidding me. Why would they do that? Well, I'm going to reload so I can get my health back. All it did is dunk me back at the start anyway. Hey, you did this impossible thing. Here, have a prize. It's nothing. I don't know. I already talked to all the townspeople again. They didn't give any hints that seemed to indicate anything. I'm just gonna walk through the town one more time. You can't exit from the right side. So yeah, I don't know. I may end up looking at a map for this. It's kind of sad because, like... I guess the first real problem in the game, you know, technically came in... in Area 7. Because if it weren't for uh, speed tech in that area, I probably would have given up on the casual playthrough there end on the game entirely. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game is unfortunately kind of flawed. I remember having a map and lost it. I, I remember somebody saying that one of the versions came with maps, which like kind of tells you how problematic the game is. Um, I don't know. Should we... Should we actually pull up a map? Uh... Let me, uh, let me pull my browser up. Like I said, we don't have time to, uh, 
don't have time to actually put this into action, but maybe we can get... I'm, I'm curious if we'll even get an idea from it. Let me just move chat. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, I, that's the thing, is I'm, I'm definitely, like, willing to think... Oh my god, there's more areas in level 8. Spoilers. We've only been to the first three. I like how one of them is actually called Final. <laughs> um, they also, yeah, I guess they don't, they don't list the towns here. Wait, why is level eight fruit, fruit gardens? Really? All right. Anyway, let's look at the individual maps. Uh, I need to zoom this in, don't I? Uh. All right. So we start. At... Yeah, so we came in here, where it says Tucaliente, towards the bottom left. Hey, look, there's there's Ceiling Potion right there. I don't know if I found that one or not. Um, also, this does wrap, so like, Pureza's is down here, Pureza's is up here. Like, these are, these are repeating. I, I like how they show the air current here. And yeah, they actually call this an invisible wall. Uh, so yeah, we're very familiar with that invisible wall. It's not the one that was issued with again. Yeah, so I think I think this site has scans of that too, but they're so le low resolution that you can practically not see anything on them. Um, although I suppose on the other hand, it also wouldn't spoil as much. Um, presumably that X there is to indicate that it's one way, because yeah, we've uh, actually, you know what? I want to see if there's more to this area. So yeah, you come in from here. You get the chests right away. And then you're just in this area. Is there anything else to- No, that's the entire area. I'm pretty sure that's the entire area. Why is that- No, that's marked as an X too, so actually that's that doesn't indicate that it's one way at all. It's not really one way, that's true. Um. It's not one way, it's just that, like, once you fall out of there, you can't go back. Um... But, yeah, okay, so... Where's the three platform part? It's right here. Right, and this is the moving platform that I take to get up here, but then it just sucks you up there, which is not useful. Wasn't there at least one thing that I hadn't figured out in this area? Uh, yeah, like that. Haven't been to that area yet, so that's someplace I haven't been. Okay, so I think this was that other door I was seeing from over here. Have I been through that? What the- oh my god. Are there false walls again? Is that what that arrow was fucking telling me? So, yeah, the, the manual would not tell you that. That's the one thing I haven't been checking for, is walls you can just pass through. Do walls stop enemy project- Huh. Well, the funny thing is, like, that's... Wait, where is that? Probably doesn't take that long to get there. Like, we could try it, but... Like I said, I'm probably gonna call it soon anyway. Um... Uh, 
uh, start the timer again. Because I guess we're going to check this out. Yeah, hey, cool shot. You are, in fact, new here. Uh, but yeah, so that was something... I was looking for breakable walls everywhere. I was looking for air currents everywhere. I wasn't looking for the old pass-through walls. And I don't think any of the townspeople here mentioned that. Uh, I already forget where the heck I need to go from here. Yo, nice, nice move, shrimp. Good job. Yeah, so like that, that's one that they, de somebody there should say something about, because someone in Tumba mentions that, I think. But we haven't heard mention of false walls for a few areas. But that was horrendously bad timing. Oh, wait. Oh my god, wait. Don't tell me. No, there's no way it's up here. This has got to be wrong. I already forgot, like, what part of the map I was looking at. I'll check anyway, because I'm here. But, I don't think it's here. Yeah, no, it's not there. Okay. Almost definitely not up here either, but I remembered I actually needed to jump there. Oops. Alright, this is where we started. I should be able to actually see the door on the map somewhere, too. Like, I mean, like, off-screen to the top of me. I'm taking way more damage than I should be. Here? Uh, oh, wait, you fall there, though. No, it's not there. That's this part again. I like how I'm like... Now, now I just need to remember where one specific part of this level is. And I can't. I should probably reload because I've taken a ton of damage. But, uh... Got it. But I guess we can, uh... try to backdoor something in here. Incidentally, I'm pretty sure these are the only green doors that I've been through in the entire level so far. Goes, yeah, we don't want to go that way. <clears throat> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Can't remember if there's any other doors to absorb other than going. Oh, wait, you know what? What about the one that, like, that sucks you in? I forget where that comes out. This isn't necessarily going to take me to anyway, because I'm going the actual way that I know of here. Uh, please? I mean, I suppose there's also the possibility of, like, there being multiple false walls. And there could be more in this area. Oh, there it is! Okay, where does this take me? It does take me to Absor. Oh, it takes me to this... Th okay. Would this be it? Oh my god! That's it, dude. That's... Oh, oh god. That's evil. 
That is absolutely evil game design. Because it's not even a flat wall. You're not expecting to go through a wall that isn't even flat in the first place. See, I didn't even notice the things were going through the wall there. So you're saying they try to show you that it's happening, but you're, like, not even paying attention to it. So I'm pretty sure I have been... Yeah, I've been down there before, right? I'm pretty sure I have. All right, well, where does this take us? We have to see now. Now we're in another part of Milagro. Okay. I probably don't want to go down there. So yeah, arguably there's conveyance, but you're not going to be looking for it. It is funny though, because like, I know in an earlier section of the game I definitely did pay attention to whether projectiles went through walls. But that was way, way long, long ago. In a land far, far away. I probably don't want to go down there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that the other town? That is the other town. Oh, why can't I go through that wall, though? Alright, so there is a blue door there. Not sure whether that gets me access to that town or not. So now, which way do I want to go from here? That's another other key. Hmm. go down here? I can't go down there. There's air coming from there. Okay. That is literally impossible. That kind of happened in the previous place, too. I got two keys in the previous area, and uh, didn't know where to use either of them for a very long time. And I see... Uh, Oh wait, that was the no, that was a that was the blue door. Okay. It was further up that was the the town door. All right, I guess I'm, well, that's not really what I meant to do, but okay. I guess we're doing it. Okay, so this gives you a way back there, I guess. I can't go that way. I feel like I really don't want to go down here, but... Oh my god, it's the other side of the thing! Holy crap. I don't like that. At all. Because that's gonna drop. This, this looks evil. Yeah, a thousand gold, look at that, you know, to complement the 100,000 I already have. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. You kind of have to do a hop there, it seems like. Look at all those dudes, holy crap. I forget, do I have things that can go through walls? Yes. It doesn't kill them in one shot, though. Alright, so there is a blue door over there. Can I actually retry this? Maybe I can, except I'm gonna frickin' die. Forget, where does this go? Where does this go? Oh! Okay, yeah, I recognize that. Uh, do I want to be up or down? I think it doesn't matter. Oh, that was not smart. I, I need to heal. Yeah, the problem with speed nine heals is it still takes forever it, when your health is when your health bar is this long because it doesn't it doesn't like scale proportionally to your level. I haven't had the speed nine heal in a while actually because once I got the sword I'm using now, 
I've been just completely wrecking everything, but now I've been kind of like paying more attention to the environment and not enough attention to the enemies. Alright, so that's where the chest was. I can't... Okay, that's how far it fell right now. I was gonna say, I might actually have to reset this to try it again anyway. I don't know if I can get a jump going that way. I'm probably gonna bonk. Yeah, oh yeah, it actually bonks you there, which is actually nice of them. Oh no, you have to duck as soon as you get on there too. Wow. Alright, I definitely need to go and go through a door to reset. Uh, now. Here's the door. But at this point, like, seriously feels like I should just, like, restart. It's practically faster than waiting for the level 9, or the speed 9 heal. I could also use one of my fruits, but I'd rather not do that. Especially given that, uh... Oh yeah, I'm sure if I go back to town again, I probably will get max level after this excursion. I've been, like, accidentally leveling up and getting tons of gold in this area, because, like, the game is apparently mostly done being rude to you in terms of, like, being underpowered and underfunded at this point. Uh, there's plenty of that before this point. So you need to land there and then immediately duck. That's why it pauses there for a second. <sighs> the question is how to time this. Not like that. Probably fine, but... Wait, how did you get up there? Oh, it came through the thing, didn't it? It came through the one-way wall. That's gotta be what happened. That'll make it obvious. Too bad that only makes it obvious when you're on the other side of it already. Oh, that was bad timing. You know what? I should actually freaking slow slow the game down more here. Once I see the thing coming over. There you go. I keep, why do I keep pressing enter, dude? Okay, so the town's up there. Where does this put me? Where does this put me? I assume I've been down there. I mean, I suppose I can go up here and check it out. And back. I'm fairly certain I've been here. I don't want to go through this, because if it's a door I've already been through, then I'm just going to set myself back. But I'm actually not sure I've been here. Let's check out the right side. I recognize this. I think I recognize this. Oh, hmm. Yeah, to the right of this, I believe, is the door that you get sucked into. Oh 
boy, I'm glad that didn't get me stuck. I'm fairly certain I have been down there. But then what the heck good does this door do me? Un unless the stuff over here really is new. This is one of the doors that I've seen but not been through. Uh, that's not what I want. But I was like, I'm so cautious about this door. Like, if this is one I've already been through, well, I think I'm actually fine. It's like, I did not want to set myself back. Because <laughs> it's quite a trek to get back in here with that one really annoying jump. Okay, this is the top right of that section that I was in before. I don't trust this jump. I don't trust that to work either, though. Okay, now we're fine. Well, if I fall down there, I'm not getting back up. Unless I put that there, maybe. <laughs> Wait, no, I've been down there, though. I, I recognize those gaps. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen this door. I don't want to go down there. Yeah, I recognize what's down there. I don't want to be down there. There's no false walls here, so this doesn't seem useful. Sure. That's useful, I guess. But seriously, though. This is a place I've already been. So there would be no point in going that way. There's gotta be a point to being over here, though. Now, yeah, this is the area where you can either go left or up, right? Right. There's absolutely no- like, this would be going backwards. But going down there would- don't you dare, you jerk. Going down there would also be going backwards. So, unless there's an air current here... I don't see why this area exists. Is there anything else I can do here? I probably can't get back up there now, either. I can think is like try falling through one of those gaps and see if it blows me up instead, but I highly doubt it because that's not really how air currents work. But I imagine like once I go down there, I'm, I'm back to square one.
Yeah, because I've been down here. And now it's the left side of that. Yep. So I don't understand what progress that even made. There's got to be something else in that area, but I don't know what it is. And now it is time to reload. It's seriously getting late. I should just look at my VOD to remind myself where it is. Um, also, I forgot... <laughs> I realized I forgot to put chat back where it belonged, didn't I? Let me do that right now. Um, but no, I gotta stop for now. So, well, at least we have a place that I have to, that I know I have to explore again. But, uh... They had, they had to get in one last horrible lapse in conveyance. Or, I guess, overly clever conveyance, at least. But, uh... I don't know. We've got to be getting pretty close to the end at this point. We, I, I finally got driven to check a map last night because, um, as opposed to the Inferno area where an NPC at least gave you a extremely vague idea of what you had to do, but then there was no conveyance of where to do it, uh, this time around there's no conveyance. Like, period. So, fortunately, the map I looked at had an, a helpful indicator of where there is a one-way wall. So, uh, that being said, I explored through there once. There was one particularly impossible jump that I had to do in there. And then I ended up back in a previous area in a way that wasn't helpful. So, we gotta figure out what else we can do. Um, with that new information of that area that I can get into. So, that's where we're starting up tonight. Let me, uh... Oh, hang on. I need to push buttons so that things end up in the right place. There we go. Now we've got our timer in the right place. And we can start it up right now. And get back into things. Oh, right, I forgot about that guy. Okay. Uh... Is my camera slightly off-center? A little bit. Shrimp. Excuse me. I guess I'll reload again. Uh, let me make sure my things are fixed, though. Uh, eh. That's good enough, I guess. Alright, now we'll actually pay attention. Go out the door, then change the speed before I finish going out the door. Okay, now, where are we going? Uh, if I recall correctly, I actually do have to go through here, and we have to go through all the platforming in here in order to get to where I want to get to. Ah, oh, you jerk! Can I get back up there? I might be able to get back up there. Forgot about the shrimp over there. Okay, I can get back up there. There's like three more of them. And we gotta go this way. Oh, I was a little too eager there. There might only be one spot on that vine that you can actually jump off of. Now I forget, is it this way? Or is it... No, it's gotta be up. Uh, isn't it right... It's over here. Yeah, here we go. Isn't it... Is it this one? Yeah, it is. It's right here. Okay, so we got in there, um, I'm not sure if I'm perfectly safe here, because one of these guys might be able to get in here from over on the right, but because it's off screen, I might be fine, but I might as well recover my health here before we go into new territory again, or new-ish territory. Oh yeah, so I looked up the words 
uh, for the caverns in this area. Absolute isn't a, isn't a word, as far as I know. Um, but one of them means miracle, and one of them means disloyalty. Like, desleal is literally disloyalty. So I'm not really sure what they're going for with those names. Alright, so what can we do in this area? Oh, you jerk. Wow, dude. Actually, can I just... I can straight jump right over there. Their timing is always so perfect. Okay, so we can't do anything over here, but... I've been to the left of that door, I've been below that door. Uh, I probably don't want to go down there. Uh... Yeah, jumping off of there doesn't do anything interesting. So I gotta remember there's air currents too. Why? It's, like, always perfect timing to get me. Going down here, then? I can still go up from here, so that's nice. I can just cross there, but I can't go up there anyway. Can't hit that guy from there? Oh, now I can. He got closer. I don't want to get hit by this guy. I didn't actually mean to go through there, but... Oh, that's right, that was this. Okay. It's funny how that platform is just there to ruin your day. Hey, Mike. Oh, I forgot that's this. Uh, can I recover this, actually? Is that guy actually helping? That guy might actually be helping. No, you need to stay... Please stay over here, sir. Thank you. I might be able to recover this. I can recover that. Dude, that's huge. Okay. That makes that way better. Alright, but then I end up going into this door, and... Was this the one that was nothing exciting? Oh no, this is the one that's up here. Okay. But then... I don't know if I was able to find anything out of here. Because, like... Down here, that's what set me backwards. Or rather, this already is backwards, and I don't think this was useful? And if I go into there, then I can't go back. How's it going? Well, we just started up tonight. I, I had to resort to a map at the end of last night for this area because there's just... There's just stuff that is not obvious in this area, and there's no... Like, unlike the previous area where there's at least an extremely vague hint that an NPC gives you but doesn't tell you where to use the hint, uh, in this area, they just... There, there's no hint. <laughs> they really, they really could have done with a, a reminder. Can I get over there? Probably not. I probably didn't want to do that. That was probably extremely bad. Hey, Zaki. Uh, yeah, actually, isn't this exactly where I just what? Yeah, I can, I can move around this way. So there's that at least. Uh, right. We, wait, is this? Yeah, no. This is, this is the one. Just gotta jump over there, and then we go back in here. So at least we can get back there fairly quickly. Uh, I forget which way I went from here last time. What happens if I go in here? Oh yeah, this is where I went last time, because going up didn't actually do anything useful. Right, and we can't go that way. I think I went down here. That's where, yeah, that's where that chest was. And then there's this thing. Which is the worst part of the map. I actually managed to do it that time without issue. Alright, so now we're back here again. And I'm legitimately not sure what I should be doing in this area. Last time I fell down, I didn't want to do that. What I should probably do... Let's go over here and lower this thing. So that I can get back up there, hopefully. 
I don't know if I can get... Like, let me test the jump off of here. Because I don't think I can... Oh. Oh, no. Did I not get back? Did I accident? I accidentally raised that, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, shit. Um... I don't think I'd be able to jump that far, though. Like, from that platform onto the other side. That seems like it's not likely to work. But it might be something to try. Alright, we're going around again. not where I want to be. Fortunately, I think I can recover this. I should probably heal a bit here. Wow, that guy ended up all the way on that platform? That's pretty good. get off the platform. Hell, I could even get the almost from him. Alright, so we go down here. Right? And then we go down here again. And then we're here. Oh, missed it. Hang on. We can salvage this. As long as that guy's there, we can salvage this. Alright, I should probably... A little bit more. Alright, so now we're back here. So if I want to try doing a jump from here, let me, let me check something first. Yeah, so I'm going to bonk there. The problem is I can't really... Okay, I can test from there. Probably here is where I would want to do it from. Yeah, that's definitely what I wanted to do. I, uh, I went one step too far to the right, clearly. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you jerk. So up here was where I couldn't do anything useful, right? Yeah, I tried going up there before. I didn't try dropping down there, did I? I suppose I could try that if I'm going to be dropping down places anyway. Yeah, because this is just this, and you can't do anything there. Oh, there's there's error there. I can't I can't actually move there. Okay. There's a key there, which seems interesting. Have I tried dropping down here? Wait, is huh? Is that where I just came in? That is where I just came in. Isn't it? Okay, so that's nothing useful. Right? Ow. Yeah, that's where I just came in. Okay. I disagree- hello? I swear I hit him twice, but okay. back here. Do I, do I really want to try this again? Yeah, there's no way you're making that jump. Unfortunately, once I'm here, I have to go back around again. Alright, so that rules that out completely. 
Oh, you jerk. See, he still snuck out the shot right as I... Like, I waited for him to stop shooting before I attacked. He started shooting right again anyway. I swear the input read. Hi. That was exactly what I was worried about. Where did that guy come from? There goes, like, half my shield. Did he come from below, or did he come from the right? Because I don't see the one floating around below anymore, either. But if he came from below, how? Also, shoutouts to Zarek, who got killed a gazillion times in uh, the gold area. Because he thought it was safe to heal, and it wasn't. Zarek has started to try to roughly learn the speedrun route. Uh, but yeah, it's... Even even when you're... It's it's kind of funny. I made the joke that he's he's not speedrunning the game yet. He's speedrunning the emotional roller coaster of the game first. Because, like, he's, he's experiencing all of the, like, you know, like, the fifth boss. Wow, that's some bullshit. It's actually worse than the speedrun, too, because, like... You have to try to avoid to take damage. He's not- he's not fully like, following the route to a T, like, he has been buying shields. Which, you know, generally helps... to not die. The- the speedrun, the world record, doesn't buy a shield until... at least the sixth area, which is terrifying. Wow, barely made that. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty sure at this point that going to the right is not interesting. Hey, Omond. Yeah, I, yeah. It's pretty it's pretty uh tough. All right, so I've tried going down here, right? Uh huh. There's there's stuff up. There's something up there. I don't know. There- there's a- wait. There's a dude up there. Okay, but no, I don't think I can do anything funky over there. Do I have any other options that I haven't explored here? Did I try going through that gap? I might have- I might have intentionally not- No, because this is already a previous area that I've been in. Isn't it? Yeah, this is already a previous area that I've been in. Uh, I don't like my chances of getting back up there. Can I interest you guys in falling down here? Not you! Well, I'm probably gonna die now. Wait, how is he not dead? Did I not hit him? I guess I didn't hit him. I might as well just give up now. He input read me again. Like, you saw, there was a pause between the second and third bullet, but then he did a third bullet anyway. Alright, am I safe here? I mean, there wasn't anywhere else to go in here, right? Excuse me, where is this? This is not the... What? I think we have reached a new tier of, uh... Asshole game design. That's not the door I came in from. That's the door I came in from. It's a three-way door. What the fuck is this shit? Who the hell puts a three-way door into your video game? What is this game design? And, y okay, yeah, this is the other side that I was, like, always getting taunted with, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so now here's the thing, though. 
Like, yes, I have a key, but technically I have one key too many, so I kind of don't want to go through here yet. Let me look around elsewhere first. Because, like, I did accidentally carry a key forward. There's nowhere else for me to go, though. So that's a problem. So, like, technically I have a place to go, but I... Like, I don't really want to... I don't want to cheat. I mean, okay, I've looked at a map already, but I don't want to, like, you know, skip a key. Although, I mean, for speedrun purposes, it's also going to skip this key, because I know... I know for sure they picked up both keys... in the Inferno area. And I don't think they use either of them, actually. Whereas I at least used one of them. Frickin' shrimp, dude. <sighs> but where the hell else can I go? I don't think there's anywhere useful for me to go from here. Where do I fall to if I go in here? I think I recognize this area. Which door is this? Oh! That's actually- <laughs> Okay, that's the beginning of this whole area. Alright, good. Oh, you jerk. I still can't believe they made a frickin' three-way door. Like, the, the, rest, the entire rest of the game does not have any three-way doors. And they just decided, let's just, let's just put a little three-way door here as a treat. The input read, but I was apparently far enough away- I don't think I got hit by that. I'm not sure how that worked. Also, I'm gonna heal a bit. Because, like, over here is just this, uh, What?! Alright, here's the shitty part. I tried to do that before. But I hit the ceiling. I did a smaller jump this time. Yeah, alright, this- <laughs> I'm sorry, this section is beyond logic. Like, there are so many... Zero conveyance gotchas in this area that it, it, you know, Zarek was pulling the same kind of attitude that I usually do of like, you can't possibly tell me with a straight face that they tested this game with the users. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull that here because there's no way that anybody was ever expected to complete this, this section. I mean, for that matter, the previous section already had a pretty solid deterrent. It's called Carrer. That, there's no way any reasonable person was expected to get through there without accidentally learning how to skip the section entirely, basically. Or skip the approach to the section. Alright, so what's over here? Have I been through here? I'm gonna guess no. Alright, where is this? Because I should probably recognize this? Oh, you jerk. Do I recognize this? Oh, yeah, we're back bo- Oh, we're, we're below that, but we're not below that now. Wait. Okay, so we're below that. I've been up there before. This is such a troll, dude. Like... <laughs> there's... I kind of want to heal, but I don't trust that I'm not going to get shrimped again. Alright, let's stay over here, then I might be fine. Um... Wow, look at my shield, too. It's taking a lot of damage. Um... Almost as much damage as I have, emotionally. They are really trolling us here, because we've been to the left of that door, we've been below that door, now we're at the lower left of that door. We still haven't been in that actual door yet. Really, dude? Alright, yeah, shrimp, you go down there. I think I am also destined to go down there, though. 
Yeah, so that's where I came from. I didn't really mean to bonk like- Oh my god, it's the triple spikes! I've seen this from somewhere else. Let's get them both at the same time. Uh, if I go down there, I can probably get- Oh no, okay. Jeez, I thought I was gonna fall like a rock. The freaking little catches in the ceiling are awful. Haven't I been here before? I feel like I've been there before. That can't be possible, right? Alright, I don't really want to tempt fate like that. I'm gonna go back this way. That one just didn't want to shoot at all. Okay. Um... Alright, but we gotta do triple spike things, I think. Oh! Ooh, okay. Uh, we're switching to these, I guess. That's rude. I don't trust this. Yep, yeah, that's exactly why I don't trust it. Wow! Uh, that's not what I wanted. Stop hitting the wrong button. Okay. So, we have to get back there. At least I know where it is. So, the funny thing is, there have been instances like that previously, where it, like, requires a precise jump over a ramp, and I have always found- I have always gone for alternative ways to do those jumps. Because doing a precise jump over the lip of a ramp is impossible. Uh, and now we have to do it. Uh, what am I doing? I wanna do this. Not only do we have to do it, we have to do it with a really fast-moving platform below, and we have to time it well, because we, we're basically going to end up jumping entirely over the other side of that ramp. Uh, so we need to go down here again. Don't forget the shrimp. Actually, the first shrimp is, was not a go-getter this time. Actually, I think the first shrimp must have fallen down, because I only counted three there. Uh, I tried to press left, and there we go. What? I... God damn it. I feel like my inputs are not being read correctly right now. I'm just like off with the timing of the actual cycle. No, I would like to be- I would like to be on that platform, please, thank you! I'm just gonna reload. I think we're gonna get all four. Yep. Uh, I'm too far. I'm, I'm too far up. I'm getting hit by like I'm running into the wall there. Uh, it was this way, right? Basically down through. Oh wait, no. First is this. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. And now it's down through all the gaps. Oh, I didn't actually take the chest, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh god damn it, that's bad. Now I have to do this over because the, the you have to wait for the dude to be on the right. And he was not on the right yet. I, I actually did this section too fast to get the contingency plan. Alright, so where do I end up back at if I have to... This is actually the top of the... We just wrap, don't we? Yeah, we actually just wrap. So that's actually not that bad. Uh, and that gives me a chance to get this thing. And I forgot again. I'm never ready for it when it happens. Alright, 
right, now we're here. Unfortunately, now I should have I should have exited and re-entered. That way, I could get the contingency plan. Actually, is this even possible when the platform's already down? I'm not sure it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think I do have to exit and re-enter. I think I have to reset the room. Alright, go through there. You know what? I don't trust resting there now. We're gonna go through here first. Hang out here. Those guys still weren't over there. I waited there for like a week in in-game time. I guess don't depend on the contingency plan. Alright, so then we're going over here. Okay, that is still high enough. I was gonna say, I think I did a shorter jump this time than last time, but they let you get away with it. safe here? I, f I figure there's no way enemies can respawn on the screen, and I don't think anything would be able to come from the top right. Okay. Uh, what else? Right, so that's where the spikes are, right? And I figure they... <laughs> there is something extremely well guarded over there. I wondered if this would be an air current. This is probably not where I want to be, but I figured I would find out anyway. Have I been here before? Where am I right now? Okay, now I'm here. Yeah, you don't want to be here. Yeah, now now we're in the uh, the loop of Milagro. Okay, so you don't want to jump there for sure. Question is, should I just reload or should I actually try to like go back? Forget where this brings me back to. Oh, this brings yeah. I might as well just reload at that point. Oops. That wasn't five, but we'll work with it. <laughs> or we won't work with it. Fine through this hallway, but for, for those platforms, I should probably. I'm, I'm a little too used to five. I should probably change it back for platforms for the time being. I might want to get used, you know, for the speedrun purpose. Might want to get used to speed six eventually. <clears throat> oh, I was too late. I feel like you could say that for, like, the entire game. Or at least the entire second half of it. Okay, now where am I? Now we gotta go through here. Whoops. Oh, that was, like, the worst possible outcome. Because it knocked me out of range to hit him. I don't know why I'm even getting that. Like, I don't need gold. Alright. Where are we going? 
Oh, right, now we gotta jump over here. I swear, the jump over there is possibly the most obtuse part. Alright, what was over in this direction? This sends you back somewhere, so we don't want to do that. This also presumably sends you back somewhere. So yeah, like, this is the way to go, and do not jump there, holy shit. Okay, so we want these. Oh, you know what? I could have saved myself by equipping the other shoes, probably, right? I didn't think about that. I'm trying to, like, not hold left too long, but, like, I'm pretty sure after this one we're gonna end up sailing over it. Holy shit. Oh my god, I almost missed it, but I got it. Wait, I know where this is. This is just the beginning of Milagro. So this isn't even useful. Unless, unless there's, like, something in the ceiling, or I don't know. Like, th because, like, if I go down here... Yeah, that's the first door I ever came into Milagro on. Also, I can't go back up there now, you've gotta be kidding me. I seriously can't go back up. <laughs> Once you move that platform, <laughs> that's it. So, what, what was even the point? <laughs> what is even the freaking point, dude? Alright, I forget, can I get back to the other purple easily or something? Like, isn't that over... No, it's not. I forget where this is. Oh, this is over here, okay. I mean, I guess I can do it from here? Uh, actually, no, I can't. I'd have to go around the other way. Can I go around the other way? No, I can't. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna reload again. That's, that's garbage. But if I'm not going that way, then where the hell am I going? Surprised he didn't shoot me. Uh, now we're going here. Now we're basically back in the Area 7 territory of it takes me a few minutes to get back there every time. One of the shrimp fell, I think. I don't know if those are actually shrimp, but, like, they were vaguely shrimp-shaped, so that's what I'm calling them. It's also funny, because, like, Zer Zerik was also, like, immediately expressing interest, for the speedrun's sake, in save states for practicing bosses and stuff, but even casually? Wouldn't it be nice to have a save state so that, like, you don't have to waste your time going back through here every darn time? Like, save states feel like they're almost mandatory for this game once you're in Area 7, if not sooner. Alright, I think it's time to start, like, keeping in mind to look for, uh, either air currents or false walls or something. You can actually do that pretty early, which gives you more time to adjust from, from jumping to ducking. you can actually make that jump. If it were a tad higher, maybe I could have. I should try that sometime. Ah, you jerk. around again, just 
just to remind myself of what options I have. Do I remember where this is? I don't want to go through there. Oh right, wasn't this like where I started the previous section? Yeah, that's the dead end at the top of that section, now I remember. So you don't want to go that way. And then... I forget... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the top right there is the town that we want to get to. Eventually. I gotta remember there was that other, like... I already found a locked door, right now I'm interested in a key. Alright, so we know we can go up there, but we don't want to go up there. And we know we... Alright, let me test something right now. If I put these on, am I safe from this? Yes. Yeah, so to the left of the... Right, so that's when I would have seen these spikes, was when I was in the first area of Milagro. I don't think there's a reason to do this, but let's look at it again. I wish I could land on, like, the... Sure, why not? I wish I could land on the actual, like, top unit, but I don't think I can. But if I go to the left, I'm just gonna end up... Oh my god, I did it again. Hang on, what about... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Right, that's when I would have seen those, is when I was over here to begin with. Look, look at... That was weird how I got, like, pushed into there. It pushes you right. Which is weird, because if anything, it looks like there should be... That's so weird. I still have those shoes on? Yeah, so I could technically make the return trip. Or I could die. No, we're not gonna die. It'll be fine. It'll be fine because we have shoes that render spikes irrelevant. I wonder if he can actually get through there. Like, I don't want to go through there. I think he can actually... Yeah, see, enemies don't care about wind currents. Um... So I don't understand why that area exists. It sure seems like it's not a good prize. I try going down there, I forget. Alright, so actually, hang on. Before I go here... Is this all... This is all still technically this new area, right? Because this is where I came in? Yep. I was in the middle of the turning to go through the door animation, and it actually interrupted me. Good job. Oh, you jerk. Alright, so this is technically still the new area. Let me, let me ride this thing over and see where it leads. Because I don't think I ever did that. Fucking hell. <laughs> I have looked at that platform so many freaking times and not actually taken it. Alright, well, that one's on me, I guess. So... So we solved the key mystery. Now I gotta remember where I found the door. Oh yeah, the door was just through the... The door was the three-door shenanigans. The three-way door shenanigans. Uh... Can I actually... I can't... I think I have to loop around anyway. I was gonna have to get hit by something there. Yeah, because I can't... Well, I guess I can go down here wherever that goes. 
Uh, that might be fine. Uh, that might not be fine. I think this is a previous area again. Yeah, I don't think I want to be down here. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. But we can go back in here. Okay. That'll work. Oh, darn it. Well, at least I got him, too. Right, did I grab the chest this time? No, I didn't bother. Alright, let's, uh, recover some health. Okay, we got through there. So now we go through here. Is this the one? I think this is the one. No, it occurs to me I probably should have gone back and saved, and been paranoid about this. Alright. Where is this gonna bring us? Where am I? Oh, guess what? It's that chest that we, we actually just saw this like two minutes ago from the other side. So yeah, this is the other side. Uh, I'm guessing I don't want to not make this jump. Okay, we didn't not make the jump. Good. Uh, where is this exactly? <laughs> Thanks! I'm assuming we're still in new territory? Yeah? Because that's an unmarked door. Have I been up here before? I'm looking for recognizable territory here. I have probably been here. Yeah, I'm fairly certain- ow. I'm fairly certain I've been here. Alright, let's see what's in the door. Oh my god, it's that mystery door. There can't- okay. I don't think there's any reason for me to go out there. That would be backtracking. It's the mystery door that was to the far right of the three-way door, in the top center. I remember seeing this door before and wondering what the hell the deal with it was. You know, what could it possibly be, but... Doesn't seem useful? Doesn't seem useful. Alright, that went back where I got to it from. Let's try going up here? I don't know if I can go up here. Cause like, I can't really reach that. I can't fit through here. I may have been up there already, I'm not even sure. Oh man, I can't reach that guy, really? Pretty sure we don't want to go down. Left is where I came from. I can go back all the way this way because, yeah, I came from up there, presumably, so I don't think so. We're kind of locked in here now. Any interesting air currents here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I walked a little too far. Now where am I? Oh no, this is the, yeah, this is this is early. Okay, now I'm going to go back and save. Because I ended up going all the way back anyway. Uh by complete accident. All right. Uh town is here. Yep.
You're telling me there's even worse BS? And here I thought I must have found the most BS already. Alright, I actually got gold, so I guess... Feels like a waste to do this, because I don't need... Wait, actually, it is a waste to do this. Hang on. Because I gotta see if I gain the final level. And if I gain the final level, then I don't need to do that. Come on, tell me my power's over 9,000. Blinking warning if it is. It's over 9,000! What? I've been had. It's still in the same... Th I didn't get more health. It was already at that point. Like, I was, I was one from the end before. Indeed, your power has grown. Narrator, it didn't grow at all. Um... Okay, yeah, we still got more magic out of it, though, so there's that. Oh, I then I accidentally hit the button again, which I always end up doing. Alright, let's go repair the shield. Uh, wait, where is the weapon? Here it is. Really? Like, it just never... I would assume the life caps at some point. Like, that, that last pip has to happen eventually, but if, I feel like they're, they're, they're just trolling on all cylinders at this point, because you've got the... We've been, you know, three different cardinal direction or cardinal or ordinal directions from the town we want to get to, and now we just got, like, debated on our last pip of health with the level up. Uh, I guess I'll deposit stuff. It's obscene how much hel uh, how much gold I have. One one eight four two uh, four twenty. Nice. All right. When are they going to start co contacting me with surveys because I'm their biggest customer or something? Uh, let's record again. I should have waited to record until after that. They should be sending me, like, air airline memberships and shit. I don't know. Yeah, if I could have had this much money earlier in the game, that would have been great. Whoops. Now I'm making all the dumb mistakes. Alright, we're skipping a shrimp. Oh, I forgot the- I forgot the duck. Wow, just completely blanked. I mean, we have to go quite a far away to get back there. Now I just completely- Fudged that too. I should probably just restart. I accidentally jumped across the doorway. Oh, I didn't hit up at the right time. Are those actually scorpions? They're probably actually scorpions, aren't they? I've been calling them shrimp. I feel like I've offended somebody. Actually, if anything, they might look more like lobsters than shrimp. Alright, 
Alright, then through here twice. At least we don't have to do this leg anymore. Didn't occur to me that that's also an unlabeled door. Okay, so... I think last time I went over there. What's... Actually, what is over here? Oh. Right, this... I gotta remember, this was the pedestal with the treasure chest on it. So yeah, I've already been down there. We, we definitely want to be on this side. Ow. Okay, so you can get back up there. Also, there's a vine down here. I don't think I tried going this way. Actually, isn't this just where I was before? So, I was thinking I couldn't go all the way back, but I don't think there's anything meaningful to backtrack to. Uh, let's try it again. It's impossible to jump onto this platform with these shoes on, isn't it? There we go. This is where we came from. And there's absolutely nothing up here. And then down there is just a place that I'm not really interested in being. So, yeah, that's not really a big deal, I think. You have 34... Good grief. How long did you... That's... I'm not even going to ask. Like, that seems like way too much leveling. Alright, so I... Oh, that was silly. What did I think this was? Batting practice? Uh, let me just, uh... Heal a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is the way I went last time. 1.1 mil. <laughs> That's a good point, because, like, we don't... You don't see a visual representation of experience ever. Most games, it would just, you know, top off at a certain point. Yeah, it's true. Which, I mean, that's that's probably an imperfect gauge, because, like, almost drops aren't really consistent, I guess. I'm still curious about the right side of this. Actually, hang on a second. Uh, it's not letting me through anywhere over here. Because that was a thing in the fifth area. Was, like, bringing a movable platform to just the right place to be able to pass through a wall. over here? Nothing. And over there you've got that platform, which is the one I took before. And then beyond that is the question of, is there anything useful to do here? Really, it's just barely high enough to where I can't get up there. I can kill that dude, though, so that's nice. Oh, that's really taunting me, though. I can't remember if I've been here, but I feel like I... Like, to the left of this, but I feel like I have. Although, wait, no, yes, I have. That's where I came from. Isn't that where I came from? Because didn't I lower that... I'm not sure. Maybe not. Because I don't remember there being a platform right above it like that. That can't be where I came from. That wouldn't make any sense. Right, now, and the, the left there is where I've been wondering if I can get to. Oh my god, it's raining shrimp. This was the part where I... This is the part near the beginning. Yeah, this is Absor. This is the part where I did the tricky timing with that platform over there. So I do recognize this. Uh, I don't, I don't trust this at all. That's not gonna kill them, huh? I'll kill him eventually, but if I'm gonna waste magic on it... No, you don't. It, 
I'm, I'm at the point where my sword is actually way better. Yeah, so I don't I don't have any interest in being here. Don't you dare, dude. I should have just used G on him. Yeah, so I'm not interested in that at all. There has to be something to do here. Oops. Okay, that's cool, but I still can't get through there. Why would there be one breakable block there? I mean, I don't know if that was even blocking that passage or not. But I don't think I've been over there either way. Because I don't think I've been able to get up there. Yeah, because this is the next one over. This is what I was confusing it with. Uh, hang on. Can I get up there? Have I been up there? No, I don't think I want to go down there. I don't think I want to go down there. Can I get a better glimpse of what's down here? Oh wait, is that just, that's just the, uh, isn't that just the return route for this? Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Um, I'm thinking there might be a ridiculously roundabout return trip for this. Uh, so I don't want to go through there right now, that's where I came in. Oh no, what if, what if that is the whole... What if that is the whole play here? Oh, I was one off. What if the whole play here is you're supposed to make that passable, and it was actually some somewhere I would I have been earlier in this area? What what if this is the galaxy brain play? I just want to get a better look at where exactly that is. don't remember that platform. And I feel like I would remember that platform. There could be another one above that, actually, I wonder. A you know what we can try doing? Actually, I haven't tested whether Plaid does anything. It didn't even kill the dude up there, actually. It killed something. Something exploded. But it wasn't the guy up there. Um... I actually have 15 charges of falling rocks in a video game. And that missed. That still missed. I'm glad I can't get hurt by them. <laughs> yeah, so I can destroy environmental objects as well, because <laughs> there's the health on the right that I never took. 
See, I've definitely been to the right of here. But, like, I... It's like, you need one pixel more of a jump, even with these shoes. You know, also, I haven't been thinking too hard about whether the shoes have technically been required so far. Because I, I have been wondering... ...at what point they would become... Because I got them pretty early in this section. And why is that... Well, we know why the breakable block is there. Okay, but hang on a second. If, if I'm interpreting the point of that breakable block correctly... Well, that was a really bad timing. If I'm interpreting the point of that correctly, there really should be an air current somewhere with that moving platform. Maybe I, maybe I need to try harder there. Because when you think about it, in Area 7, the air current that brought you up to the locked door was pretty particular about where you had to trigger it. And that's basically the only reason I hadn't triggered it sooner. But... There's not really... There's not too many places that you could even trigger this. Like, I already tried while I was standing on the platform. And I'm trying from, like, every possible place here. Nope, that didn't do it either. That was as far right as possible. You have to make your own map in the fire area every time. Yeah, exactly. I think now I think I remember it well well enough because like basically once you get to the health restore well actually depending on which way you're coming from because the skip will actually get you from the other end um I think if you use the skip you can actually even skip the health potion like the health potion you have to go like one more level to the right and down and then you have to come back up and go left and down I think I think I'm, I hope I'm remembering that right it was only like a day ago Yeah. <laughs> when I when I saw that skipping the speed run, I was like, oh my god, you mean I don't have to spend five minutes to get back there to retry it every time. But yes, it did result in me inadvertently skipping a key. Uh, I, I should have thought ahead and like used up that key so that I didn't have it in my inventory to possibly end up using a little bit early here. I don't think I ended up sequence breaking anything here because of it. Because I think either way, the key that I got first in this area was the key I had to get first. Like, you, you said the other day, too, that, like, if anything, I might have just had to, like, reach it from a different direction. And there certainly do seem to be a couple of ways to get to a couple of places in here. Alright, I, I really want to think there's got to be an air current here, but I'm running out of places to try to find an air current here. Like, I, I feel like I've tried every possible jump there for there to be an air current, and there just isn't one. <laughs> so you're saying by now I would have figured it out. <laughs> With all of the other nonsense that I've done. All the other time I've wasted. Hang on a second. No, that doesn't do anything interesting either. Like, I'm trying every possible thing here. Hang on, what about here? Nothing interesting there. Uh, and I probably can't fit in there. I mean, I could nuke a bunch of things from orbit with lightning here. And see if it has any other effects, but nope, doesn't seem like it did. I could try that here too. Oh my god! <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> I was thinking air currents, I wasn't thinking platforms. You would think I would have thought of that after what I did to the other block. So there's two blocks like that. Oh my god. Two things this game needed. Visible air currents and visibly deteriorated destructible blocks. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, and that lets you get up here so you can actually jump out of it. And the interesting thing about this is you wouldn't even need the boots to get out of there. Like, I, a, a couple of places I've been, like, looking at and being like, this is clearly designed so that you don't need the, the high jump. 
So you can go back that way, or you can go this way. Yeah, you're not intended to have the high jump here, because otherwise, why would that platform be there? So I've definitely gotten the high jump early. Meanwhile, this is the hallway with the enemies, which is new Tremorba. Yeah, this, <laughs> this level is just a freaking. Oh no! Not again! And where does it dunk me if I miss it? Alright, what else can we do? The fact that I ended up getting these boots early it has probably actually helped me out a ton. Oh man, this is like what if that ice room except not with ice. Which is good, because I don't have the ice boots. There's even more spikes here than before. This is not the same area, is it? I can't even- oh, did they make it impossible to jump over there? Oh my god, there's multiple of them. Oh my- this is a new cave, dude! Holy shit! I just looked at the name. Falter. Falter. I, th I think that is actually- wait, no, I don't think that is Spanish or something. I think I looked it up and it just gave me the English meaning. This is the difficult plat- uh, yeah. I jump might be mandatory for some parts of it, I imagine, but maybe not all parts of it. Um... There's so many different ways I could go here. Okay, probably don't want it. No! Uh, air current? Invisible platform? Something? Alright, is this where I just came in? This is actually where I just came in, isn't it? We looped this super quick. This is a very short horizontal loop. So that's good to know. Oh no, that's a one-time only platform right there. Uh, well, maybe a couple times. But like, it's gonna sink like per tick, and I don't think you can jump to that other vine. Although you could probably jump right off of it the first time to get to the right platform. And that's a, that's a place where the high jump boots might get you like an extra iteration. Uh, Alright, that's an invisible wall. Oh, I did miss you. Wait, how did I miss that? Yeah, I totally... Sorry about that. Six hours. Okay. From first entering the fire area, though, there's a there's a couple of bits of BS in there. Half, half of the BS in there is finding the one magical ceiling. The other half is getting to the boss. You think you might have taken a push or two? Yeah. Well, especially to, like, I know he recognizes some Japanese, but, like, I don't know if he bothered... When I was watching it, it didn't seem like he was bothering to, like, talk to NPCs, translate anything go out of the way to do that, and, um, the ceiling thing you would not think to do if you didn't talk to one of the NPCs. Alright, right, that was the invisible wall. So I guess I'm trying this thing. Yeah, so you can just jump over there, and that'll get me a couple extra iterations with that platform. Now where am I? Oh dear. So this is, this is an area where, like, I might be able to cheat and jump up to that platform, technically, and you're probably not expected to be able to do that the first time. Where does this go? Isn't this where I came in? What even is the point of that if I can just climb up here and get to the same place? Was I actually expected to go left? It seems like I can get to either side of that without actually using that, so... Okay. Um, this, ag this again is clearly designed for not having the high jump boots. And I can kind of skip those a little bit. Uh, that's an interesting place for that to be, because I can't transfer to that. Maybe you are expected to have high jump boots to get to that particular vine. Given that there's other stuff here that... D oh, that was the one-way wall, wasn't it? Yup, okay. Shouldn't have done that. How quick does this vertically loop? 
Whoa, okay. <laughs> they were like, you think you like that door? Yeah, well, we're not gonna let you. There's a couple of blue doors in here that they do not want to let me get to from above. Because that would presumably make it too easy. Uh, what am I even doing here? Actually, what if I took... Can I not go over there? No, I just timed it bad, like I just did there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go this way first. But it seems like you could go over or under for this. I'm not sure why. This is the wall, right? I don't even know what I'm trying to do at this point. Is that also a wall? Oh, well, that sucks. I might want to restart the room. Is this where I came in? Yes, I believe so. Also, actually, it's good to know that this is a place that you can potentially safely uh, heal. I don't need to heal right now. I do need to take a break, though, so let me do that. Um, yeah, McCall did a PC-88 for first play. But anyway, let me take a break, and we'll come back and, uh, see what we can do about this room when we get back. Okay. Let's see, uh, what we can find in this room. I haven't, I haven't tried the most, uh, threatening-looking platforming yet, but I'm also not entirely sure if it's necessary, but let's see. He also farmed in Cavern 3. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, so farming and backtracking definitely would have contributed to... Uh, whoops. I paused when I was already paused. Good job. That's uh, that's only in the DOS version, by the way. I don't think Escape does that. I don't I don't think there is a... A pause that even pauses the music in PC-88. Alright, where do we want to go in here? I don't want to go up there yet. Like, I want to save that to see if there's stuff I can do. That doesn't seem to require these shoes. Was this where the wall was? Yes. So I can't get up there from here. But there was more stuff I could do here. Nothing, seemingly nothing destructible there. I'm not really sure why that platform exists, because you could easily, just as easily go over rather than under. Okay, so here's this. But then I can't go through here, right? Right. So then, but I also don't need to go that way. Wow, they actually let you make that drop. That's actually interesting. Okay, so here, okay. Let's let's try doing this, I guess. Can I actually, okay, so this is another place where these shoes might actually simplify things because I wonder if I can just vault completely over this. Uh, I can, but guess what? That's not good. Because there's no way you're gonna time that correctly. Okay, so that is those platforms. Oh right, I, I did change shoes now. I think from the left side, you can probably just, like, get up there with the, the high jump. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, we're back. Well, let's put these on instead. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. How... These are in phase with each other. There's no way to make that work. There's no way to make that work without the... the other shoes. And even then, I'm not sure. Oh, and then I missed anyway, so let's just, uh... switch back to those right now. But didn't I end up... I feel like I... I could have sworn I ended up at the right side of that anyway? Before? Oh, 
Although I might have gone over here to do it. I might have gone over here to do it. So maybe there maybe there is a purpose to that. I was thinking that there was no purpose to that. No. Oh, wait. No, there isn't, because this is just right over here. Never mind. Alright. Oh, hang on. Nope, that doesn't look like it's destructible. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what if there's more destructible nonsense here? Doesn't seem like any of that was. <clears throat> I should probably just use the lightning to try. So that definitely didn't do anything. Oh, come on, I got robbed. Surprised that worked actually. All right, let's try it again. Nope, that just killed the dude up there. Interesting that there's another platform all the way up there. That seems like something you should just be able to jump over anyway. Like, why, why even bother with that? And then wasn't there a set of three somewhere too? Oh, yeah, it was here. So here's where... I think I would need the double jump to, to do this, because I think what they want you to... Well, okay. What's the easiest way to do this? I really only have one shot of this. Oh, it doesn't work? Alright, well, I stand corrected. I was thinking you'd be able to jump up to it from the bottom platform, but it seems like even then... It's not, it's not high enough. And now I think I've already looped. Is this not... Oh, that's not the same one. I need to try falling down there. I, I should probably reset the room at this point. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get across this again. Barely, okay. That second try would not have worked without the shoes. Now, is this the other side of that one, or is this a different one? That's not where I want to go anyway. I want to go in here. Oh. No, I don't want to go in there. Uh, hang on. It's very particular about letting you across- Can I climb through this? That would be really funny. No, I can't. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same platform. This is here where the, the vent gets you. Yep. Okay, hang on, though. Can I drop in the middle of this? I almost did, but it blew me back anyway. And presumably from here... <laughs> I like how I just got, like, carpet burn or something. Alright, let's reset the room while we're here. So I feel like more so than challenging platforming, I'm just kind of like, where the hell am I supposed to be going right now? And that platforming still doesn't make any sense to me as to why it even exists. The room feels like it's too small to be able to get you anywhere. Because <laughs> if I go... Oh right, you can't... But, but there's that one particular... There's gotta be a reason for that invisible wall. Oh no, I fucked it up again. But I don't- again, I don't even need to do that. I can get right here from the frickin' door. Oh, that was really bad timing. Like, isn't it- this is the door, right? Yeah. And I don't know how to get up there. As far as I can tell, nothing up there is destructible. This is where the invisible wall is. Actually landed on top. See, landing on top would actually allow you to make it to the other platform. But there's still no reason to. Let me try doing a lightning here. Absolutely nothing interesting. Okay. And I was still off anyway. 
but yeah, like, it's such a tight loop that I don't, I don't see any point here. <laughs> what haven't I tried doing here? That's where the that's where the two platforms or not the two platforms the one platform in the, in between the vines is I think yeah so like for, actually can you make this even without no you you definitely you can't make it from the right but you can make it from the left with, with the high jump. That's that again. Okay, I have a uh, I have a bad feeling. Again, I don't see why this exists. Because I can just get to the other side of this anyway. It does seem like the, the sword has some kind of weird interaction with the music or something. I don't know whether it's actually an interaction with the music or not. Yeah, because you can just get over here anyway. So, like, why does all of that up there even exist? We gotta be, we gotta be anticipating incompetent level design, like, at every turn now. In terms of, like, why there are multiple ways to get to the same place. try something. Have I tried jumping from over here? <laughs> Talk about threading the needle. Alright, let me, uh, go back to the door. Reset. Actually, the other interesting thing is that's directly below this. All right, actually, new idea. Well, interesting. Probably not useful, but interesting. And now I'm gonna die anyway. reason to do that with this one? Probably not. Probably not. But again, that's not a big deal, because we can get to the same place by going this way. Alright, that one's really not useful. Can I get to the second one from here? I should be able to with these. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like it's useful for anything. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Like, I don't know if crossing that accomplishes anything, but I've gotten to both sides of that without actually crossing it anyway. And then the only other interesting thing is the vine there. Which feels like it requires these shoes, but I'm also, like, not convinced it's possible even with them from here. Because by the time that pla that platform is going to go down at least one step. And by the time it goes down one step, it's too much. Actually, hang on a second. Hang on a sec. Well, yeah, but I can't get up there. This is the other one that comes out this far, and I don't think I can reach that anywhere, either. And there's no adjustable platforms in here. Oh, I just got pushed through again. Yeah, that actually is the, the other side of the... That's... because that's right there. Thank you. 
So, uh, unfortunately, I'm worried that there is another jerk move that we still haven't uh, unraveled yet. <laughs> Let me try lightning again here. I think I already tried this, though. Yeah, that up there is also very interesting and terrifying. But, like, everything at this level feels like it's kind of meaningless, and we need a way to get up, and that vine is the way to get up. So far, like, the, it, the game reinforces constantly that you can't, like, jump a far distance onto a vine. You basically have to mount it from right next to it. So even that platform on the right, I think, would be too far to the left to actually work. Or rather, to f not far enough to the left to actually work. kind of weird that that platform stops in the middle there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I have absolutely no idea. Oh, that was actually kind of funny. And I still managed to miss, dude. Wow. You know what? I should be suspicious of, uh, of the spikes. Hang on. Nope, nothing. I already tried climbing down there. That doesn't work. It would probably be a cool skip if it did work. Maybe I should maybe I should be looking for some place that actually allows you to fall. I'm pretty sure I already looked pretty comprehensively through all this and there was no place that allowed me to fall. And then this is here again. It's, it's really f funny how fast you can loop. Tried going down there. This this I found very suspicious. That like you could very easily go over this, but for some reason actually no, you know what? If you don't again, if you don't I didn't mean to do that. If you don't have the, the high jump, you have to go under. It really does feel like I'm not even expected to have the high jump yet. Like you can get it this early this is an interesting case where like I heavily suspect that I sequence broke the game just based on a guess. Like, it feels like this place is designed for not having the high jump, but if that's the case, then what the hell do they expect you to do here? Oh, yeah, that's what happens if you don't have the high jump there. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have it on. Let me go back through here again. We'll, we'll heal for a few seconds while I'm here. Alright, okay, so that'll get me to the other side of that. That didn't do anything interesting either. Oh, and 
that's that, right? Okay. I don't need to bother doing that to go in this direction, though. Holy crap, this guy's got a freaking uh, assault rifle. Yeah, like, I mean, I call it a sequence break, but, like, just in terms of, like... It would be funny if there were NPCs later that give you hints on how to get it. When, like... <laughs> there have been worse things that have had no hints whatsoever that have been required already. Uh, didn't I decide I didn't have to go that way? Well, yeah, but I have to go this way if I don't go that way. I mean, I don't really want to go that way. Uh, okay, so I have those on right now. Let me try lightning again here. Nope, nothing. Right, and this just goes to the other side. It's as if they give you one freebie, although... No, that... Hmm. I wonder if that doesn't even work if you have this... if you don't have this equipped either. You might have to do the low way until you get the high jump boots, and then it, it's, uh... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um... I'm gonna try that now, because I'm curious. Uh, I need to reset the room to try that, though. So if we put, like, this on... Yeah, you can't do that with- it. that's exactly what it is. This room is clearly designed to be a royal pain in the ass when you don't have the high jump boots. I think they really anticipate players not figuring them out first. So, I have effectively made this easier on myself by having them. Uh, no doubt about it. Of course, that does kind of work. There, there's probably a point where you need the high jump boots, if I had to guess. Because otherwise, like, the speedrun might skip those. <laughs> which would also mean skipping the sword, which would make the section horrible. I haven't watched that part of the speedrun yet, intentionally, because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. And of course, there's that platform, which is at a very unfortunate height, and I can't do anything about it. And if I go to the right, then I get wrapped. I probably already tried magic here, but I'll try it anyway. I'm out of magic, though. Feels like I already have all the progression, but also... I'm kind of giving myself conflicting signals here with, like, it seems like they're intending you to not have these boots yet. Or the shoes, the Perusa shoes. And yet... It feels like to get to the top of this room, I'm gonna need them. I don't think it matters where you fall there. I think I tried dropping that platform to yeah, and it didn't really do anything interesting. Be able to oh well, no, I guess I can't. I was like thinking that I should be able to stay on that platform, but maybe not. Let me reset the room anyway. 
at some point I'm probably gonna have to reset because magic. Okay, no, that's what I thought. You don't get pushed off here. That also doesn't do anything useful. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There's one thing that I'm wary of, but it would require... It would require doing a lot of shit, and it would also require the high jump. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure I have to go from this side. That's a good first step. I actually make this... Nope. I don't know if that's supposed to work or not. It feels like that's the only way to make that work. Just from a timing perspective. Yeah, right, this is where the one way... Yeah, so I have to go from that side. That's not what I wanted to do. Although, I don't think it matters. I just always set while I'm here. Uh, right, we want to be down here. I didn't have the right shoes on anyway, so it's just as well. Time that right from the beginning. I don't think you can make that. And if you can't make that, then I think maybe you do actually need the high jump. I was thinking you'd be able to go that route without the high jump. But I've tried that a couple times now, and I'm pretty sure I ended up with the same timing on it. <laughs> Actually, should I go this way? This is probably actually slower. I mean, it loops quickly enough anyway. That's bad. I want to reset that. I don't trust being able to stand on the top if I do that wrong. There we go. Nope, too late that time. Set any of the platforms. Shouldn't have done that. Alright. Good news is I didn't take much damage. Given that I just put the wrong shoes on anyway. Oh, I don't have the high jump, so I couldn't avoid picking that up. I have to remember to switch back again. Don't want to be there. I don't. I don't know 
know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try to wait for it to go over. Okay, we did it. Now, what did I actually want to do over here? I want to do something very specific over here, but I also need these shoes. <sighs> I'm gonna slow this, slow this down. I want to get a little used to what the pace is first. Oh, I fucked it up anyway. Yep, fucked it up anyway. Gotta do it again. What I want to try doing... I might... I don't know if I can... I don't know if I still have any hope of getting it. Yeah, I wanted to try basically doing it from, like, that angle on, on the second one and seeing if it's close enough, but I'm not sure it is. Oh, fuck that up anyway. Actually, what am I doing? I can just go this way. What I'm doing is probably not even worth trying. But seriously, it's like the only idea I have at this point. would have been it, but I went too far to the left. And, but even so, like, I would have had to have gone one unit left, and, like, that doesn't work. I'm pretty sure climbing doesn't work that way. The only thing that you would be able to climb from is from the, the leftmost platform, and that immediately falls too low for you to be able to climb. So I, I don't think that's the right idea. Let me try slowing it down over here, actually. Yeah, by then it's, it's already too low. You, you cannot avoid that. At this point, I want to double-check that there isn't anything else out here that I haven't done. But I'm pretty sure this was... Yeah, this is the only thing here. Like, this was the new place we had gotten to, was right here. So, like, Falter, Falter is the place to be. Allegedly. But I sure as hell have no idea what they want me to do here. <clears throat> so we are once again in a bad situation of conveyance. Maybe I should be jumping for, uh, for air currents. But it, it, it still strikes me as very suspicious how, like, there are clearly non-high jump and with high jump paths through this room. Although, it seems like the non-high jump paths are extremely limited. Because I don't know how I would get across the, the ramp section without high jump. That seems impossible. And I can get over, like, I can, I can move across this way, but again, I don't see a reason to do it, really. Like, you can do that. Big, big deal. You could also get to this from below, because you can climb up right there. There's all this other fun-looking stuff on the top of the room that I can't even get to. Didn't this one sink all the way to the bottom? Yeah, it did. But not, not in a way that seems useful at all.
And in here I was hoping maybe we would finish the game tonight, but no, I was heavily underestimating the lack of conveyance. Wow, barely made that. So you can do it twice. It can't happen if I want to go to bed. I suppose you could arguably use this platform to get across that without the high jump. Although, no, you can't, because you can only lower the left one. So, never mind. That... <laughs> I'm still trying to, like, reconcile this room without high jump, and I... It, I still can't. That was fascinating. I actually got through there without even switching boots. That was interesting. Where you are there, it sends you back. It's too bad that I don't have lightning anymore. I have this thing, but you can't really trust this to hit things. I feel like it's time to look at a map again. And see if there's... Oh. Press that button first. Um, and see if there's anything about this area that I, that I should be noticing that I'm not noticing. Faltering and falter, it's more likely than you think. Alright, hang on. Uh, make that bigger. Uh, make sure this is pointing to the right thing. Why is that window so big? I don't know. It's weird. Like, the OBS window for the browser was oddly huge. Um, okay. Uh, this wraps so you can pro- even with the chat in the way, you can probably still see enough of it. Um... So what are we looking at? Obviously the spikes are right there, very very clear down here. Um, there's your invisible wall that we get kept keep getting pushed back by. <laughs> there is air for the entire bottom section there. They make it look like there's no air here. I could have sworn I've tried that. I could have sworn I've tried that. I don't believe this. Hang on a second. Sorry, for some reason, DOSBox wigs out with this game's performance when I move my mouse, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that isn't completely correct. <laughs> I'll try it. Uh, because... Where is that, actually? That's not here, is it? No. It's further to the left. It's over where this gap is. Yeah, it's here. It's here? Yeah, so it's missing that bit. It's like, I knew I've tried that. I knew that couldn't possibly be right. It's like, <laughs> they ran out of blue ink. And they couldn't draw enough air lines. Um... Yeah, it, it almost looks like maybe they drew the left... Well, like... The airline... Why, is my mouse not showing up? Now it is! Okay, so mouse is over bottom center. 
it looks like they just drew this line too far down. Like, it should actually be, like, up here or something. Um... But is there anything else? Oh! Wait, there's two invisible walls. There's an interesting air current above the first invisible wall. The problem being, I don't know how to get up there. I'm not seeing any other kinds of, uh... Like, the only thing I'm seeing is invisible wall indicators. There's another mistake on the map. <laughs> Great. Well, there's one other map that I could check, but it might be a little more spoilery because it's like the it's it's the speedrun notes map that sort of indicates the speedrun route. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming, like, okay, am I at least cor correct that I should be in this room at this point? There's nothing else for me to do anywhere else? Given that, like, this is the one place that that locked door basically led me to? They'll say this, I don't need a map. <laughs> what the heck is that? In other words, the map isn't gonna help? <laughs> it's not like last time where, whoops, there's, an invis there's a wall that's not really a wall. Which is basically the reason I came to the map. Alright, so let's get out of there. Oh, don't use skill issue on me. I mean, it's more than a skill issue if I'm, like, blatantly not realizing there's something I can do that I haven't done. There's one jump I'm not doing. Yeah, I figured- I figured that's kind of what you meant by that. And I can't help but think it has to do with this vine over here. It's either this vine or that one other platform that seems impossibly high up against the other vine. Those are- those are my two... Those are the two things that have been bugging me the most. Where was that other vine? Oh, I should probably reset the room. That actually- what? That worked. I did not expect that to work. Because that was... Wasn't that too... Okay, that didn't work, though. What? <clears throat> Why did that other jump work? That other jump was from two units away. And climbing from two units away was something I thought was impossible. High jump... Oh, great! Weird stuff with vines. As if we needed more of that. I've definitely seen some weird things happen with vines once or twice, and, like, there are certain types of, like, vine jump climbs that I've thought were kind of inconsistent. That one didn't work. Can I, can I make this work from here? Okay, yeah, that one worked. How many units away even was that? Alright, so yeah, that thing that I was trying earlier that I gave up on because I thought it was, like, way too convoluted to be worth it, uh, might actually be what I need to do. It only happens on a one-unit basis because you can't jump high. Oh, does it have to do with, like, during the ascent of your jump or something? But does it... The other thing I'm wondering is, does it have to do with the bottom of the vine? Because, like, I felt like I... Well, that time it didn't work either, so now I'm actually very confused. Hang on. Fortunately, I can just test this with this over and over again. Cause, like, can I get you to drop something? Good. That way, that guy won't bother me anymore. All right, so I'm gonna try this from here again. Whoop! I didn't, I didn't hold left. So that time that worked. Did I hold left too long before? Yes. If you keep holding left, it doesn't work. And that might be what my problem was earlier. 
Yeah, there's definitely timing to it. Because if you if you let go a left too early, you won't reach the vine. If you let go a left too late, you won't grab onto the vine. Like, that was too early. That was fine. So yeah, my, my assumption about, like, having to be right next to the vine was wrong. Let me, like, intentionally do too late again. Yeah, if you hold left through that, you just won't grab it. What if I'm closer? Okay, that works too. All three of those work. So, like, it's not just the bottom of the vine. Because that was that was the other thing I was thinking, was did it have to do with the bottom of the vine? But nope. It is, it is input timing. Like you're saying, it's 100% input timing. Okay, so I know what I have to do. And this also makes more sense as to why you were calling this the tri tricky jumping section. Because you do have to do the bottom portion first. I stopped doing that because I thought I was wasting my time, along with everyone else's. But nope, apparently that ridiculous idea I had was right, and I didn't know it was right. I assumed it was wrong. Alright, so we gotta do this nonsense again. And I mean, at that point... It does seem like, yeah, you 100% are expected to have the high jump boots here. And I guess you are expected to have that... ...prior to getting, you know, like, prior to getting to the second town. So, maybe I... <laughs> maybe I did actually have a lucky guess and they weren't gonna give me any more conveyance than they did. That jump is harder on PC-88, in your opinion. There's another platform you want to just rage quit on. Uh, I am very curious to see if the speedrun somehow manages to skip this. I can't imagine it does, but if it doesn't, I highly suspect that a lot of would-be runners and board boosters might rage quit in this room. Uh, we shall see once I finish this and can actually watch the rest of the speedrun. Oh, well, that's a good start. Real good start. Did I? No, I did switch to that before. Why am I timing this wrong every time now? I'm gonna be completely out of health. Like, honestly, I'm tempted to, like, reset entirely, but... Oh, I guess I'm picking that up, too, because I switched boots early. Hey, happy camper! <laughs> uh, a good morning, I assume, in your time zone. So, uh, the story of- the story of where I am now is, I- Oh, actually, you can answer the question, does the speedrun have to do this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what this room is. So the funny story about this room is I actually had the right idea, but didn't know it worked. I assumed it wouldn't work, after trying it once. That was too late. Uh, let me go to the left, the left is faster. You do have to... So, uh, so... Well, you, you were in Zarek's stream earlier. I, I have... I have to see Zarek try this room. Because Zarek was already not happy with the platforming back in the gold area. And I actually enjoyed that, that bit. The bit with, like, the, the two chains on the left and the one chain on the right or whatever. I like that room. I think that's cool. Uh, Zarek did not have a fun time with that. So when he gets here... I have to see what happens. Okay, that drops another one, so it's out of my hair for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> now, is is this? I mean, you probably had several things in mind when you said you have no. When you posted that GIF of you have no idea what you're in for. Uh, but this room is, is definitely a thing where I uh, can understand that message. Oh, I gotta do- I gotta do the after timing again. What? Well, I screwed that up somehow. I, like, tripped over it. I thought I was gonna sail right over. That's what usually happens when I do that. Uh... Uh... Get back on 
here, get over here. Don't fall down there. I should I should honestly I should honestly probably heal. This whole dungeon is horrible casual. Yeah, so last night I uh, I wasted all my time not knowing there was a false wall because none of the NPCs talked about a false wall. Tonight um, there were a couple of interesting air currents, I think. And then there were a couple of destructible blocks that could have really used conveyance. And I found the first one, but then I went on a wild goose chase throughout all of Absor, looking for something to do to get to the other side, not knowing there was actually just another destructible block, like, five feet away. So that's the, that's the night in review. And I, I guess you could also argue... Yeah, right, the triple door. Triple door is actually the worst thing, because no other door in the game does that. Holy crap. And also, I guess you can argue that the, um, the whole thing of getting these boots, knowing to do that. I was originally thinking maybe I got those early and I wasn't actually supposed to get those until I was in the next town and the NPCs would hint at it, but nope, doesn't seem like it. Seems like I needed those for this room. Which is, but it's interesting though because there's definitely some paths in this room that feel like that that are clearly designed for not needing them, but then there's also also the paths that do need them. So oh, that's not what I want to do. I actually managed to back out of the menu on speed nine. Somebody alert Zarek. Oh god, I forgot to switch boots. It, everything is terrible. All right, we're going back. Yeah. The the triple door, like... I don't even know what possessed me to go back through that door. And then I went back through it, and I'm like, this isn't where I came from, what? Because, uh, I mean, there's really no reason to even bother trying to go through that door. You would instinctively go somewhere else. Uh, okay, no, that's what we want. Okay, now we're there. Uh, okay, that wasn't too late. Now the question is, is this going to work or not? Let's just make sure we hold both buttons. That worked, and then I fucked it up anyway. All I had to do was not press up for another tick, and I would have been fine. I like that you can jump over Almas with the, the... Like, that's possibly the best use of the high jump, is to jump over Almas. No, I was too late. Oh, you gotta be kidding, dude. Wow. Okay, there. I think I only managed to skip that on virtue of it not spawning in yet. Yeah, I have not been to the other town yet. I really don't want to be here. I, this is a bad place to be, and I should try to get back on this. Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't know if there's a way to recover that. Do that from there, then that's fine. That might be too early. Nope, we're fine. Okay. Uh, I actually forgot how I do this jump from from here now. This is supposed to be the easy part, isn't it? There we go. Alright, so now we need to go over here. I need the high jump shoes. The, the big question here is, like, just how do I... Actually, you know what? There might be multiple places I can approach this from. And I honestly wonder if I didn't need to do all that. But, uh, let's, let's try it, and let's slow things down. Uh... I don't really know what the hell I'm doing here. Nope, I, okay, you have to be on the middle platform. If you're not on the middle platform, then you're already descending from your jump, and that's too late. 
Oh my god, I recovered it. <laughs> Alright, now what? Oh, there's a platform coming from over there. Okay, so we need to take the platform to the left. Ugh. I should probably speed it up again, because my inputs are probably gonna get messed up. Let me actually do that. That platform is kind of fast. I am I am not feeling good about that. Fortunately, I can stay here, and I should... Yeah, I shouldn't get moved. Uh, okay. I can't get up there from here. I need to get in that... Oh, 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 oh I don't like this. I see what they're thinking here. I don't like that guy up there either. And unfortunately, I, I used all my lightning. And I can't rock him from here. Oh wait, if he falls off, that'll work. There we go, alright, problem solved. And you definitely need high jump here. Alright, I remember seeing that. I'm just gonna keep that there? Because that can't possibly do me any favors. Alright, uh, we can go up or down. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep going up. No! What? <laughs> You jerk. Alright. Uh, well, I need to reset the room now. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I did keep going up. I needed- to, I just got Alex trebek by the video game. The video game was like, well, you didn't- you weren't more specific, so up you go. managed to barely salvage that. I was like, I needed to be holding the buttons as soon as I hit enter. Alright. The worst part of this is the, is the first jump. Because the first jump has to set up for the second jump. Oh. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try this from over here. No, not like that. Now I'm probably sunk. I- you can do it! I don't have to do all that! Holy shit! Alright, cool. I like this now. <laughs> Imagine not having to do all the bullshit. Alright, so we have a few- that- that makes this so much better, knowing I don't have to do all that. Uh, so, do we try going this way? Oh, I literally can't. All right, that answers that question. <sighs> Is there a current that goes over there? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, we're doing it again. I should try doing them full, well, full speed. I should try doing them five speed. Now that I know that I can do it that way, and now that I know what it entails. Sure, nothing to it. We're ready for the speed run now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna die so many times. On the freak I, I haven't so I haven't watched the speed run past Correr. Once I saw the skip in Correr, I was like, alright, I'm going back to the <laughs> back to the the play the playthrough is no longer on ice. It wasn't on ice since the since two areas before three areas before that technically, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's try down here actually. I did not try go- Oh, this is that platform. Okay. What does that do? Wait, can hit Wish Vine from the ground. You're not talking about the one that's been the crux of this whole thing, right? Oh god, I don't like- I don't like the looks of this. And you can get pushed off by this, too, to make it even worse. So you've got to, like, time it. 
Oh no. Uh oh, now I'm over here. Well, I don't have a beat now. You're saying from here? Is that really possible? Oh my god, it is. You just need to know the right pixel. That's way too far left. Uh, I might have... I might have stopped holding left too early. Oh, man. I should have switched shoes when I saw that was gonna happen. Now, now I want to get this, uh, platformless. Not that one. That was too far right. One more to the left and I think it'll do it. But yeah, no, uh, Edmund's uh, Ilman's observation, rather, uh, might be really helpful for the speedrun. That didn't work? That seems too far left. How many, you know what, I should, I should count how many units I jump, uh, up. I think it's four. I don't, I don't think I can stop my left movement at that point. Oh, maybe I can. That, that would be four, but maybe it was more than that. So, okay, that would be there. That's five. Might actually be five. So I need to be one to the right of this, at least. I tried this one before, though. I feel like it's gotta be one of these two. That's too far to the left. Yeah! <laughs> So, we gotta try it from this one. That didn't work yet? Why? That feels like it's too close to it, but the other one felt like it was too far away. It's gotta be one of those two, right? Like, now, now I just- now I wanna science this out for the run, dude. And for my own repeatability, because I'm probably going to be here a while. So I tried this one, it felt too close. This one felt too far. Like, clearly there's something I still don't understand. About the climbing. Where, where was the one that I was able to, like, test it on? That was over here. So that works fine. Even if you're directly below it, it's fine. Can I do it with this one? I'm not sure I can. I don't think I can do it with that one. Oh, didn't, didn't really want to do that. Yeah, this is this should be high enough to do it. And I feel like this should be the right place to do it from. Uh let me slow it down. I might I might just be timing it wrong. Like, I'm probably just timing the up input wrong. <clears throat> you grew up with this as a kid? What country went out of curiosity? I mean, like, having played the DOS version, I'm gonna... I, my, my guesses could be wider. I feel like, well... 
PC-88 probably was unheard of outside Japan, I guess. But, um, in the U.S., okay. I'm, like, getting, like, Amiga and stuff in my head in terms of, like, you know, things that people, or Turbo Graphics, in terms of, like, things that people in other countries are more likely to have played. But this was probably just, like, too early for, for my time. I can't remember what your... My family got our first computer. Huh. Yeah, our first computer was already a 386, I believe. Um, we definitely played Wolfenstein 3D when I grew up, and that was only, what, a couple... Actually, wait. Was Wolfenstein... What year was Wolfenstein? I actually forget. Was that before or after this? Alright. Uh, let's try it again. I want to science this out. I might be pressing it too late? Oh, wait, but I should be... Sh I, no, I'm pressing... Or I'm not letting go of left. That's my problem. Almost guaranteed that's my problem. I didn't want to pick that up. Wait, did I not... I didn't switch shoes. That's why I picked that up. Well... I'm probably not letting go of left at the right time. Uh, we want that. We want to switch this. That was still too late, apparently. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but actually it's fine for that, as long as I don't get shot. And that guy did not shoot at all, actually. I want to say we... Hmm. I don't know if we had a 486 by the time Doom came out or not. But we did- my dad was always obsessed with, like, having as much RAM as possible, at least. And I think he got, like, a- there was, like, a, a math coprocessor or something, I think, that he had bought for the 386 to, to accompany the 386 at some point. Uh, alright, so I need to switch this down again. I am not getting this, dude. <laughs> I don't know what the- I don't know what the required input is, but I am not getting it this way right now. I- I gotta- for the time being, I gotta go back to doing it the other way. Otherwise, we're never gonna get through this room. Uh... Oh, I landed right on that. See, I got that one without even trying. Alright, let me reset the room for now. Basically run and just hold up. I think I think the key for me is I'm probably not stopping holding left at the right time. And that was the thing I discovered before was like, if you're still holding the direction, you won't start like the left or right direction, you won't start climbing. I have no problem getting it from that way seemingly though. Yeah, that, would, that was too close. I wouldn't have been able to make that. That was, that was still kind of questionable. Alright, so what haven't we done here now? I spent so long trying to science that and failing. I don't think I want to go that way. Well, wait, didn't I? I forget, was there an air current here? Yeah, there was. Um, doesn't that just get... That basically just gets me back to the same place I was anyway, though, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that was the keep going up area before. Right, right, right. So, both, both things lead to that. Which is interesting. Oh, that was... Did you stop doing that? But at some point, you go too far this way. It's when you see that door. You get blown away from that door. Oh, or or I guess there's that. That too. I should have I should have guessed that would happen. Like duh, of course. Uh can I do this again? Probably not. I not quite. I don't think I I didn't get enough height on that. Oh, 
Oh, that was extremely wrong. <laughs> I was I was all all over the keyboard in that one. Oh well, that's bad. I, I still want to get this to work. Oh well, now now we're down here again. Crap. I was getting it every time, and now I'm not, and now I'm worried. There we go. I need to pay attention to where I'm starting that jump. Because, it, like, same, basically the same thing goes there as for the platformless version, I imagine. Uh, I thought I was further over than I was. Trust that. I don't think there's any reason to ever take that down. That would that would just be sad. So I can go either this way or from the other side to get up there. Because I can I can ride the current up that way. I wouldn't even be able to get on that vine if I wanted to. But the interesting thing is there's another platform up on the other side of that, too. I don't think I want to go this way. I wish I still had lightning so I could check for blocks. It does seem weird that that happens. Let me try something. Aha! Uh -huh. I tried heading as far left as possible there, and that got me over here. Oh right, but this is where I was before, I forgot. I've been here once. I thought that I thought the current blew me to the right last time. I don't know. Game's messing with me. Alright, so now we gotta do this again. So how many cycles do we have to get that? Probably... I can't believe I keep missing that. I still don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, it's, it's surprising that they make the current that specific. Alex Trebek strikes again. I think there's probably a leeway there. In terms of a couple of, of units of space. Almost messed that up. Uh, wait, so I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Sure, we do that as far left as possible. As soon as I'm on the top platform, I should be able to take my time. That's gonna be the bad. S no. Now we're getting to the bad cycle next. I think I still have a shot at this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now what? I don't want to be up there, do I? Pretty sure I don't want to be up there. Okay. Now the question is, which way? I'm gonna guess that this is the wrong way. It's not the wrong way! Oh my god, we can go in here. Uh... Why did the music stop? 
I think. Okay, the game just nearly crashed, but we're there. Don't know what that was about. Is that is that typical? <laughs> uh Alright, so presumably I've been down here. I th yeah, okay, this is this is the upper Look at all those dudes dancing up there, holy crap. Now where am I? I've been here, haven't I? I'm fairly certain I've been here. I think the place we haven't been is down there. Nope, I've been here too. Where haven't I been? I am confused. And I need a break. So let me take a break, and then, uh, you know what? I might do a full reload just so I can get my magic back, too. We know what we have to do. <laughs> uh, to get back. And then I don't know what I have to do when I get back. Okay. Let's see if we can get up there again. Uh... Alright, so where the heck am I? I am unfortunately down here, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta do this again. How far back did I set my- I set myself almost the whole way back by doing this. Yeah, I wish I could get up there again. Alright, and now... We're doing again now? Oh, this is, this is the place with the frickin' blocks. Yeah. See, that is such a rude place for a block to be, because, like, it's actually hard to get to it to destroy it. Like, I, I destroyed it using lightning last time. And what I just did is probably the only other way to destroy it. And then that one's easy. That one you can do from either side. And then, because, like, this... Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, I guess we're healing anyway. That's okay, we're, we're safe over here. But, like... Even right there before this door... Is a section where I was like... Clearly this platform is there to accommodate people who don't have the high jump. And, but once you get in this cave, you need high jump. Yeah, jeez, we got a freaking brain sandwich. I shouldn't need that much health for Falter Cave itself, but I don't know what's coming after it, so... Alright, so we're back here. We need to do this again. Uh, I have the shoes on, yep. That was... I was too far to the left when I did that. I didn't jump far right enough. That time I didn't hold left. <laughs> did not hold left. How did I manage to jump in front of the door like that, though? That was pretty good. That shouldn't have worked. Oh my god, dude. Now I can't get it. I took a break, and now I don't know how the hell I got up there. 
I'm glad you can get it from this side, though, because having to do the bottom section would be awful. Oh, come on. I'm waiting too long to do the other... to do the... the turnaround. Oh, yeah, of course, that actually works. I, like, have to get myself out of the habit of assuming that won't work. There we go. So, I'm actually kind of- I don't have to go over there. I'm actually kind of curious to try something slightly different at the end of this room. Assuming I can get there again. Oh, that would have been- well, no, maybe that wouldn't have been the cycle. Wait. That felt like it cycled between totally overlapping and totally not overlapping faster than I expected it to. Full recovery, bro. Alright, um... And we have to go this way. <laughs> not that way. That was incredibly not smart. Uh, fortunately, I can just redo this. This is actually not that bad. They actually did something nice for players here and gave you... Oh, I don't trust that. That might have barely worked. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just take that. <laughs> don't jump onto that platform. Uh, now I have to do this again. Alright, now we're back here. There we go. Uh, which way did I have to go last time? I had to go this way. I just have to wait for it to come back out. Did I even need a duck there? Because I feel like I ducked too late, honestly, if the duck was required. Alright, we know we can go in here. The thing that I'm not sure of is I kind of thought there were... Weren't there two blue doors? I feel like there were two blue doors, and, like, maybe I should actually go and check the other side. Um, so, down there is where we don't want to go, though. That lands down there. Alright, that doesn't do anything. Honestly, I should have prioritized this guy now. But again, I'm pretty sure I've been here? Yeah, wasn't this... This was the start of the other section. This cave is something, dude. Milagro There's like three different cycles through this cave or something. At least. Maybe more. Don't want to go down there. Is there anything else over here that would be of interest? I, I don't know how that didn't hit me. No, I don't think there is anything else of interest. That would all be backtracking. You know, you know what we haven't done? Alright, let me confirm this. This should have two blue guys. Yes. You know what we haven't done, though? And you know what this section is reminding me of? We haven't gone through this door to see if it goes to the same place we came from. It actually went to the same place we came from. Damn, foiled. Hey, aces. Yeah, that that's the one that's a miracle. Yep. Okay, so the other thing I want to do here, which is probably going to end horribly... Oh my god, yeah... Hmm? Hmm... Hmm... I haven't been here. That's the other door. We're in Milagro again! I like how it landed on that guy and waited for him. Uh, let's just take a look over here first. <laughs> Shashin really doesn't want you to fit. Yeah? 
Jashin really doesn't want you to visit him, and the last visitor told him to blow it out his ass. And he took them literally. That's why we're here. Oh, I was, I was hoping we would win at Columns, but no, not quite. Alright, I guess I'm going over here. What? There's just a brain chilling out over there? There's a key over here. Oh my god, this key has been taunting me for like 10 hours or something. At least they just give it to you. Can I not hit this guy from this level? I shouldn't have woke him up. Because I'm not going to be able to reach him. Oh, actually, if he goes all the way over there, we might be fine. Oh my god. So yeah, the trick here is actually to kill enough dudes so you can actually get across. No. Oh, okay. They... I like how after all of that nonsense, they put the key to the boss room right here. That's the XP form? Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Good luck, yeah. I want to try something first. Oh, you can get back from there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not that I think that helps me. I really would have liked there to be a shortcut. Because this is basically, like, the approach in Area 7. Except I don't think there's going to be a skip for this one. So if you fail, you got to do all of it over. Look at how much Almas I have right now. Not that I need gold at all, but, like, it's it's just fun. Wow, cool. I actually got up there. Alright, let's stay all the way over here. I'll, I'll recover the health back. I do have a ton of items. I should probably eat the items. I have... What do I have? Two, I think I have two Saber Oils... Yeah, two Saber Oils, two Juin Fruits, and a Magia Stone. Let's see what we're up against. Wait, why did... Why is it a third of the way dead already? I didn't even know I attacked it. I think I hit space by accident. Did anybody get a license number on that bird? I, I guess we'll do that. It's almost dead, holy shit. Okay! Cool! Why are they giving me a full heal? Yeah, that, that was a glass cannon bird. Was not expecting a glass cannon. But now my concern is... When do I get to save? Also... We still haven't visited the second town. <laughs> Thanks for the clip. Yeah, I think I have a couple other things marked down. But I need to clip. Okay. Cavern of Final, or Final. So the funny thing is I do have an extra key. But why is that locked? <laughs> Didn't I just come through there? I seriously did skip the, the other town? Good lord. Okay. Well, I mean, I can open that door anyway, because I just got the key. That's, that's nasty that there's an entire hidden town, basically. <laughs> It's another bad conveyance point. Oh, 
Oh dear. So... There's two locked doors in this area, there's one key. If I didn't have the extra key, could I actually lock myself out of the end of the game, or does that other door say you can't open it anyway? I didn't, I didn't check, and I don't think I want to at this point. Although I guess it doesn't matter, because I have the extra key. It, it says you can't go back? Okay. That's why you said point of no return. Okay, well, the good news is I only used one item. I don't like where- I don't like the fact that I have no lightning magic, and, uh, only a third of my shield, but I guess we're trying this. Finally, you reached me. I enjoyed your show. Come on, I'll kill you. I don't know- wait, I'm not gonna be able to- I'm not going to be able to do this, though. Don't I need, like, the special sword? I don't think I have the right sword for this. I think I'm doomed. Also, I can't see him. Is- is- Oh, hi. Wait, that hurt him. Didn't we need, like, a fairy sword or something? Allegedly. Okay, he hurts a lot. Oh, you can heal? You shit. This is probably where you need the final sword. Wait, this is the fairy sword? It just says enchantment sword. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use that. I'm dead. He's dead, but I'm dead. Who wins? Damn. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well... Guess what? We have to do that whole section again. And it's 1 a.m., so I guess we're trying that tomorrow night. But hey, I've gotten to the end of the game. Minus an entire town that I apparently skipped. Alright, so... Does the speedrun also skip that town? I'm curious now given that apparently I don't need to get to that town. <laughs> yeah, GG, except it didn't count. We gotta do it again. The good news is I know how to get there. Usually skip the town. Does the town... I should... Part of me wants to try to find the town. Maybe I'll look at a map for that. Since, like, otherwise I reach the end of the game. Oops. It has a church? Oh my god, so it's a free- it's a free heal. And best exchanger- you can't save there! Oh, well that's unfortunate. Because, right, there wouldn't be another- there's no- there's no room to have another sage. Like, we've got all the spells. So, even if it did have one, it couldn't teach you anything. Depends on shield value- yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Did I- I didn't pay attention. Did I actually lose my shield, or did I just get clobbered and it didn't matter? I suspect I got clobbered and it didn't matter. It- cause like, I- when I was taking damage, I still had the shield there. It never told me- I never saw the shield is broken message, so I- I- I assume that Jashin's hitbox is just, um, kind of like, everywhere. <laughs> when you get hit. Uh, so Jashin is something I'm worried about for the speedrun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I- I think I would have seen them- because, like, even if you die, you would still see the message, I think, and I didn't see the message. Really bad if you- I mean, it seems bad enough for- for the- I can see for the bird wanting the shield. I have a feeling the shield probably saved my ass during the bird fight. But man, that's- that's rough if the- if the town I didn't find doesn't even let you save there anyway. Because, like, the entire point would be to, like, cut your travel time, so you don't have to do all of that over again, because that's a lot. Ugh, and there's no- there's no avoiding that, so we're gonna have to do it. <laughs> At least I know what to expect, and, like, I got most of the way there. 
I... I was wondering if the enchantment sword was the last sword, but I was assuming that there was going to be, like, some upgrade to the enchantment sword that made it into the fairy sword or whatever they were talking about. Because they called it something completely different. Finding the town skips one platform. <laughs> okay, one platform. That's oddly specific. Does that mean you... Does that mean there's, like, a back door out of the town? And it leads into, like, Falter or something? I'm, I'm gonna be curious. You know what? Let's look at the map right now. Maybe they had to shorten the name. I mean... Yeah, I forget if it was three words originally. Like, Fairy Flame Sword or something. But they could have just done Fairy Sword. But yeah, I, w I would assume weird translation things. Let's look at the maps anyway, because I'm curious. And, like, at this point... <laughs> I might as well, like, if anything, I would go to the last town just to see what people say there, but, like, clearly there's not even any value in me going there. Because <laughs> I already have, like, everything. And if you can't go back after beating the eighth boss... It's funny because, like... I, w I remember saying that, like, my assumption was that the, the final tier, like, the, the middle thing was gonna just be, like, a final bit. But I assumed there would be a break before the final bit. Not like, literally, nope, you're doing two bosses in a row. A false ceiling with air current. Hmm. A false ceiling with air... So they did do a false ceiling. Those bastards. I, w <laughs> I was thinking the only thing we hadn't seen was a false ceiling. And then items started falling out of them. But no, seriously, like, in terms of, like, actual, like, progression... Good lord. Wait, so do you actually get to it from underneath where I had already been? Or is it from somewhere completely different? Let's 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 look. You bring up the maps. Um where did I even see it? I was right there. Is that Milagro or is that Yeah, that is Milagro. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I see it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a jerk move. Um, oh, let me, I can make the browser a little bigger, and then, alright, so my, my cursor's at the bottom center right now, there's an arrow right there. So yeah, that, and I was even talking about how it was trolling us from three different cardinal directions that we were able to see Esco from, but not get to it. And, well, turns out you can get to it from there. Yeah, number of times that uh, Aomond has wanted me to just jump. Uh, you can fall to the th wait from Mil. Oh. Yeah, I was like, what the heck am I looking at here? That's that's the three-way door. That's hilarious. And that was on the right side of it. Was the three-way door? That wow. Like, I don't think I even realized that was on the right side of it. That's so awful. That, like, the way that you would expect to progress to it from the right... Nope. You, you can't progress to it the normal open-air direction. You have to take a closed course that is probably not marked whatsoever. They really needed to do, like, some kind of visible tell for destructible and false blocks in cases like that. Because that's, that's beyond unreasonable. Alright, um, how hard would it be to get there? Like, I'm not gonna do it tonight, but, like, it might be something worth looking at. Where did I get to the underside from? I actually forget. I remember being at the underside, but I don't remember when. Oh, you do get to it from the three-way door. Because you can climb up over there. So, <laughs> that's so rude! Dude, alright, we're looking at this again. Like, you're seriously gonna come in the one door down here. Go d Instead of going up and to the left, which would be the obvious thing to do, given the layout of the map, you're gonna go down and around, and then up. Through a ceiling. It's like... <laughs> 
They probably came back to this after doing the falter map, and, and they were like, no, hang on, we haven't made the game rude enough, what else can we do? I know, we can make the last town look impossible to get to. You don't come from there, you come from lower? Oh, really? I need to look at where it, ma uh, where it wraps, then. Oh, is it from the green door? Oh, right, well, okay, yeah, initially you come from the green door, right? Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I'll... Maybe, maybe we'll look at that tomorrow, before doing... <laughs> uh, corpse runs to the final boss again. That's real unfortunate. Alright, so yeah, we're, we're not we're not done with this yet, but hopefully we can finish it off tomorrow, we know what we have to do. Not die is what we have to do, but I mean, getting there, we know what we have to do. Um, so we've got we've got a couple of order of businesses tonight. Obviously, I double KO'd the boss la the final boss last night, so we have to do that entire approach over again, except for one tiny piece of it that we technically don't have to do because going to the final town skips it. Um, and we have to go to the final town. I've never seen the final town. I never found the entrance because it is 100% not conveyed whatsoever. It is literally through a secret ceiling that doesn't actually exist. It's the only time the game has done a fake ceiling. There's been false walls in a couple of places, but fake ceilings, that's new. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a jerk move on the game's part, but also apparently you can't save in the last town anyway. But, just in case you weren't already tripping over money to begin with by this point, apparently the exchange rate in the last town is even better. Hey Quill, welcome back. Um, but yeah, let's let's set out, let's see how well I remember how to get where I need to get in here. See if we can, uh, look through that last town a bit, and then see if we can actually finish this thing off. Um, oh, hang on, I gotta restore the timer. I have, I have the field filled in, I just didn't hit the button that restored it. Alright. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get moving. Uh, skedaddle out of the town first. Alright, so where am I going? First we gotta go up here. Yeah, maybe maybe by the time Zarek is back I will have actually done this successfully. This one, this first of many jumps that we have to do. Okay, I actually beat that guy up correctly, so that's an improvement. But yeah, it's kind of funny, because, like, another another thing that I do is, like, sometimes I'll, I'll actually look at my other screen over here, but it'll look like I'm looking at the camera with my other eye. <laughs> so it's, like, it's actually kind of a win-win. Life hack, don't... Oh, I forgot the duck, god damn it. Uh, life hack, don't have, uh, don't have binocular vision. And we just got killed by lobsters, let's just, let's just reload. Not quite chameleon powers, but sort of, I guess. Uh, alright. I started early tonight, that way I can, like, take the first entire half hour just to, like, warm up and focus. Because apparently I can't focus right now. Uh, alright. Try this again. It's very precise to time, like, raising the platform up to block that guy and be able to kill him easily. You have to hit up on, like, a specific tick. Hey, Mike. Alright. Wait for that to come over. No, I... I swore I was holding down. I think I might have accidentally pressed down and up at the same time. Alright, let me just go back. Alright, we actually got back so I can reset this. I pressed up too soon, so I ended up jumping instead of raising the platform. Alright. 
There, that's, that's, okay, so the problem is I need to walk forward a bit. There we go. That way I can cross that easily. If I, if I'm not all the way forward on that platform, I tend to mess up the crossing. I think we go this way now. And now we get shooped up into here. Whoops. And now, now where am I going? Now we're going this way. We get over there later. Now we gotta get shooped into here. And hit by that thing way more than I should have been. But it's okay, because we're gonna do something different here now. So this is the section that you can get to the next town from. That I didn't know that, because... Why would you expect... Why would you suspect a ceiling of being fake? But I believe if we go up here... Yeah, there's the door. And then, if we jump somewhere around here... Yeah, there you go. All I had to do was jump there, and boom, we're in the town that I haven't been in. Alright, we get the hype music again. We're so hyped because I found the town that's impossible to find. Do you have doubts? Here there is only slaughter and destruction. What do you expect to accomplish? Man. So sounds like, uh... Sounds about like, uh... Late-stage capitalism or something. Why have the spirits sent you on this journey of slaughter? Why does Jashina wait you in silence? Wait, are they on his side? I'm a little confused. Brave Knight, whenever you're weary, come here. I think this has the same message. So this is the first church we've seen since the beginning of the game. It's interesting how... With inns, it just goes black and then comes back and you have full health, but here it animates the health bar full, and that actually takes a while. <laughs> Pay no heed to those two. They're in league with Jasheen. They're trying to weaken your will. Yeah, no kidding. All right, we've got a bank. All right, so I have been told that the uh, yeah by our strategy. That's a good point. I don't know. I I think supposedly the manual had maps in it, but they might not have been very good, and they probably didn't show you where the false walls were. But that's a good point. I don't know if there were strategy guides for this. So yeah, I was told that the 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 exchange rate here is like the best in the entire game. Okay, it's tied with, uh, was it the third town? I think it was the third town that also had one to eight. Um. Yeah, before I deposit, let me see what kind of stuff we can buy here. Because actually, what I should do, another thing that I have learned is that apparently... So I have two Saber Oils, because I, I bought two because I didn't know... Like, I bought those back when I revisited the seventh town or something, and I didn't know how many uses I would have, you know, how many times I would need to use them. I probably don't need both of those, given that there is no respite between the eighth boss and the final boss. And, um... From what Happy Camper was saying... The both your sword attack and your and the boost that you get from the saber oil both have a zero to two fifty five range. Now here's the thing: when you have the enchantment sword, your sword attack's already two fifty five, and the boost that you get from the saber oil after like one use is already also two fifty five. So using another one, like you can't stack them. In other cases, with uh, with earlier swords in the game, you can actually stack them, and I didn't know that either. Uh, but that's actually something that he does in the speedrun. I think... I forget which boss he did that for. It might have been for the dragon, but it might have even been earlier. Um, so yeah, there's no way in hell that I need two saber oils. So I should go and sell one of them. Now, let's see. Are we going to actually have, like, every item in the game available here? Let's see. Uh, let's sell first. That's a decent price for it, like... Well, actually, I gotta remember, that usually costs a couple thousand or something. Alright, what do we have to buy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a pretty good sign that there's every item in the game. Um, the Kengo Potion, which we haven't seen since, like, the second town. And it costs two here. That's pretty good. Um, you've got the Jewin Fruit, which I'll probably buy another one of those. You've got the Elixir, which is the the lesser MP restoring item, I think. And then the Chikara Powder, I think, is the greater MP restoring item. You've got Magia Stone. 
you've got, the, that's the shield restoration, and you've got saber oil, and you've got the Kyoku feather, which you never want to use in this game. Uh, in this version of the game on DOS. So, I'm probably just gonna buy another one of these. Because, I already have one Magia stone and one saber oil, and I think that's all I'm gonna need. Hey, hey, I mean, yep, yeah, I, I just, uh, got, after, after having to retry, like, the second room of the trek, like, five times, I got to the second town here. By jumping in front of the ivy, rather than going down it, you can open a new road. I'm trying to think what he's even talking about. Is he talking about Falter, or is he talking about the nonsense with the two destructible walls? Like, I don't even know which thing that guy's referring to. Alright, repair the shield. We'll look at what this guy has in his inventory anyway. I don't think there's anything for me to buy, though. Uh, yeah, he has basically everything. I'm assuming he won't even let you... Do I have the titanium shield? I'm pretty sure I do. Because I had the light shield before. Um, so yeah, I have everything. I would assume he wouldn't even let you buy this, the lesser swords, because that would break the game, basically. Look for another door with a blue symbol. If you see it, turn to the right. Oh, that's funny. Because I had to figure, I had to decide that on my own, because I went to the left blue door first at the at the top of Falter, and that was useless. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I remember there being a second one. So that's what that's about. If you fall from a stone and are blocked by a wall, thrust through it with your sword. That's talking about... <laughs> yeah, so you were supposed to... It's interesting, though. Nobody here talked about the the trek to, back to uh, Dorado and whatnot for the the best sword and the, and the jump, the high jump boots. I was expecting somebody here to talk about that. Um, well, I mean, the ivy could be any of the climbable surfaces, though. They're not very specific. <laughs> um... If the wall crumbles away, you'll be on the road leading to the abode of Jashin. Right, so that's that's talking about the one that you have to downstab. The first time I ended up finally breaking that block, I used frickin' lightning for it. And on the subject of lightning, by the time I got to Jashin, I had used up all of my lightning charges. And I'm thinking... what He was playing, like, keep away at the end of that fight. I wonder how much lightning damages him. That might, that might trivialize the last part of the fight. Yeah, like, I have- I figured you're intended to come here before you even get the- the jump shoes. You're talking about the- the lion head key? Yeah, there was something in the first town to, well, there was something in the first town talking about how to get to that. But nobody tells you what it does. That I'm pretty sure you had to figure out on your own. And that's the thing I'm talking about. So yeah, you can't save in here. There is no sage. And yeah, we have the titanium shield right. Um, okay. Well, this is the loadout I want. It's probably not worth going back to save. And now we're here, so we skipped one of those, uh, platforming bits. Uh, this is where we have to go through this door twice. Makes you think the boots and sword were intended before that... I guess. G yeah, given that there's no conveyance for it whatsoever in the second town, and you can certainly get it before then. Alright, so this is where the other chest was. Do I remember where I'm going now? This is the one where we have to break the, uh, the rocks. And I think I have to go up to do that. Whoop. I didn't duck. Yeah, so here, here's the first one, and this is what that guy is talking about. And that's a really hard move to do, because you can't hold up. You have to do, like, upright, and then downstep. Actually, I'm curious about something. Yeah, no, so you have to break that in order to get up here. Even if you have the high jump. Yeah, that's the, that's the brain sandwich part. Ow. 
now. Okay, so now we're in falter. So now we gotta do this nonsense again. I held left too long, I think. I think that would have been good otherwise. Uh, I'm too far away, please, thank you. That guy was off screen and he was still shooting at me. There we go, that worked and that was like as close as you could possibly be to get away with that. Alright, and now I have to go down there. Don't want to do it then. Don't want to do it then either. <laughs> should work. They look like hot dog. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat a half green hot dog. Oh, un I mean, unless you interpret the green on the bottom as mustard, maybe. Uh, I forget. I don't think I'm going up there. I think I'm going down here. Ow, jerk. Uh, yeah, I'm going down here. Because then we gotta do this. Now what was the- alright, this you gotta do the transfer, right. Really? I disagree with that. Uh... oh, now I gotta do this again. Mm. Wait. Wait a minute. Do I really have to do that again? Alright, well, we gotta do the whole room again. I thought there was- I thought there was a failsafe there. I thought you didn't fall all the way down. Like, I, th I thought you could redo just the top part. I'm not sure what happened there. Relish would work, yeah. I did not hold left nearly enough. I'm glad that hit the shield and not me as I turned 90 degrees. Man, I was good at this last night, and I have gotten less consistent instead of more consistent at it as time has gone on. I really want to learn how to do it without the platforms, really. What the hell, dude? What happened there? <laughs> oh, I was- I'm- I'm like ending up on the platform for too long. Maybe I should slow it down. Slow it down when I have to try it, speed it up when I fail it. Uh, do, 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 do. That button. Well, that was bad. There we go. Unfortunately, I just completely missed that platform. I don't trust that. That was like four in a row, dude. That's that's not allowed. Anything more than three in a row is like cheating for these guys. Oh, nice, Mike. Yeah, I, I hope it ends up going well. I did. I, I mentioned I was sending out an application. I did do that yesterday. Nothing yet, but I figured it might not happen until after their deadline for applications. Let's just hope I hear anything whatsoever, because you know. Ghosting people is also, uh, pretty common practice, apparently, in the, uh, tech industry. But I, I think I expect better of these people than to ghost people. I, it depends on how many applications they got, though. Alright, is it the next one that's totally... yeah, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Are you kidding me? I heavily disagree with that. I should have been able to save that from there. I feel like you should be able to get it from either of those two platforms. <laughs> Spamming people shows initiative, go figure. Alright, we got up there quick this time. Whoops. I wish there were a quicker way of doing this part. Because 
I'm really worried about those being, like, in the wrong place where you're gonna get shoved off. Alright, we got that. There we go. And then... I guess we can just take the top one. And then we go right. Uh, I can't get I can't get off there apparently. Okay, we're in. And then this is the last screen, right? Was health somewhere over here? Is it up here? It is up there. Okay. Now, I'm actually curious to try something. We'll see if it works. Alright, so now I should use all of the things. That didn't work. I'm surprised I had worse worse trouble with it. Maybe I shouldn't be jumping. I forget what I did last time. That's actually interesting, though. I did that. So, I was testing out the whole thing where, like, as long as the potion is refilling your health, you're fine. But it does stop eventually. The funny thing is, though, I had, I had an easier time with that boss last night. <laughs> and I was worried that it seemed too easy. Also, hey, Zacky. <laughs> All right, so we got to do it again. Uh, that's that's fine. We know what we have to do. We don't have to waste time talking to the NPCs in the last town this time. I'll probably still make a couple of like item changes though. Uh, let's change that. Let's just hope I can get through this room without it taking five attempts again. But yeah, that's not that's not actually the hard boss that I'm worried about. Wow, I couldn't have timed that worse. I'm getting the timing of that mixed up with some of the later platforms. Time that correctly. I think you can actually, t if you're working at speed five, I think you can actually time some of those swings with the music. Why am I so bad at this one now? <laughs> like, holy crap, this gave me more trouble than anything else in the entire, uh, you know, run up to the last boss. Oh, come on. I delayed like a split second before I press down. I need to just hold down as soon as I fall. No, I don't want any. Go away. Uh, yeah, so about save states. Um, DOSBox X actually supports save states. I tested them earlier today. They seem like they work, but I only tested them in, like, the first area of the game. Uh, but when I switch over to learning to speedrun this, um, I will definitely attempt to use DOSBox X. I'll probably still use... I don't know if there's, like... I don't know how different DOSBox X is from DOSBox itself. Um, I'm probably still going to use DOSBox Vanilla for running, but like for 
learning in practice, I figured DOSBox X might be worth it. Okay. See? There you go. Someone was saying that uh, RetroArch has multiple DOSBox cores as, as well. And I guess... I don't know whether that, like, automatically gets safe state support because everything else in RetroArch has it. But also, I prefer to not use RetroArch as much as possible because I'm um, pretty sure that the the people involved with, with RetroArch have been kind of scummy to, like, the actual developers of the things that RetroArch makes use of. Alright, gotta go over here now. Now we're going up, right? If we want to go to the town, we're going up. Rude? Even more rude? Unfortunately, your speed setting doesn't make this any faster. Alright, what else do we want to do? Exchange. Uh, sell and buy. Should be it? Yeah, that's it. I really wish you could save in that town. It seems really dumb that you don't let you save there. Really rude, at least. Uh, this goes in here. The only three-way door in the game. didn't go according to Keikaku. I'm trying to tap the button as lightly as possible here, and I'm ending up missing the tick. Alright, falter again. You don't even have to climb that, you can just jump across. Alright, well we got back here relatively quick this time.
Just stand there. That works. All right, sure. Um, well, I was in the ground. <laughs> so last time he put me in the ground. This time he put me in the ground, literally. Uh, yes, yeah, so that that doesn't actually do anything. I literally had full health when the boss died that time. In direct contrast to the previous time. So now the question is, can we seal the deal here? Finally, you reached me. I enjoyed your show. Come on, I'll kill you. Not even just knock you over. This guy, this guy beats Garland any day of the week. All right, so he shows up over here first, doesn't he? Is it just a timing thing, or? Oh, there he is. Okay, so his projectiles are, do a lot less damage than he does. I should probably heal. He didn't even get to walk away, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't ask me how he skipped the entire walking away phase, but he did. Hey, it's a big gem this time. Still the same fanfare, though. Yeah, I did. I used the Saber Oil and... I used both Saber Oil and the Magia Stone before I went into the 8th boss. And that carried over. One last Naruto run. Wait, why are we dying anyway? Congratulations, you beat the game, now you died. Brave knight, you have awakened. When you fell at the hand of Jashin the sm Dude, I fell at the hand of Jashin last night when I double KO'd the bastard. What the hell is this bullshit? I double KO anyway, but it's like plot provided double KO? That's nonsense. My double KO last night should have counted. Uh, the spirits brought you here, now make haste to the aid of the Princess Felicia. <laughs> well, thanks for the clip. I'm- I'm leaving, this is silly. No, alright, let's- So now we're back at the beginning again. Uh, the Nine Tears of Emisanti. Jashin exists no more, and the light of peace shines once again in our land. This will benefit the people living underground as well. Hurry to the princess. So the princess is over to the right, I think. Let's go in here first. You Garland, you are a brave man. You have conquered Jashin and returned the Nine Tears of Emisanti. Now go quickly to the chamber of the princess. The crystals will bring her back to life. Quickly, there's no time! The peace we dared not hope for has come. I'll get my things together and be on my way. I have a family to attend to. Quickly, enter this chamber. <laughs> I said, quickly, there's no time! Enter this chamber. The holy crystals will break the evil spell which has turned Princess Felicia to stone. Alright, but is there any- there's nobody else. Okay. Oh, they actually- so it is- it's like a different map and it cuts off the entrance. So, here we go. Oh yeah, by the way, we don't have a beard, but if you believe the American-European box art, we do have a beard, so like, which is it? At long last, Jashin was destroyed, and the Nine Tears of Esmasanti were returned to the rightful place. Princess Felicia was restored to her true form. You're as beautiful as a rose in bloom, and immediately the hero hits on her. Thank you, Duke Garland. You have done a great deed in defeating Jashin. Although my body was here, my soul was with the Holy Spirit, watching you. Aren't you glad they didn't do a Navi Hey Listen where she was with him the whole time? I don't know how to thank you for rescuing me and saving my country. Father! 
My darling Felicia, how I've longed to hold you in my arms and hear your sweet voice. You say we shaved for the final boss, but he also didn't have a beard at the beginning. So yeah, I guess like by the time we got to the 8th dungeon, maybe we grew one. Outside, the land cursed by the evil magic of Jishin began to resume its original lushness. Is that, is that actually a word? The dreadful power of Jishin was washed from the earth, and the land of Zeliard was peaceful once more. Wait, the land of Zeliard? I thought Zeliard was our, our, was our protagonist's name. The guardian spirit of the holy land of Zeliard appeared before... Oh no, right, Duke Garland. I forgot Garland. How could I forget Garland? I even just made a Garland joke. You have suffered many hardships to defeat Jashin, Duke Garland. Garland, Zeliard, same number of letters, right? They both end with a D. You fought bravely to accomplish this... Yo, we didn't see that face before, did we? But this was only the beginning. Your next mission awaits you in a new land. They, see, they were totally going to give this the East treatment, but then nobody could beat this game. My next mission? There are many who have need of your special talents. Follow me, and I will show you the way. You must depart quickly. There's no time. That, Jesus fucking Christ! This game just Liam Neeson before Liam Neeson Liam Neeson. Holy shit. No time to say, stay in this peaceful land. Must you leave so soon, Duke Garland? I was hoping... I was hoping that you would flatter me some more. But Princess Felicia, I must bid you farewell. I must bid you adieu! Morning is coming soon, and I will miss the light of spirit unless I start before the dawn. The Duke answered quickly, as if to head off the next words of Princess Felicia. It's like it's like Fox McCloud at the end of Star Fox 64. No, we can't do that, General. For if he heard those words, he might not be able to leave as he knew he must. He turned and walked away. They both look so pissed. Don't go! He did not look back. Duke Garland left the castle. And he felt as if his heart might break. Dude, you knew her for five seconds. Come on, get over it. As she watched him go, Princess Felicia said to herself, He will return. The road to his destiny began here, and it shall end here. Well, it did end here, because they didn't make any other games. Uh, in this, Like, they didn't make this into a series. When his work in the world is done, he'll come back to me. Until then, I can only believe it. And wait for him. Why do you not think that every other quest he undertakes would also have a damsel in distress who will also think the same thing? Okay, I, th I think we're done now. I think I should stop the timer. This is the this is the same music that played with the credits when we uh, started the game, I think. But they did already show the credits. Nope, they're gonna show the credits again. Never mind. I saw mama kissing Sam. No, that's not the, that's not what song this is. Sorry. That that is those notes. That those notes are that song. Though. Thanks to the GG. Our horse also looks angry. We're angry. The horse is angry. Felicia's angry. Everybody's angry at the end of the game. Except for the king, I guess, probably. The king's still like, Oh, I got that guy to do all this for a thousand bucks! What a deal! Oh yeah, you got, you got the clay. He didn't look back, but he did look back. There you go. Wasn't that a thing in the ending of East 3 as well? Where Elena chases, like, they, they leave super early in the morning, and, and Elena, I, I said Elena, Elena, like, runs out after them, and they, they look back and wave or something. Isn't that a thing? Uh, so what now? Now we learn to speedrun the darn thing. Sierra Online Japan, Inc. That's interesting. Because I got the impression that, like, Game Arts was, like, heavily involved with Sierra Online. But I thought Sierra was, like, specifically the... the Western localizations or something. 
serving monsters? Wait, what? Oh, are we gonna get names? Oh, those are the boss names. Because Puyo was the chicken boss, yeah. And Vista was the, the big eye head. Oh, I didn't pay attention. They had the Ice Cube bosses in there, too. And I, I didn't pay attention to uh, what the first one was. Pagaro was the green one. And there you go. This edition first published 1986. Yeah, that's the same thing that the, the message at the beginning said. So, I, I think I can't do any... I think I have to, like... You can't even load. I can't load. I can't change game speed. I think... I can still quit, though. <laughs> Um, that seems to be the only thing I can do from this screen, actually. So. <laughs> I'm surprised they disable loading, even. Uh, but yeah, I guess what we'll do is, uh, we'll call it for the casual playthrough here, first of all. Um, I guess, I guess, uh, some words on that. I, uh, obviously, the, the last area was beyond any kind of any kind of definition of reasonable whatsoever. They they definitely made sure nobody would ever beat this game without a guide or something. Um, I wouldn't have finished this game if it weren't for the speedrun existing because I would have given up at Correr in um, the Inferno area. Because forget it taking like five minutes to get back there and then getting dumped out of there by a random dog in like two seconds. It took me an hour to finish that area, even once I learned the skip, which was really easy to learn, but, like, I didn't know it until I came back and, and streamed it again. Um, let me at least, uh, get out of here and we'll get some, some music going. Uh, but I will, uh, start up the... I think I'll start up DOSBox X. So that we can actually start, like, learning to run it and use... and benefit from save states while we're doing that. Uh, where did I put... I made a batch file for this, and now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. I just forgot what I named it. Uh, so I need to recapture the window. Okay, we're good. You gave up on career as a kid as well? Yeah. <laughs> I could definitely see it doing that. I mean, getting that far as a kid is probably more than I would be able would have been able to do if I had played this in you know near when it came out. I would have been, you know, less than 10. Um, but, yeah, it's like, it's got some, it's got a few neat ideas here and there. The music is great. Like, I'm really surprised by how good the music is. Um, and how well it was translated. Like, the music actually, arguably, I think, sounds better on the DOS version than on the PC-88 version. And then there's also... Uh, what's the name of the... Uh, like, there, there's another sound device you can use for, uh, for the music on DOS. I think it was the MT-32? Um... The, the instruments on that sound really good, but the mixing doesn't sound nearly as good as this version. Like, you, there's certain parts of the song that you want to hear stand out that the ad-lib music really nails, and the MT32 music just, like, drowns some of the parts. And so I, I prefer the ad-lib version in this instance. Um, the music is easily the best part of, of the game. I mean, the, you know, the, the art and stuff isn't bad either, but... Definitely, like, it's definitely one of those games where bosses can just absolutely wreck you. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, there's some unfortunate details in the translation that probably make some things more obtuse than they're meant to be. But when it comes to that 8th area, there's some things they just straight up don't tell you. <laughs> and that's pretty rude. So, it's defi definitely one of those kind of games that has, uh, has rough edges, but uh, it's pretty neat anyway. And of course, also glad I'm playing the DOS version and not the PC-88 version, because the PC-88 version probably would have given up way sooner just because of, like, how much grinding would be necessary. It's actually ridiculous. 